Ooh, at least the lawn mint stopped in time. Hey, we should be live. Hey, 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 hey. You want to get my chair? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. We we just started eating. Sorry. We couldn't wait anymore. I'm having some of that leftover uh, pork belly burnt ends from the other night. It's on the third time we've heated it up, and every time it gets a little bit more tender. Yeah. So, if y'all haven't seen our video on the... Port belly burnt the ends. Pad is, is, is the thing. No, the, there's there's no. No, go to work pad. Open it oh. up. And you can cut the face out. Oh, okay. The whole thing. <sighs> oh, okay. Hold on. He wants me to copy and paste to the pork belly burnt ends. <laughs> I know Shauna tried it. So far, anybody else tried the recipe? And how many people we got in there? Um. Oh, it says... 13 right now. 14. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. We just started. Yeah. How's everybody's Friday going? I am stoked that it's Friday. Yeah. <sighs> One more week until we get to celebrate for for reals like Halloween. Y'all keep in mind. No. Oh. Next week, we're going to do a special. Yeah. Ask me anything. Hungry Heath. So y'all start figuring up stuff y'all want to ask us. And you don't have to just ask him either. You could ask me, but yeah. mostly him. Um, and I was waiting until she shows up, and then I'll tell you all about our special guest next week, too. Oh, yeah? I see Mustachio oh, is here. Oh, she's logged in? That's cool. She says, I Mustachio a question. Yeah, but she did that earlier. Was she actually on right now, though? Because I thought she was still driving. Oh, it says live. Well, I don't know. Uh, Pam's here. Hey, welcome back, hey, Pam. Howdy. Uh, she says, way to go, Mustachio. I'd be second, but he popped in already. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. Hey, yeah, I'll have her platter. Uh, I, I see have to be. I'm at the top of the chat, but it doesn't show. Keep scrolling. Oh, you know why? Because I think it's the live chat. Oh, yeah, click on the. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's see. Happy Friday. Let me. Oh, okay. There, I see yours. Uh, Hoofinet's here. Hey, Karen. How you doing? She says, that makes me fourth choice. You're still number one in our book. Um, Pam said, that's true, Heath. How are things in Texas? Like I said, I told him it was noisy because the lawn guy was here. I'm saying. But it's been warm this week, uh -huh. hasn't it? Yeah, I got some, like, um, furry type or fluffy uh, pajamas. But, like, I put them on Monday by lunchtime, which my lunch is really early. It's like 11 a.m. That's brunch. I'm saying. I had to like, I was like, okay, I got to change these pajamas. Because these fur things, I'm just sweating in there. And I'm not trying to sweat ever. <coughs> um, Ooh, wow, oh, Jen's that? here. Hey, welcome back, Jen. She says, happy Friday night. How are you? Oh, Gail's <coughs> back. She goes, hey. good evening, Heath and Shelly. Good evening, Gail. Welcome back. Uh, Pam said, need to fix me some electrolytes. Too tired to get up, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, get you some electrolytes. That would give me energy. Oh, what happened? This got hot all of a sudden. Pam said, this group of people, everyone is so nice and helpful. Aww. We'll try. Uh, Pam said, Shelly, have you tried the Death Wish pumpkin and chai coffee? I went oh. back to Sprouts today to get extra. It's so good. Hot or cold. I have wanted to try that. At our Sprouts, they just carry the original Death Witch. Oh, do you have to order online then? Yeah, but it's. I, I was like, oh, do I want to spend the money and the shipping and all of that? And I just really wanted my Sprouts to have it. So your Sprouts actually carries the pumpkin one. Well, we're going to go meet Blue Dove tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So en route, let's find out if there's any on the way oh, or nearby. Yeah, try a different Sprout. That's true. And Pam said, Joe came all the way from Florida to do the yard. <laughs> You're right. I wish. Mm hmm. That would oh, be cool. so good. Y'all got to make these. Mm hmm. Oh, I see Betsy's here. Hey, Betsy. Welcome back. She welcome, goes, welcome, Good welcome. evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, I say, Yeah, Joe needs to rest up from vacationing, right? Uh, Pam said he said he has the lawn guy, so I was picking at oh okay, at Joe for that. 
Um, let's see. Oh, Brianna's here. Hey, hey. welcome, Brianna. Radical Geek, which is Matreya. She goes, hi, everyone. Welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. Brian's here. He says, good evening, y'all. It's the most fantastic Friday. Yeah. It is. Rod is here. Hey, Rhonda. And I was chatting with somebody. I don't remember if it was in uh, Autumn's this morning or at Keto Chow's. They were asking me if we're going to have fava beans. And I was like, no, <laughs> those aren't keto. <laughs> right? Enchante. Right? Oh, I see Shauna's here. She goes, I'm here, I'm here. I haven't talked to you forever. I know, Shauna. <laughs> like, I'm so glad that you showed up tonight or I'd be really worried about you. But, um... Did you see where I put your egg? Yes. It's a, it, what do y'all think of this? I went, um... To... Let me make sure this isn't anything. Are we simulcasting? Because I haven't been seen it on Facebook. I haven't Facebook. either. But remember, you got that warning from Facebook. I, think I don't know that's why. What it's about. But I went to a couple little shops. Oh, right near our house is what's called Old Town Spring. I don't know if anybody's heard of it. And it's kind of, it's an old um, railroad town, like from the 1800s, whatever. Huh. And... Uh, they said so they have a lot of these cutesy shops and stuff. And I went to a couple of shops last weekend just to browse around, look at Halloween stuff. And look, isn't this the cutest little thing? I wished it worked, right? I wish the bat, like, moved back and forth. But it's like scales. Isn't that cute? I just thought it was so adorable. Boy, oh, there's Delilah. Oh, Glenda's here. She goes, hi, everyone. I love scary movies. Ooh, what's your favorite scary movie, Glenda? Mm -hmm. Karen's back. Welcome back, Karen. She goes, hi. Good evening, Horde. Hey. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, Matreya said, smirk, ask anything. Moo, ha, ha, ha. Uh-oh. Bring it. I ain't scared. Much. Uh, Linda's here. Hey, welcome back, Linda. She goes, hi, everyone. How are you doing? Teresa's here. She goes, good evening, everyone. Hey, Teresa. How's your day going? Um... Shauna said, my Friday is car noisy and somewhat expensive and continuing next week. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I know, because she said it's still making the noise. That's a shame. Um, let's see. Right. Oh, Mustachio said, happy Friday, horde. Nice. Oh, Lori's here. Did I, I miss that? Oh, there she is. Hey, the Keto Crafter, Lori's back. She goes, hey, yo, howdy, howdy, welcome howdy. back, Lori. Thanks for tuning in, all of y'all. Thanks for yeah, tuning in. Yeah, awesome. Um, let's see. And she says, hey, Renee, a.k.a. Lady Changes Names a Lot. Right. right. Uh, Shauna said, Shelly, I texted you pics of my creamy pistachio and snickerdoodle with whip. Oh, my gosh. Look at Are this. we getting one of those? Look at that. That's what I'm saying. Are we getting one? Look, look at this, y'all. I don't know how well it's going to show up. But look, my little spider web wants to come with it. Don't knock over the glass. I know. And it, look, it did. Look. I know. I said the spider web wants to come. That looks delicious. That looks really good. I would not be sad if that was my dinner, right? Speaking of dinner, what are we making tonight here? This was your idea. You tell them. Mm. I'm eating. Mm. So, actually, this is all Matre I mean, uh, uh, Shauna's fault. <coughs> okay. Because originally, I was going to do up some uh, uh, lamb chops. That was my tie-in to uh, Science of the Lambs. Uh -huh. We were going to eat lamb. But what you know, I'm real clever. Then we saw where Shauna made that post, and was it on her page or on Two Crazies? Mm -hmm. Where she had some... Pies, like four of them, I think, were in the picture. I wish we would have uh, had the picture up to show them. But uh, they all look like human faces, the way they did them up. Mm. And Shelly's like, ooh, we ought to do that. That'd be really cool. I was like, you know we'd be really good, too? We're going to make the face of the pie look like the mask uh, of Hannibal Lecter. Oh, you know what we didn't do? No. We didn't make any hey yo sauce. Uh, that's all right. We're supposed to use that for the piping. Well, I I still don't think that would do right because I okay. think the piping would be too thick. Okay. Well, we're going to try. See maybe something else. So the little lines that cover his face to keep him from biting people. His we mouth. Were, yeah. We were going to use, we are going to do my hey yo sauce 
and pipe that on as like an icing on the pie. Because my idea. But now we're going to do something different. Well, and um, the other reason why we didn't do the lamb chops. Uh-huh. I bought the wrong ones. No, not just that. Because the real lamb chops, get this, y'all. They're twenty four ninety nine a pound. Yeah. $25 a pound. I was like... I ain't that bougie. No, I was like, no. That $25 a pound, that's just way expensive. For and, and lamb chops are small, so it's mostly bone. I'm like, I'm going to spend $25 a pound for bones? Mm -mm. So I said, we're going to have to come up with something else. So I already had some <laughs> uh, some ground lamb. So you all know how I always buy all this stuff on discount. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, it was reduced. It, this whole package was only four, uh, a pound of it here was only four ninety nine a pound. <laughs> I know. So we're we using that. We're gonna cook it up in a skillet. We got some what is that? A uh, bacon grease in there, right? Or a sausage grease? Something like that. So we're gonna cook it up in that because it's kind of lean anyway, so that'll help. Yeah. And then we're gonna make like a fathead dough as our crust. Mm-hmm. And then what else we're we gonna put in? It? How are we gonna season it with some uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Redmond's season salt? What is this one? Uh, Herb de whatever. I can't pronounce it. Herb de Provence. Yeah, what she said. Or lavender and stuff. So a little bit of thyme. And I think that we got this at Sprouts too. It's Hatch Chili Seasoning. We got it on discount. They had it on the, uh, the discontinuing it. Yeah. So we're going to season it with all that. And, and then, as a side dish. Do we want to say yet? That's what he get out though. What? Oh, we did. I'll go get it in a minute. That's fine. Okay. I caught up, get caught up then. Okay. And we'll see if you can guess what our little appetizer beside our pork belly is going to be. Um, let's see. Brianna said, fava beans are gross. My dad used to make them. It doesn't sound good. I've never been a bean person. I've just never liked any bean. All right. Have you? No, no well, you did like refried. I like refried beans a lot, actually. I didn't. I was always like, oh, you can have my refried beans. Well, I like them when they're done right. Yeah. But I used to like doing two. Was when I made taco meat, I'd take a whole can of refried beans and whip them into it and mix the whole thing up. That was really good. It used to be. Yeah. I like okay. baked beans, too, if they're done right. Yeah. No, I just never really cared for beans. I used to, but I don't miss them at all. Me neither. I, well, of course I don't. But, um, so, oh, I keep dropping my knife into this. You need another knife in? You're good. Obviously, I need to stop dropping this knife. It's getting all the pork belly juices. Um, no, I just had you. What are you begging for now? <laughs> Betsy said, Porsche says, hi, Delilah. Says, hi. She already got snacks uh -huh. and her dinner. I'm oh, gonna, uh -huh. She's pushing me for more. I guess I'm going to have to give her enough some more snacks and put her back out. <sighs> Don't put her back out. She'll start barking again. Well, the, the, the long guys are gone now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Randy's here. Hey, Randy says, good evening. Welcome back. Shauna said, howdy, howdy, howdy. Mom's going to trade me cars so I don't have to drive out of town tomorrow in my car after the live. Aw, that's nice. That's awesome. Uh, Thanks, Mom. Oh, somebody said Lori's here. Did I miss it again? I swear this thing jumps. It does. Um, let's see here. Brianna said, I bought a creamy today. 2KK has a video on how to use it, right? Yes. I really they think Joe do. should be and getting kickbacks for that. I'm saying, and didn't Keto Chow do a real thorough... I think so. Uh, yeah, look up Keto Chow as well. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris is Chris, real meticulous about yeah, all Yeah, you stuff. know how Chris is very particular, <clears throat> so he did a video on it too. On, you know, like how to get it all set up and everything and the perfect ratios. You know how he nerds out. But the um, only thing that's really been keeping me from buying one is the price. Mm -hmm. The cheapest I've heard people finding it is 150 Mm. That's still a little high. Yeah. Because, I mean, we have an ice cream maker, so do we really need a second one? That's what we keep wrestling with. Mm. Um, Linda said, Josh was so scary. I didn't get back in the water for 10 years. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Like, any water or... You didn't take a bath? Just like... <laughs> no. Just like, uh... Like, uh... 
oceans and stuff like that, or even lake water. Uh, that was that. I was still a kid when it came out. Uh huh. But I don't even I know if I got to see 80s, it. But... Yeah. Oh, you never saw it? No, no, I did see it eventually, but I don't know if I saw it when it came out, like when I was a little kid. Oh, I don't know. Or I think I was older when I actually saw the oh, full wow. movie. Yeah, you um, were kind of sheltered. Shauna said, and a few pistachios on top. Those looked really good. Awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, Only problem with eating all this right now, now I'm even more hungry. <laughs> it, um, it woke up. My anger, my hunger. Jim says, I have serious creamy jealousy, right? I, I kind of do too, but I just don't want to throw the money down on that. Uh, Renee said, I think I'm going to get a creamy for all that ice cream I eat. Right? Uh, let's see. Jen said, did you get your sous vide? Have you used oh, it? Oh, yeah. That's right. Pam, that's right. Pam hooked Thank us you up. again. With a uh, gift card, and we applied that to the, uh, the, uh, Sous vide. I haven't done a video on using it yet because I want to learn to make sure we're doing it correctly before I just go off blindly and, into it. Yeah, but we used it but four so, times. Since yeah, the last it's, week. it works really good. The only thing we've made in it is steak, mm -hmm. but it works really good. Which steaks did we make? Uh, we made three times. We made a ribeye. The mm -hmm. other time, I thought, I, oh wait, T bones. T bones three times. Yeah, the other time was a what? A sirloin. New York. Oh, a New York strip. Mm hmm. So the first night, yeah. So the think last Saturday we made a New York strip. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all. That. I mean, I've done reverse sear New York strips and all. If you all are familiar, New York strip is most of the fats on the one side it has a nice big fat cap there, and the rest can be kind of lean. Well, we got it from a local butcher. Like we went to a farmer's market, got these. They were beautiful. They actually had really good marble marbling, but it's it still beautiful. had that fat cap. So sometimes, even when we reverse sear them, kind of gets kind of gristly. Yeah, it get a little gristly, and sometimes the you know it'll be tender, but it's just not melt in your mouth tender. These sous vide New York strips. Oh my gosh, that steak! First of all. Perfect, like perfect medium rare. Yeah. Like even when I cook it, you know, sometimes when I cook them, I tend to either get it just a little more rare than I like or oh a little too well done. This, the sous vide, it was perfect. It was so beautiful inside and the flavor was amazing. And I mean, we just like scarfed down that New York strip. It was so good. And then the, uh, the machine itself... Yeah. Came with multiple bags of like their own uh, Ziploc baggies, basically. And then it has little clips so we can hang it on a pot when we're mm -hmm. cooking. And then it comes with a little doodad so to help you close the, the, the zipper part on it to make sure yeah. it's actually closed. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty neat. And I don't know if we're supposed to or not, but we've been washing the bags and reusing them. And then once we wash them, we throw them in the freezer just to make sure they're cool. Yeah, but I, it just like it's amazing. The T-bones turned yeah. out perfect too. Which if y'all know with the T-bone, one part is a New York strip and the other is a filet mignon. So sometimes it can get a little tricky on getting them both perfectly cooked. Not with a CV. It's like, it was amazing. And then these steaks... It was restaurant quality. Yeah. Like, every single time, I was like, okay, it's the perfect medium rare. And it tastes so tender. And the flavor is phenomenal. I was like, I feel like we just went to a steak restaurant. It's that good. Well, what was the... Uh... I got mad we waited so long on getting a sous vide. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's like, ah, we got enough gadgets. What do we need another one? And then kind of kind of threw me off a little bit because I'm trying to figure out where to keep it in the kitchen to where we out of the way. But I just rearranged some stuff in the drawers right now. On the other side of us, right where the camera's set up, is uh, a three-drawer uh, cabinet. Mm -hmm. And so we, I rearranged some stuff in one of the middle drawers, and now it goes in there. But uh, what was the, the cut I bought with the, uh, the lamb chops? You remember? Mm. It wasn't just a chop. It was something that was called a, mm. not a loin chop. Was it? Was it uh, I thought it was a shoulder. 
It was a lamb sho- shoulder. A lamb shoulder chop is what they were called. And then I didn't notice it at first. All I saw was lamb chop. So I bought them and brought them home. And then I was looking at it. And I was like, wait a minute. And they're kind of thick too. So I did some more research on it and how to cook it and all. And everything I found said that I need to braise them to finish them off. It's almost like I do a reverse sear on them, but then braise them for a, a good while. And we were thinking about doing the sous vide on it too, but everything we always saw that it needed to cook for like an hour or more. So I thought that'd just be too hard to try and do on the live tonight. So we're going to do a video on how to cook those on another date. Mm-hmm. But also I got to look at the package and each chop actually has two bones running through it. Yeah. So it's going to help it when it uh, does we're the... We're going to do it in the Instant Pot. Right? Yeah, I was thinking about doing that on the Instant Pot tonight. But then Shelly came up with this idea. Thank you again, Shauna. This is going to be amazing. I'm really excited about doing yeah, it this Yeah, me too. So we're just going to do a video just on uh, doing those uh, shoulder chops or whatever they're called. Yeah, and then we'll definitely do a sous vide on a regular steak. Yes. I really want to get some good ribeye and do it. And I yeah. think... We have a prime rib in our freezer. Yeah, but I don't know if it'll and fit. Yeah, it'll fit. I mean, you just get big. it in your bag, yeah. It's, I mean, it's almost as big as this plate. As but I, we can use the bag that it's in, even. All right, because I put it in a food saver bag when I got to put it in the freezer. So, yeah, why yeah. not? That makes sense. I don't think of that. I don't know. And I left it a little long, too, so yeah, it'll give us something to clip to. Yeah. Okay, we can try that. But Trey has said, yes, scary pies. Yes. I hope so. Uh, Betsy said, I was swimming in the Gulf and saw a shark feet away. It was a dolphin. Uh Uh-huh. Right. I heard those can be dangerous, too, if you mess with them wrong. I heard they're smart. But you know what? That's Uh, why. The the Gulf here, the Galveston Gulf. Even growing up, my my family and friends and stuff always wanted to go to the beach. I had to come home and... Like de louse basically to get or or de greaser on me yeah. to get all the oil off of me. I just yeah. I hated going to the beach. It was just it's just not a pretty beach and no. the waters just and when you've been to places that have beautiful water and stuff, when you come to Galveston or anywhere along the Gulf yeah. right here, it's just not pretty. Now Florida side, yes. you know, they get some beautiful waters over there, but this side it's Go down dirty. a little ways to South Padre. That's pretty. Oh, it is? I've yeah. never been to South Padre. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty. That's a beautiful beach. But uh, Galveston? But, nah. Um, Let's see. And then Shauna said, Renee, do it. Strips <laughs> of pepper? And Pam said, yeah. Silence of the Lambs had to get kill them to silence them. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, Renee said, ha ha, I don't like ice cream. Oh, we know. Yeah, because I was going to make some ice cream for her when she comes visit, but she said, no, don't bother. <laughs> right? Because I want, what, only what I want, this time of year, I've always loved oh, a right. pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, California now. Oh, oh nice. yeah, because they're still traveling, yeah. I know. They need to come to Texas. Right. Like I told you the other day, brother, we got a perfect spot on the driveway. Your rig will fit. Oh, Lisa's here. Hey, hey Lisa. howdy, howdy, howdy. You keep bumping my leg. I'm sorry. With I'm trying to get on camera. With the chair arm. Oh. You're on camera. Look, I see you. All right, I was trying but to square here. it up. Here. I don't want you I'm, off camera, though. I'm going to move over so my husband has more room. We'll go. <laughs> get to getting. Um, oh, Rachada said she's going to let it slide. And Renee doesn't like ice cream because she doesn't like pumpkin spice. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Uh, uh, this time of year, I've always loved uh, pumpkin cheesecakes. So I wanted to make, or have Shelly make, <laughs> a pumpkin cheesecake. And I was thinking it'd be good to make it like with keto chow. I think that'd be perfect way of making the filling. But I don't know exactly how to make the crust. And then uh, Renee is coming to visit us next weekend. That's what I was going to say. I was waiting to see if she's in here. So I was going to have it ready for her, but she's not interested. She said it doesn't even grab her attention at all. So it's not worth us making it. It's just to eat. You know, it's not, it's not worth just it. Just so we can eat in front of her? Right. Oh, this is so good. She's like, yeah, I believe you. <laughs> I know how to do the crust. Work. I've made okay. cheesecake several times all right. for you. Except for this once. I don't know why he acts like I've never made a cheesecake before. Well, you're going to have to remind me. 
But I was going to do it, instead of with keto chow, I was going to use the organic pumpkin, since we already have a can of that. Okay. And mix it with the cream cheese. That's why I bought like a dozen packages of cream then cheese. Then why don't I have a, cream, a, a cheesecake in front of me? Because you have all this other food. I'll move this out of the way to get my cheesecake. Oh my goodness, y'all. Goals. Listen to this. Betsy said, I have to have groceries delivered. Waited three days and they forgot my $60 of ground beef. What? That's, That's awful. A travesty. That is horrible. I'd be like, of all the things. You better bring me a hundred twenty dollars worth of ground beef, right? Uh, and a free time next uh, next trip. Renee says she's a weirdo. That's fine. So are we. I'm not. At least said, "What did I miss? Y'all are already eating. We were just having a snack. We were having our pork belly burnt ends." Just leftovers from two nights ago. No, last night. Last night, yeah. Oh, yeah, because so, well, I was supposed to make bacon today to go with our cheeseburgers for lunch, and she just thought me right before I was going to go. She goes, hey, 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 I got a better idea than bacon. Let's have the pork the uh, pork belly burn ins instead. I was like, yes. Yes, Oh, dear. my gosh. With the lunch? Ah, Captain. Those pork belly burnt ins, y'all, they are amazing. Cool I just down, can't baby. get it's over okay. how, what, it's like, the best part of like bacon, right? And you love that like fatty, tasty saltiness, but this has a little more sweet flavor because of the pork and poultry run. And then it's just like butter. It just is so tender, like butter in your mouth when you. And it, it's just the perfect bite. Speaking of which, we gotta go to the store tomorrow and get more pork belly, so we can do another one. Yes. And we have half of pork belly in the freezer right now. We need to thaw out, chop up, and that'll give us homemade bacon. Well, listen to this. Lori says she's got 20 pounds of pork belly curing right now for bacon. There That's you go. nice. That sounds awesome. I know. Yeah, when is it going to be ready? We'll be by, Lori. I'll give me a uh, go bag. <laughs> Renee said, yes, sir, I totally do. Was a weirdo at work today, too. Not you. All right. Uh, Brianna said, Not I need to weird. take out some frozen ground beef. I want to make a pizza tomorrow for dinner. Ooh, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. You're not uh, weird. You're just unique. <laughs> Lori said, I've got five more days to cure, and hopefully the hubby's new Traeger will arrive by then so he can smoke it. Ooh. Nice. He's getting a Traeger. How nice. That's great. I love wow, my Traeger, really but the only thing I don't like about it is very hard to reverse sear on it. It, it is, but because that's the, what you the got the all the flame, other hands for. The flame doesn't get as exposed like it did on my Oh, own. Lori said Serious Keto has a better creamy video. Oh, I didn't okay. know that. Yeah, because I don't know why we never really follow him. Well, well, maybe we, I need to start. We follow, but we me. just don't watch it. We barely... It, okay, y'all. Honest. I love 2KK. And I loved all of their videos. But it's kind of put us behind <laughs> on everybody else. Because I'm like, oh, we've got three videos to watch today. Right? right? Like yesterday. <laughs> uh, yesterday was just 2KK all evening. All right? right? <laughs> but it was awesome. I loved it. My Trey said, mm, bacon. I don't know why, but I am wanting more food. Get it, girl. Renee said, so... Get it at BB and B. Use the twenty percent off. Mm. Oh, nice. Um, Shauna said creamy also makes milkshakes and sorbet. Oh, super and Lori awesome. said waiting's very hard. Uh -huh. Randy said we did ribeyes and had a mint chocolate keto chow ninja creamy ice cream for dessert. Ooh, oh, that, that sounds, sounds good. Really good. Um. Oh, and then Randy said Steve on Sears Keto has a recipe for how to make really great ice cream using Keto Chow. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Brianna said I paid 150 at BB and B with my 20% off. My ice cream maker doesn't work great. If this can stop me from buying Enlightened, it'll be worth it. Oh, I think it will. It's definitely got to be better than Enlightened, but right? How many bottle the little canisters does it come with when you buy it, though? Or do you have to buy those as an extra? I think at the one at BB and B, it's like two canisters. That's not but bad. if you get the one off of um, Amazon, or? no, the QVC, I think it's five. Five canisters with it, yeah. Wow, but how much is theirs? Two hundred, I think. Yeah, but how much if I if I go to BBB and get it's it? It's like one hundred and fifty. And then how much are the extra if I oh, buy each one individual? That's what I'm trying to figure with the the breakdown on that. Uh, Betsy said Christmas was really good to know how to use the creamy. I had two ice cream makers that broke quickly, but the creamy is incredible, worth a loan for me. You know what we can do oh. too though? if we do get the creamy, we can sell the other one. Um, Atreus said, "Oh, I want 
I went to Kohl's and used Kohl's cash and left out with a 40% off a single item. Nice. Wow. See, that's we just really don't, nice. We don't want to chop Kohl's enough, though. No, we don't. Because what, what, what do they usually have that we need, though, or want? I don't know. Seriously, because we don't shop there. Oh, Brianna there. said, what is reverse searing? I have no idea what that even means. Reverse searing is only good for large, thick cuts of meat, be it uh, beef or uh, pork, really. Yeah. Anything like real thin cuts, you want to cook them hot and fast. Yeah. You but should. reverse sear means you're going to, like, I love doing it on the smoker. You can do it in the oven too. But you usually cook it <clears throat> at usually around 225 or 250 for, I do it like 15 to 18 minutes per side. Yeah. So about 30 minutes total. Yeah. Depending on how thick it is. So yeah. if you've got a ribeye that's like two inches. And probably only 20 minutes, but if it's like a three inch or just a huge chunk, then you might go for 30. And then you pull it off of there and in a hot skillet or on a hot grill or, a, you know, like your um, uh, a hot Blackstone thing. or whatever, you're going to real sear. quick sear it off in yeah. a, on, on a, uh, so you get a hot that surface. nice crust on that yeah. on the outside. And that's why it's called a reverse sear because you cook it first and then sear it. Like, we love uh, our steaks, especially. We like them medium rare. And I saw where, um, what's her name? Um, the girl she makes uh, ice cream all the time. Uh, oh, she was in Two Keto Dudes. Uh, Carrie. Here, her, you got to get what's caught her name, up. Though? What's Carrie her name? Brown. Carrie Brown told us, or I saw her telling people, that a perfect medium rare is one, uh, will cook to 131 degrees. Yeah. So that's what I try and shoot for now. Yeah. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, I guess. I'm just trying to move you along. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what a reverse sear. So typically, if you see people who make a lot of steaks, they'll sear it first and then finish it in the Whoa, oven to tickles. get it to temp. She's this, at my hand. you're doing in the oven or smoker first and then searing it. Um, but like so I said, that only works really good with thick cuts. If it's thin, yeah. you want to cook it hot and fast. Generally. <clears throat> Shauna said, I already did about 47 in June. Brian said, oh, yeah, maybe I missed it. Where's Hank? He's by the front door ready to get those unruly kids that come by. All right. Teresa said, I made an eye round with my sous vide, and it was so tender. Oh, Love cooking idea. with it. That's an idea, too. We have, I have, uh, we have some in there. Rhonda said, hubby just FaceTime me. Let's see. What did I miss? Not much yet. I'm trying to hurry up and get caught up on comments. Lori said, Sam's Club will be having them on sale for $129 online only at the end of November, the creamy. Oh, uh, okay. See, I told you all the prices are going to drop in, within the next six months. Well, it's costing them because it's getting closer to Christmas. Right. Maybe uh, it'll be Pam better said, after Christmas. Anybody getting a lot of emails from Elfsters? I get some every yes. day. Yes, yes, I did today. Yes, yes. I, I probably will I'll probably set got one that right up now. again. Yeah, well, my phone went off a minute ago. That's probably what that was. <laughs> John has said, question, New York Strip, with or without the bone? We usually get it without the bone. Mary Ann's here. Hey, hey welcome, hey, Mary howdy, Ann. Howdy. She goes, I don't actually like ice cream very much. I've had a pint of keto ice cream unopened in my freezer for at least a year. Wow. You want me to come eat yes. it for you? I love ice cream. Yeah, he does. But, you know, uh, there was one brand we bought, I think Mammoth Creamery. Yeah. And we had it in there forever before we ate it. Yeah. We go in spurts. Yeah. Well, uh, I learned it from my... Thank you, Renee, for sharing Matreya's channel. Go yeah. Go her follow. Yeah, hers is awesome, y'all. I love watching hers. Yes. And when do you do it, Matreya? Every Sunday? You... Sunday, she's going to go live. Yeah. Uh, Jerry's here. Hey, hey Jerry. Hey, he said, good evening, y'all. Dr. Pumpster and Elvira, <laughs> mistress nice. of the keto, are on. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Lori said, I've been getting a lot of the Elster emails lately. Guess everyone's geared up for Christmas, right? right? Already? That's what I was saying a minute ago. You think that, that we'll end up getting cheaper prices for uh, the cream Probably. after Christmas? Yeah. Or um, maybe on Amazon uh, Warehouse. Maybe. Rhonda said, nothing like the creamy or compares to it. That's my opinion. Right? That's probably true. I mean, they definitely look delicious. Um, oh, then Renee oh. shared about how to get the hotline discount. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Good job. Um, Betsy said, I have an Instapot question if you don't mind. I can't make hard-boiled eggs without overdoing it. Last time I did three-fourths. 
three, four, a half hour in ice. Okay, well what I do when I make the hard boiled eggs in my instant pot, I just put it on manual high, five minutes. Then I just go do some stuff. Then I come back in a little while, put it in an ice bath, and leave it for a little while. I don't ever set a timer on it. I just let it sit. But are you, because he does eat his, like, actually hard boiled. Yeah. Like, he likes the yolk completely hard. Yes. So, are you going for that? Or, I know, like, some people like their yolk still a little more, um, it's not exactly liquid, but, runny. you know, a little, not runny. You know how sometimes you get well, Soft. Hard? Yeah, they're kind of, they're not cooked all the way. The okay. Yolk. It's like right before it's all the way hard. When I first heard about doing it in the Instant Pot, uh, everybody was doing it what they called the 5-5-5 five, five, five method. Mm -hmm. Five minute cook, five minute rest, and then a five minute in the ice bath, I think it is. Yeah. But you could also go look on Facebook. There's a, um, there's an Instant Pot group, and there's also a Keto Instant Pot group on there too. And they'll give you a lot of good hints on there. But some of those people are a little off, I think, because they want to use the Instant Pot for everything. Yeah. They, like, ripped out their kitchens, sold all their other gadgets. They cooked everything in their Instant Pot. Yeah. And the other thing with that is, uh, like, some of them, like, they just travel only with, like, two or three Instant Pots. Yeah. And then they what they do is with the Instant Pots... They, they just take it to the hotel and everything and cook all of their food there, which is definitely a savor, right? All right, I'm just cutting up, slicing up some jalapenos real thin, and this is going to be for our appetizer. For our little appetizer, you need some good ham or lunch meat, whatever you prefer. Roast beef would work. Um, I get this from Sprouts. It's called Ham Off the Bone. You had another one? Is it? Uh, that's probably it. Okay. And it's I'm like... Sure Really clean. Here, I'm trying to find the ingredients. Okay, ingredients. Ham off the bone. Of course, it's going to be cured with water, salt, and sugar. But, and then it's got sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, sodium nitrate. But that's the cure. So, it's just the ham and the cure. To me, that's very clean, especially when it comes to lunch meat. Yeah. So, you're going to want some ham off the bone. And some little mozzarella balls. These are the little balls. Laying right next to that in the same rack, they had a buffalo chicken. Oh, yeah. So I asked her, I thought it sounds good. She goes, no, read the label again. It's got, what is it, soybean? It has what soybean else? oil. And what else, though? And dextrose. Okay, so it's like, well, I don't want that. But that gave me an idea. I want to do buffalo chicken. But I told her next time that the uh, whole chicken's going on sale again, I'm going to take the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And inject it with that. Oh, do I, did I get the toothpicks out? No, but I'm going to get them. Okay. And you'll need toothpicks for the appetizer. Any guesses? Uh, Brian said, yes, garlic and gringo for the win. Thank you. Oh, Kelly's here. Welcome, howdy, Kelly. Howdy, howdy. She goes, how did you guys discover keto? Oh, that's uh, a story. <laughs> it is a, oh, yeah, maybe some evil ooze. We're going to try that. Uh, real short version Basically, I almost died on a trip. I was in the hospital, and a doctor in um, New Zealand, oh, where I was being seen, basically told me, hey, you're killing yourself if you don't get rid of all of the sharp sugars and starches. And without saying keto, he basically said, you know, probably should do keto. Well, he actually told me, he's like, you almost killed yourself. Because um, you're uh, diabetic. Because I was a, such a bad diabetic. When I got this uh, flesh eating bacteria, I almost died. And he was like, you almost killed yourself, so what are you going to do about it? And so that's where I'd already heard of keto. But we had tried like low carb basically or paleo. And that's where, you know, we were like, oh, instead of regular potatoes, we're doing sweet potatoes. Look at us. We're so healthy now. And, but we, had, honestly, we hadn't really tried it. We were, like, really huge foodies where we were always trying all the new restaurants, all the new, you know, dishes that, you know, become, like, famous and stuff. So, we just, we were like, oh, we're just going to eat what we want. Well, when that happened and I almost died... 
Then I found Dr. Barry online, and um, this is going on three years. It'll be three years in February. Oh, that's true. And I found Dr. Barry, and um, ever since then, we've been uh, keto. Like, I forced him when he caught up with me. Um, She's I all, told him, Sit down, hey, son. I'm going to go keto, and you've got to go with me because I can't do it alone, so you're going to have to do this. So he begrudgingly did it. Because like I've said before, my favorite foods have always been pizza, burgers, and tacos, which is bread, bread, and bread. Yeah. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Oh, hey, carbs. man. Welcome. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Thanks for tuning in. And so then um, you have lost about... Almost 200 pounds. Almost 200 pounds. Uh, gone down several sizes in clothes. Yeah. I've lost around 60 pounds. Um, I've gone down, like, I think a total of, like... 40 something inches at least. I didn't start measuring at the beginning. I just went by weight. So I probably even gone down more than that. But what did you tell him the Keto Palooza? What do you, you mean? Know, it was your uh, numbers on your blood sugar? Or whatever yeah. It was? So the most important thing, and the whole reason I started keto was to control and hopefully reverse my diabetes. That's how I found Dr. Barry because I was like, okay, I know I'm a diabetic. I don't want to be stuck with insulin. That's why I never treated my diabetes because I was like, I'm, I'm not going to shoot myself full of insulin. And so I just looked up, I Googled, can diabetes be reversed? I found Dr. Barry and I, when I started, my A1C was over 13. It was like 13.6. Within a few months, like within three months, it had gone down to, I think, 5.6. When I just got it rechecked last month, I'm at 5.4 now. That is considered no longer a diabetic. That's not even pre-diabetic anymore. So, I'm just, like, thrilled to me. Yeah. I mean, I would love to continue to lose weight, which I know I am. I am losing weight, like, every week. I'm, you know, steadily going down. Um, but it's just... I'm just thinking the fact that I'm no longer a diabetic to me is the best benefit in the world. It was about six months for me when I reversed mine. No, no. Yours was like two to three months because we started. Yeah. And when you got checked in July, they said, My oh, doctor you're not actually a diabetic. called me and told me to stop taking my metformin. Yeah, because he's he said like, it could be damaging you because you're no longer a diabetic. Right. So who knows because you didn't have the blood work done. Right. For so, so you could have had it reversed a lot sooner because his diabetes, I, I think your highest diabetic number when you got diagnosed was like a 10, I think, oh, or a 9, sure. something. I believe but it. it was never as high as mine. <laughs> Um, so anyways, but that's, that's more the, important to me than all the weight loss, honestly. Yeah. I'm so more that's the, pleased with that. The gist of it, we will be doing a video where we're really going to detail like more in depth, our whole story yeah. and journey. Um, oh, Shauna said strips of peppers for the mask. So you could use the jalapeno and do real thin strips. Like Julianne almost. Yeah. Like even thinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be perfect. Good yeah, idea. Oh, um, I wonder if it'll help if I did it on the mandolin. Uh, no. And that'd be too much? Okay. You could, because that's just going to be a circle, right? No, not if I turn the pepper sideways. Maybe. But the thing is, you have to... Well, I guess you could try I mean, I don't know. That. I mean, because it's, it's right I here. would just... No, that's fine. Cut it. Uh, Shauna said there's a great crust recipe on KC. Keto Chow Joe has a great crust recipe. That's true. Oh, yeah. Pam said, I saw one yesterday that didn't have a crust and you don't bake it. Yes, I see the no-bake ones. That's an idea, too. Um, to then fix maybe it, I can Jay's it. back. Hey, hey welcome brother. back. She goes, Shelly, the left side of my phone is cracked, so it looks like the spider web's on your face. That's I awesome. I know you're a Halloween lover, so made me chuckle. That's awesome. Thank show, her the, you. show her the spider right behind you. I know, right? And then it'll look like it's crawling on her. I know. Uh... <laughs> And just jump. Oh. Okay, hold on. Because uh, we need to really get caught up here. That's fine. Because um, I'm not hungry now. Uh, Brianna said, you don't do almond flour, right? Correct. What do, you, what do you use for the crust? Correct. So, usually for my crust, I use the pork panko. The last time I did one, I did the pork panko and some butter. And I just mixed that together. I think I did put a little bit of sweetener in it. So you got this one online, right? Yeah. This is pork barrel pork yeah. rinds. But I just do that as the crust. Anything now, last, that, oh, sorry, go ahead. last time we made it, 
Because uh, remember, I made them in the little cupcakes. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it yeah. had that, and you said it just tastes, that to you tastes a little more like a, a pork rind on the bottom, remember? Yeah. So we were like, well, I think if you added a little sweetener to it, then it wouldn't be as evident of the pork rind flavor. Well, we figured out those, any recipe that calls for almond flour, we just use the same ratio, the same measurement, but in pork rind panko. Right. We use a said, lot, a one, for, one to one. Forget the crust and use 2KK's chocolate toffee cheesecake filling recipe, but use the pumpkin keto chow and cook in ramekins. It's delicious. Oh, that's what yes. I did too. Oh, Melissa's here. Hey. Welcome, hey. Melissa. Is that Melissa K? Yeah, she goes, I'm here listening, but Hi. won't be able to type. Just picked up dinner from Texas Roadhouse. Awesome. Since near my office and now driving home, which will probably take an hour. Oh, well, wow. Thanks for listening, yeah. Melissa. I. I hope you're going to use some of the new um, Hotline products. Right. Uh, the Garden King Gringo would yes. be a great dipping sauce. Yeah. Because we're going to, we decided uh, we're going to use the uh, Evil Ooze tonight. Yeah. Uh, and give us guesses what you think I'm going to do with some ham, mozzarella balls, little <laughs> jalapenos, and some Evil Ooze. Because that's guess? the thing, too. Like she was saying a minute ago, how we used to go out to eat all the time. We have a local um, Italian joint that they close one day one day a week yeah and once a month they were doing pop-up dinners and where, that's where we found them where they were using uh they were letting their chef create his own menu and they were just going hog wild on different things and then that's when i figured out that this sauce is excellent with italian food yes uh pam says she uses the keto chow pumpkin and the psml bread too oh, nice. okay shawna says she has one more pork belly for one in my fridge, need to do that again. Yes, yeah. you do. Linda said, chop pecans, melted butter, and a little sweetener makes a good crust. That's okay. true. Yeah, you can do the Because see, pecans. I was worried about the pecans, though. I mean, for me. The pecans, remember, are okay for you. Okay. Uh, Lisa said, oh, that's a good idea. Linda said she rarely finds pork belly. Oh. Yeah, we... Well, remember, the one day at... Um, H-E-B, H-E-B, they were out. They were so maybe out. ask your local H-E-B when they yeah. get them in stock. Because ours, he said they only get a couple. Yeah. So he had to go back the next day when he said, oh, well, we put them out on Wednesday. So he went in first thing Wednesday to grab it. Yeah. Uh, Kelly said, Heath, have you started your new job? No, I start November 15th. Uh, Brianna said, I like to say I'm unique in my own little special way. That's cool. That's right. Randy said, it's supposed to rain in Bakersfield tonight. Of course, I washed the truck today. Well, see, you just did it yourself. It was your fault. (laughs) Carla's here. Hey, welcome back, Carla. Hello. Lori said, yes, I'm an awesome wife. I had to talk him into letting me order him a Traeger. Right? You're like, look, dude. I'm going to order you this Traeger, and you're going to like it. Well, another reason why Shelly really likes the Traeger... The pellet cooker is because oh. she can cook on it easily. Before, when I had the uh, the stick burner, she's like, man, that's a lot of work. Why are you doing right? that? Uh, oh, goodness. Vivi Chase here. Hey. hey. He said, hey, made it. Sorry I'm late. Took a nap. That's Welcome. Fine. So did I. <laughs> Karen said, just bought some hot sauce. I bought one of each. Looking forward to trying it. Ooh. Nice. That's awesome. The only thing I got to tell y'all, if you're going to buy the hotline stuff, just be wary. Of their pineapple flavor. Yeah, that one has sugar. Yes, all the rest of them are keto safe. The pineapple does have sugar in it, though. Yeah. Because we actually know the owner. He actually lives in, in, in the same town as us. Yeah, and he's done keto off and on. He's like one of those that's Keto-ish. Like, he goes, I'll do keto today. Right. You know? But he, he does well. And I kind of get for him, like some people that we know are huge into the food scene. Yes. And, um, and he runs like four different food pages on right. Facebook too. But like when we were all in that scene too, you get you know like hey this we're having a pop up restaurant or this restaurant's opening or we're having this food event you need to come to yeah, this yeah right right because you need to do reviews and, and all that free stuff tickets. and it's like well then what do you do when you you know get invited and it's a preset menu and, and it's ninety percent carbs right so we kind of got out of that you know when we went keto because we were like look we that there's no point we can't really judge a new restaurant where we're going to be like, okay, I know you're an empanada restaurant, but can you just put our filling on the side? You know, Like, with, like I was saying with the Italian joint here, uh, the, she taught us about this. 
the guy keeps messaging me too. The owner does and saying how much he misses us and everything. Because we used to be one yeah. of the first ones there at his pop ups. Yeah. And we, I mean, I and still have coupons from my birthday where he's giving me free meals and stuff, but I can't eat because it's all pasta. I know. Uh, Jerry said, just got my order in for the salsas. Tried to use your code, but they had a bigger discount. Yeah, sometimes oh, he does. Oh, that's even better. But if you do, if he does offer a special, if you can, just put in the comments, Hungry Heat sent us. Yeah. Just because um, he can, we don't get anything from yeah. it, right? We're not getting any kickbacks or anything, but just so that carry the guy it, it's his company so he knows oh okay so there that's where these orders are coming from this is from Heath so that he knows that that's where you heard about the the um hot sauce it ain't. now you so I say I didn't know kickbacks on occasion he will send me a box full of sauces well, but the well, last one I got, I paid for. Him. Yeah, that's what but I. But he will, he, he will give me some free sauces sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. But, but this is a thank you because I am directing yeah, all so, y'all out there. But if you just to let him know, I just wanted because, to be honest with everybody though. That's well, fine. well, yeah, we did. That was like over a year ago. But yeah. um, just so he knows, you know, he could be like, oh, okay, so then it'd be cool for him to like reach out and say, oh, thanks, dude. Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of your people tell me that they're ordering. And then that way he can, you know, right. just kind of know that, hey, you know, we're we're trying to pimp his stuff too. You can put the cloche on it. <sighs> Dang things. Um, okay. Uh, Matreya said the Traeger rub was at Costco today. I had the chuck roast, and he asked how I was going to cook them. I said in the pit boss, he started to sales pitch me. Right. They do. Well, at ours, it was a pretty young girl and or woman. Well, I always wanted to upgrade anyways, or not upgrade, but trade off from my pit boss, because I, I, I had really bad problems with their customer service. Yeah. So I got rid of it, and that's why I love that I bought it at Costco. Because it's returnable. Because then I can return it. Oh, Carla said she'd love to have a grill, but it's just me and limited income. Right. I understand that. We, we've been there, and uh, I... To me, if it is just you, I would almost go with, if you wanted something, is to get one of those indoor grills. I yes. used to have one of those where it's just the little indoor, like, mock grilling. And to me, that was enough. Um, Matre said, I stopped him and said, my spouse told me I could buy a Yoder when the boss rushed through. He said, oh, then you aren't going with Traeger. Keep on cooking with wood, though. Ah. Wow, Jerry said I saw at Kroger's they had a dual racks of ribs for a dollar seventy nine a pound. Two massive racks for fifteen. Okay, Should we're going to Kroger tomorrow. Instant pot and finished in the oven on broil. We're going yeah. to Kroger tomorrow because I have um, some ideas. Be Betsy says, "Help! Why are my Instant Pot hard boiled eggs always gray? I cook mm -hmm. for three, leave for four, and soak in ice for an hour so they don't smell but still gray. Are they um?" Are they the store-bought or farm-fresh eggs? Thank you. Betsy said, hit the thumbs up. Thank you for that. And because see what I figured uh, out, too, with the Instant Pot eggs, I was, uh, after they're done cooking, after I do the ice bath, I've been peeling them all and put them in a baggie, like a Ziploc, or I put them back in the uh, carton and put them back in the fridge. But they turn a little slimy after they've been in there too long. So what I've started doing is I have an empty uh, uh, bucket from... Um, Sour cream. I buy the large sour cream from uh, Costco. I just put the whole egg in there, you know, with the peel, I mean, the uh, the shell and all, and they work perfect. I don't ever have them yellow, though. Gray, you mean? Gray, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, Shauna said, I never did find out who got me the sloth mug from last year's Elfster. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'll probably run it again this year. Um... Technically, they don't have to disclose who's your elf, right? There was a couple people last year I felt kind of bad that their elf never followed, up. followed through. And so I felt really bad. So I made sure that they got something. But that's just the hard part is, especially in 2 Case group, they're close to 10,000 members. Right. So I'm fine with running it again. But this year, if... If people aren't following through, I don't think I can buy a whole bunch of people presents. <laughs> but and if you, didn't, if you didn't find out who sent it to you, that means it was Santa Claus. Oh, Linda McIver's here. Hey. hey. She says, hi from Calgary. Um, 
Love the decoration on the table. Hey, Thanks. welcome. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alberta. That's fun. Uh, Matray said Sunday at 6.30. This week we're going to do a coffee talk. Oh, boy. Coffee talk. Um, You'll enjoy that. Oh, yes, I will. Renee said, yeah, I saw you use Bastello too. Good stuff. Coffee talk. Matray said, okay, so do them on the low pressure in the 8 quart and try the 4-3 ice water. Okay. Oh, okay. She said, maybe a little soft in the middle. Okay. I know he does his real hard. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, Jerry said, I'm making my beef wind dig. It's an Indonesian beef curry tonight in the Instant Pot. So easy, delicious. After cooking, about 30 minutes back on the saute to reduce the excess liquid. Okay. That sounds awesome. Good. Oh, she says 555 is way too long. Okay. Yeah, he does like his, like, hard. Boy. hard. Uh, but he likes his regular scrambled eggs and all hard. Like, I don't, he likes it to where it's, like, dry. No, it's not dry. It can't be dry when I cook it in all that grease. I like mine, like, the real only, creamy. The only time I like a runny yolk is when I do uh, sunny side up and fried <laughs> eggs. Um, okay, let's see. Lori said, I just ordered a bottle of Evil Ooze and a bottle of garlicky gringo. Nice. Nice. Betsy said, if I use my little stove oven, it's two fifty compared to one ten for Instapot. Cheaper, right? All right. Dre said, I wanted to be outside Sunday because cool fall weather, fire, and coffee equals perfect. Naturally, weather says it's going to be pouring rain. Of course. Well, last as few soon times, as you decided that. Last few times I wanted to record outside, like using my pit or my blackstone or whatever. The neighbor's yard guy shows up. She says, oh, I don't know why I never injected hot sauce before. Oh, you got to try that. Yeah. Jerry said, I can't use the Frank's hot sauce. It has gluten in it, so not for me. Oh, I didn't know that. It does? I didn't um, know that. Randy said, Heat, if you love ice cream, you need the Ninja Creamy. I do, but I also love my money. Um... Renee said, I was going to post a link to the video of your story, Shelly, but can't find it. I don't have it posted. Ronnie said, I knew ah. the price would eventually lower, but I don't know how to wait on certain things. I'm pretty much a now person. <laughs> uh, that's him, Rhonda. That is so... I wanted it yesterday. Yes. Like, it, it, when something happens, he's like, I gotta have it now. Uh, Lori said, my oldest son and his wife and my grandkids are coming to visit November 5th or 9th. I might share some evil ooze with my son since he's a hothead. Awesome. I hope he likes it. Let's see. I don't see it, though. Um, Matre said, friends don't let friends use Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> I like it, though. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a good starter sauce, right? Oh, here he sent a picture of it. Yeah, it's right there though. Oh, well that's a different one. This one, only maybe it's a different version, Jerry. Because this one is just the regular original. Yeah. And it says on here, uh, aged cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. Yeah. And this is, we got it a twin pack at Costco. Hmm. What size bottle is this though? Oh, that's a huge bottle. Um, it's uh, 25 ounces. And like I said, it came in a twin pack, and we got it at Costco. Kelly laughed at you. Injecting with freaks. Oh, well, thank you, Jerry. So don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Lori said, I like Frank, so if Evil Ooze is better, then I'll stop using Frank. Oh, Evil Ooze is definitely way better than Frank's. Yes, yes. If Frank's like is entry, entry level. Frank's is really not that spicy. What's the yeah. other one? Um, I just If you it. like spicy. It's spicy. You'll love the evil ooze. It's definitely a better flavor. I'm going to go get it because uh, I'll just finish Renee it Renee said, my H-E-B finally got more of the habanero cheese. I bought six packs. The cashier says, oh, is this good? No, I'm trying to save others from the misery, right? I just bought six packages. Last time we went, they had a sign up, and I just grabbed the first two. I was like, ooh, one of these looks like some of the cheese is like broke off. Yeah, it's broken. Let me get another package. And that was the only two they had. All the rest was just regular cheddar. We also use the Louisiana hot sauce. Yeah. That's, that also is what I consider an entry level. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start on this. Um, Shauna said, but that was my starter hot sauce. Right? You well, go, now girl. you're infected. <laughs> um... Let's see. Lori said, I do like the Frank's Buffalo seasoning, though. We haven't tried that. I thought um, it was. Brianna said, it, 200 pounds is 
um, about what Joe weighs. You lost a Joe. That's amazing, right? Me. Right, he well, did. Well, honestly, I don't know exactly how much I lost. I say my starting weight was 460 pounds. But that is also where the scale topped out. So yeah. I may have very well have been over that. Yeah. I think I need a spoon, too. Oh, like that? Yeah. I can't get that open. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Lori said, wait, Frank says gluten in it? I didn't know that either. This bottle does uh, not, though. I mean, this bottle's label doesn't say it does. Shauna said, Heath, what if you mix some snickerdoodle keto chow with the pork rind crumbs? Ooh, that sounds good for the crust. Uh, Brianna said, me too, Shauna. The scale hasn't really moved, but I'm in pants that I didn't used to fit. And I'm in a... On the last hole of my belt. Oh, isn't that fun? I've had to do that oh, twice. Oh, here we go. Shauna said, make an eyeballs. Eyeballs, Lori said. Yes. Randy you said, my see motto. what we're making then. Randy said, my motto is get busy living. Right? Right. Isn't that from Shawshank? Yeah. Get busy okay. living or get busy so dying. So just kind of get your lunch meat, kind of roll it up a little if you want. You plate or something to put it on or? Yeah, we were going to use those plates. We still can, or is it too much grease? So, I'm going to start by just kind of lightly wrapping this around. And then, put this into this little one. We'll use the fancy plate. Let's see. Oh, the fancy. So that's like the eyeball. We're not cooking See how right? that looks. No. Okay. Um, Randy said, Rhonda, I watched that interview. Thank you for sharing. I know. She had the best interview. Yes. She's such a beautiful person. So that's kind of that eyeball. So let me try another one. I, I tried these a few ways. So you could also do, depending on, you know, how... Uh, crazy you want to make the, the look of it, right? So you could do it just a little rough there. Let's see. I'm trying. Come on, stay. We'll clear some of this out of the way so they can see better. Yeah. Well, you're okay. And let's see here. So let me do Oh, yeah. What? Okay. So, I'm just trying to get this kind of rolled up here a little bit. And then, I don't even know if we could do the evil ooze if it'll look right. Well, we can try. Yeah. But there's you no, know, it's not a squirt bottle though, so. I know. That would be easier. Well, I have that little shorty. We can fill it up and then squirt makes squirt out of it. Squirt. Um, Okay. So let's see. Here's another one. So what do y'all think? Is that cute, like eyeball? Oh, you're gonna take some pictures too. Oh uh, yeah. For the grand. Um. Uh, let's see. Betsy said, "What do y'all think about a friend who only will do keto chow now and then to lose weight and can't understand why it's not working? I don't know what to tell her." Um. What can you tell her? Vivid just say, "I know it's you. I can see your photo." Oh. Jamie's here. Blue Dutch. Hey, hey, hungry horde of mates. What's banging? Or, oh, how's it hanging? Um, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Now, another way you could do it. Because I played around, y'all. I love this ham from Sprouts. It's really good. And, uh, so I made a few of these last night, too, because I just couldn't wait. So you can pull the, pan, the ham apart into kind of like long strips. I guess you could cut it, but I'm just kind of roughly tear my it. eyeball. Yeah, that's right. We thought about cooking them too, but it didn't turn out very well. It turned out, but it was um, kind of a what would you say? It was like um, it, it didn't really add anything to do it. There's that no way. real purpose. Yeah, it didn't really, other than taking longer, right? All right. So I just kind of. An extra step for no Pulled reason. it out all apart, the ham. So, then I'm going to roll it again. This last piece here. And. 
There we go. So, oh, what's my husband going to do? I'm going to try and dot the I. Oh. Oh, dot it? Yeah. Okay. So, of course, I got the small mozzarella, right? So, there's another one. See how it is with the... It like looks more like skin or whatever around it when it's all kind of cut instead of perfectly folded. I didn't think we were done. I was going to put it underneath the, as blood. That's what I'm doing, but watch. I'm just going to oh do one. Gosh, here we go, y'all. But look at the opening on this, so I'm going to have to pour easily. You know, very carefully, rather. Oh, you know. Shh. I'm working. Oh, this is the slowest pour. It's doing it on purpose, okay. though. That's because that's what I want right there. So it looks like a bloody eyeball. Okay, go show them. Is that Eddie? showing up? Yeah, it should. We'll see if it shows up. I just don't want to drop the plate. And we got a, uh, a delay here. Yeah, that's a little. I don't know if you can even see that. You might have to get like up and you put know what it I'm right in the thing. This is the one, right? Yeah. So, Betsy, how I would tell your friend, and this is how my coach kind of described it, is she said, when you first start keto, right, imagine, look in the camera behind you. Oh, that makes sense. Let's see. What she said is imagine that you have pipes, right? Pipes. The best pipes are those that just go straight through. You're going to get your water and everything real quick if it's a straight line of a pipe, right? Well, what she, how she explained it is every time you go off keto and do something else, like not just a, a momentary, but like if you go off for a few days or weeks, you put a kink in that pipe. So what does that do? It slows down the flow of things. <laughs> so the more that you stop and start, stop and start, that's more kinks each time. Well, that's why people who go on again, off again on keto each time have a harder time of losing because now your body is just like, well, what? You're just doing this now, but in two days you're going to be back to carbs, right? Oh, oh I knew that was going to happen. Uh, well, I guess he's eating that one. Yeah, because you have the heave Uh Just wash it off. It should be pretty much fine, just a little bit. Uh, but that's how my coach described it. And I thought that was a perfect an um, analogy. Uh, because she, you put her outside. Oh, yeah. Duh. Because, you know, if you... Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, you kicked it real bad. No, no. Oh. We're completely off now, I think. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. So anyhow, the I hope that kitchen. helps. Lisa said, sorry guys, I'm back. Had to clean up the kitchen and feed Raven. There you go. That's nice. You like that better? Well, now I feel like I'm completely... Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Now watch me uh, walking, Heath. Right, Lori said you're you you can't ride a fence. You're either in or out. Exactly. I don't think it really did anything to add this to it. I'm not impressed. I mean, it's all it's going to do is make it taste better. Uh, Matreya said, "Hey, sometimes flat iron sends me a bottle of my favorite. I can't feel my face because I share my picks of grinders of food made with the flakes. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Now I got to start sharing more of their stuff. Yes. Because I. Uh, Thoroughly enjoy the product. <laughs> Shawnee said, hard boiled eggs. Oh, I'm dying inside little by little. <laughs> uh, Brianna said, me too, Betsy. Matreya said, I joined the Elfster. I got thread yarn from Christopher. Oh, that's cool. All right, so I'm just going to keep making these. While I eat them. <laughs> that's not fair. Because watch this. Oh, good. So what do y'all think? Isn't this a cute little appetizer? Yeah. You're doing anything for like, um, did you throw the toothpick away? Mm-hmm. We could have reused that. Oh, no, fine. 
if you're doing like a little, you know, get together or having a little Halloween party, I thought those would be so cute. Um, I enjoyed the Elster too. I think it's a lot of fun. Oh, it jumped on me. Okay. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't kick that. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see. Where'd it go? I can't believe it did that so much. See, we're really behind. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Lori said, I had an awesome elf last year. It was Shelly. Aw. Uh, let's see. Renee said, Frank's is too tomatoey to me. Right? But once uh, it's injected in the chicken and it's cooked, yeah, you think it it's going to be different. Because mm -hmm. what I was trying, what I planning on doing is I used to make oh. what I called or they would call it anyways, a beer butt chicken. I even have a little canister for it. Where you put a, a can of beer in this canister, this little holder thing, and you slip down the chicken on top of it and then smoke it. And yeah. it turns out fantastic. Here, don't eat them because when you take a little picture of them. And remember? I've also done, uh, I've used uh, chicken broth in place of the beer, and that works out pretty good. Yeah. Okay, do the little one. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. You have uh, keto only by the hot sauce, not the wing sauce from Frank's. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, Frank's is not too spicy. I agree. It's, it's not, not spicy, but it's. I like the flavor. Um, Lori said, well, if I die from evil ooze, what a way to go. Right? Right. Randy said, I just bought the Ninja Foodie XL. Really like it. I looked up our ribeyes on it. To, I cooked up my ribeyes on it tonight. Came out great. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, Renee said, Dad used to call that Lausiana sauce. Right. Uh, Jerry said, I love El Yucatan sauces too, plus El Tapito. And yes. my favorite is Valentina that's from good Mexico. Too. That's my stepdad's favorite. Uh, Cholula is too. also a super solid salsa. Tangy, but not too spicy. Right. Yeah, I agree. Now, my, uh, my grandfather, my dad's dad, used to uh, fry fish all the time, especially catfish, and he would use the Louisiana hot sauce, and he would dump an entire container into a, uh, either a baggie or a, 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 a Tupperware container of little fish fillets and let it marinate in the Louisiana overnight. That was his uh, favorite way to do it, but then he bread it and yeah. corn flour or whatnot. Matreya said, yes, the evil ooze is very spicy, spicy enough that it has, uh, it has a little of my favorite electric zap effect. Usually I don't get that until there is a scorpion involved. Oh, okay. Well, you, have you tried their scorp uh, scorching scorpion? Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, Brianna said, there are a few didn't Frank sauces. Maybe the wing sauce has the gluten, but the original doesn't. Right. Oh, that's yeah. what we have oh, here is the original. Ketone Powered Geek is here. Oh, hey, brother. Hey. You're the one that was turning on us all about using the uh We got a sous vide. Yes. Where was that at? That was at uh, Omaha, right? Yeah, that was at Omaha that we met him. So go look at Ketone Powered Geek on uh, Instagram. Instagram. And he, like, sous vides everything. So definitely follow him. He's got some great ideas, you What's his name? Sous vide Geek or whatever? Uh, no, it's Ketone Powered yeah. Geek. I'll do uh, some more. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, Jerry said, maybe it was the bottle I had from Frank's, or maybe they adjusted their process. Their website says the standard flavor is gluten-free. That's good to know now. I'm hypersensitive. Right. Well, because... That's why you made me go look, because I want to make sure, too. Yeah. Well, he's got to be, because... It, and I can get that, because, like, if you see it on one bottle, you just are like, well, we shouldn't take a chance on any right. of it, then. Right, 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 right. Right. Uh, Keto Power Geek, Geek said, I keep missing these Friday night live shows. I'm a third shift worker, Aww. so I'm usually sleeping right now. Aww. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Yeah, thanks. It's James, right? I believe his, that was your name, his, right? His, his name in the streets. <laughs> Jerry said, I love all the flavors of Cholula, Cholula I found. Yeah. Very tasty. Yes. Uh... Shauna said, on tonight's Friday Night Feast, crafty with lunch meat. <laughs> right? That's right. Falling on a budget. Brian said, I used Cholula with my avocado oil mayo 
to make ah. it quick chipotle mayo works great and has a nice tangy te taste oh that sounds really good well, how many more uh, do you want to do because i like these how many more uh i was gonna do two i run out of ham or balls one balls. okay well i'm just thinking uh, i need to slice some more uh peppers then right yeah probably but but i just keep slicing off the same one though yeah like a new one. uh let's see Oh, cool eyeball, Shauna says. Thank you. I see what uh, you're talking about. Uh, uh, Matreya said, yeah, I prefer Cholula to Frank's. Kelly said, how did you two meet? If it's story for another video, that's fine. I can wait. Well, it was actually uh, through mutual friends on Facebook. Y'all know I'm a carpenter. Third generation carpenter, a cabinet maker. Well, they might not all know that. Well, now you know. Well, a friend of ours needed some work done at her house. And I don't know why, because she has a boyfriend and he's, he's handy. But for whatever reason... Not that handy. But she has my phone number. And back then we were still on uh, um, Skype and all these other things, right? But instead of calling me, texting me, or messaging me or whatever, she just put a random post. Hey, if anybody uh, hears from Heath... I need some work done in my house. Yada, yada, you know? Yeah, and then all of our friends are just smart asses, right? Excuse my language. If you're... So they're all, so people started, they were like, oh, you need Heath. Oh, what's Heath going to do? Oh, what are you using Heath for now? Like they're giving her a hard time, right? And Heath gets on there. And she's one of my old poker buddies. Yeah. I've spent the night in her house before just because I was too drunk to go anywhere. And just, she's. Yeah. So I said. So he said, oh, she wanted me to um, play with her curtains. And, oh, wow, I didn't know you were going there. Oh, whoops, was I not supposed to? Okay, we'll just stop. Well, good thing we're not monetized. <laughs> I, I, overt, I don't even know why, y'all. I was sitting, I remember this, like, distinctly. I was at my mom's house visiting with her, but, like, my mom, as soon as the TV goes on, his mom's like this. She just goes to sleep. So she's asleep. I'm on Facebook just playing around. This was, you know, eight plus years ago. Playing around on Facebook. I see all these people chit-chatting. So I'm being bored. Bored. And Very I was modest. like, I'm going to be a little flirty. And so I flirted. And next thing I know, he's all like, oh. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I just flirted. Like, I didn't know who he was. Like, I knew nothing about him. I, I never just saw the person. post. Never saw him before. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh. I just flirted with this guy. I don't even know if he's married. Like, what if he's married? I'm like, oh, how inappropriate am I? And I was like, oh my gosh. I don't even know anything about him. And, of course, he's all like, oh, well, come on, honey. And so we talked. Big dog got to eat. We talked a little bit online, you know, in the thread. And he was all for it, right? And then he friends me on Facebook. And that's it. I don't hear from him for like oh, two weeks. I was playing hard to get. Didn't hear anything from him for two weeks. I'm just like there. Like, oh, okay. Like, I almost even forgot that I even friended him. I was like, oh, okay. Just probably some dude. He's got like a girlfriend or whatever. And was just, you know, being flirty. And just decided, ah, it's not worth it. Right? And next thing I know, you know, I've seen his post and everything, and I'm like, oh, that's a cool post. Okay, I like that. And next thing I know, he sends me a message. He's like, well, I see you keep liking all my posts. And he's like, but you're not talking to me, so what's up? Are you going to talk to me or, or what? And I'm like, okay, dude. Like, I accepted your friend request. Why don't you talk? That is me talking. And so we just started talking. and We haven't stopped. I know, right? And next thing I know, um, we we moved in together <laughs> within... Was it about six weeks? No, no. We moved in together within four weeks. Oh, okay. That's even better. Because I talked to you Easter weekend. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. the first time we had like a long talk on the phone. While well, you were on vacation. <laughs> yeah, I was coming back from Austin. So I talked to him the whole way. And then uh, I was going oh, on a trip shit. with my family... The next month, and I was like, oh, well, instead of boarding my animals, I could just get this guy I don't even know to watch my animals at my house. And so that's what he did while I was gone. He was at my house. <laughs> and then we were married within uh, three months of, each of meeting each other. And that was a little over eight years ago. Yeah, we just, like, 
seriously, y'all, this is so, like, so, uh, thanks you here. Like, we were, we were already in talks of getting married. We just got engaged. My, was like, my cousin was going to make our uh, cake uh, and everything. Wedding, wedding cake for us. But, we already started planning on our yeah, uh, we invitations. Started, like, planning. And we'll, so, we got engaged. And then we were going to start planning. And we were talking about it over dinner about, oh, well, we got to do this and this and this. This is the last one. Okay. Well, we'll sleep. And, um, and we were talking over dinner one night. And he was like... We're sitting at a restaurant, actually. Yeah. And he goes, um, why don't we just forget all this? Why don't we just go to Vegas and get married? I was like, are you serious? Don't you been playing with me? And he She said, whipped out her phone and started looking at flights. Yeah, and he's like, no, I'm serious. Let's catch the next flight to Vegas. Let's just do it. And I was like, holy beep. And so I looked it up and I was like, okay, well, it's 8 o'clock at night. There's no flights to Vegas tonight. But, but there's one at 7 in the morning. He was like, yeah, book it. So I booked the flight right there before we even finished dinner. But wait, there's more. No, well, we got tons of comments. Okay. Uh, and so we we just got up the next day, flew to Vegas. We didn't tell anybody. One person we did. Yes. My One of my best friends that I haven't talked to in I don't know how long. We call, I called him and said, hey, bro, we're coming to Vegas. Me and my girlfriend. And he was like... He Are did. you getting married? And he starts screaming and everything. He started freaking out like like a fangirl screaming. Yes. And he then he's like, like so excited. He met us at the airport, picked us up, drove us to the courthouse, and he heckled me the whole time telling me not to do it. Because <laughs> he's freshly divorced at that point. But no, he was like really happy for us. So yeah, we, uh, he was really cool. Yeah, so we went I'm and... i put all this and throw it in here. And we, uh, oh, put the last jalapeno on that other one. Okay. Well, let's, oh, can I see it? Okay. So well, let me later. do the picture. And do this. Oh. Can you not do that so well? Okay. Well, it won't click if I don't. So anyway, so that was the rough version. So we flew to Vegas, got married. After we were married, we told everybody because we were like, we didn't want anybody, you know, uh, talking, talking us out, out <laughs> our crazy idea. Best so, yes. idea ever. <laughs> so Jerry said, response, I only put gas in my car every once in a while, so why can't I drive a thousand miles, right? Right. That's a brilliant way of looking at it. I like yes. that. Yes. Um, and then Renee said, keep your eyes on your work, Shelly. Karen said, I love the Cholulas. Yeah, and that's she said, really eyes on the prize. That's, that's Oh, me. Lynette's here. Hey. hey. Lynette. She goes, oh my goodness, it's Heath, Shelly, and the Hungry Horde. How is everyone? We're doing great. Lynette, how are you? Do you want me to start um, cooking this lamb? Yes. Yeah, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to start heating up our skillet for the ground lamb. Um... Jerry said, you don't if you need dot to the, the skillet, I, though, do you? If you dot the I, how do you cross the T's? That's for a different show. Uh, Shawna said, looks like the old Heinz ketchup commercials. <laughs> Ketone Power Geek said, you need one of them ketchup mustard squeeze bottles. And we actually have one. Oh, Lisa said, use a dropper to get it in the eye just right. Oh, that's a smart idea. Yes, it's full of water, though. We use this for cleaning the Blackstone. I use it to squirt water on it. But I like Lisa get a dropper. Do we have one? No. I threw it away because it was in the one with my stevia. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jamie said, so what part of the movie inspired tonight's dish? Did you guys enjoy the flick? Yeah, yeah. I love the movie. Basically, honestly, it was just the name. Yeah. Oh. So we did... Uh, oh, well, we need a bowl to melt the cheese. As well. Do you want uh, metal or plastic? Or what do you want? Well, it needs to go in the microwave. That's what I'm asking. How are you going to do it? In the microwave. Oh, well then we use this one then, right? So, for our, um, like the, the flowered one. Oh, this one? Yeah. I didn't think it was microwave safe. Yeah. So, for our crust, uh, what you're going to need is about a half a cup of... What? Nothing. I was oh, gonna ask you. Yeah, if you want to put it away. Yeah. Put our put our balls away. 
Are we out of the cheese? The, 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 yeah. Oh, we're out. Yeah, okay. So we're going to use mozzarella, about half a cup of mozzarella. And then that should be that. And then um, you want to melt that for 30 seconds. Easy, wash your water. Put that away as well. Cheese on my fingers. And um, then I also need a spatula for that once you're done. We used to so, have that really good part of pink. Oh, Lori said she's never seen Silence of the Lambs. I hadn't either until last weekend. And um, I finally saw it. If you, um, that one. If you like oh, Criminal Minds, it's very reminiscent of Criminal Minds. If any of y'all ever watched Criminal Minds, I would even say even the gore and everything that's in Silence of the Lamb is no worse than some of the like season highlights of Criminal Minds. That's hot. I, uh, is that good enough? Yeah. So then for the crust, you want to melt your mozzarella. So, you see it's nice and melted. Let me stand up and show you. So, I enjoyed it. I always loved Criminal Minds. And that's what I kept telling Heath. I said, this is just like Criminal Minds. I'll be right back. Like, I feel like I'm just watching a good episode of Criminal Minds. You know, some of their episodes were, like, fantastic. So. Yeah. And then to this, we're going to add some... Pork panko, and you're going to want to do, we're going to do a fourth of a cup to start with. So it's like three tablespoons, about. Okay. But I thought um, the Silence of the Lambs was really good, had a good suspense. Even though I never saw it, I kind of knew the whole premise of it and you know I of course had seen the different people before and now a lot of the memes make sense like the uh, you must lotion it thing um, so some memes that I saw I was like okay now I get where they get that now it makes sense <laughs> yeah okay can you do this for another like 30 seconds maybe and then Heath is just he heating up the skillet so that we can uh, start browning the ground lamb and let's see, Shauna said, yeah, and then they blame it on keto, right? Well, Renee, well, not one you? friend of ours told us, keto doesn't work because when I stopped, I got to gain all my right. weight back. And Renee called you Butterfingers. Uh, Renee, Shauna said, oh, I dropped my eye. Back from the fridge? Yes. And Brian said, that eye was a little droopy. <laughs> and then Shauna said, Texas earthquake. Whatever. Um, oops. How does it do that? I don't know. Oh, Ashana said you could have just used some of the chili flakes. Oh, that's true. And then Lori, uh, Lisa said five-second rule. Renee said shaken carnivore syndrome. Lori said it's not Friday without a little technical mishap. I'm saying. Okay, so I should kick it again? No. So I'm just doing this so that I could stir this all together really well. And I think... Looking at it, y'all, see there? It's going to need some more pork panko. Because I don't want it to be mostly cheese. Well, I'm going to open this uh, meat and put it in the pan. So I'll start cooking. Y'all don't need to see that, right? Y'all know what meat looks like cooking in a pan. I'm going to do another, like, fourth of a right? cup. Yeah, well, we're so behind on comments. I don't know yet. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Keto uh, Power Geek said, I had met Shelly and Heath at the Keto Summit in Omaha. Yeah. Uh, Renee said, good idea, Shauna. Oh, Teresa said, cute idea. Thank you. Shauna said, I have them once in a while. <sighs> Brian said, hmm, maybe we make Shauna some pumpkin spice infused hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. Best of both worlds, right? So, see how this is more brown now? That's what I'm wanting. As far as the this is like our crust, right? Woo. And uh, 
Let's see. Shauna said, Renee, as long as I don't have to eat them. Lori said, I have hot sauce in my eye. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are too much. What's with all the dad jokes? Lori said, woohoo, no work weekend. Rhonda said, good job, he. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So, he said, he toned Power Geek said, yeah, I sous be a lot. Lynette loves her sous vide. Oh, awesome. Rhonda said, he, that's the five second restaurant rule. That's what hubby said uh, when he was a restaurant cook. Pick it up and put it back if you get it in before five seconds. Oh. That's scary. Like thinking of eating like at a restaurant. Oh my gosh. Like you imagine how often they drop stuff. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow, I got the fire up too high. It's spattering everywhere. Uh-huh. I only had it on five. So then you went to our little crust. We're gonna add an egg. There we go. And thank you, dear. So I'm just gonna do this for the crust, kind of sweep in that egg. That'll just kind of make it more of a doughy type consistency. That's what we're wanting. Well, next, do me a favor. Well, add me all the seasonings you want. Oh yeah. Let me get my. So, to our lamb that's currently in the skillet, we're going to season it. Now, I'm still trying to add this all together. So, that's a pound of ground lamb. So, to that, for our seasoning, we're going to use our Redmond's seasoned salt. I'm going to do like a tablespoon of that. But this stuff is amazing. I think it was, uh, who was it? Somebody recently ordered the Red Mint and they said that they loved it. I think it was Lisa. It's just amazing. I love this. Now, uh, I think thyme goes really well with lamb. So, uh, uh, <laughs> I just saw this where uh, Renee said, Heath and Shelly sure are getting a head start on Halloween ah. with the last Friday Night Live. So about a half a teaspoon of thyme. I don't want it to overpower the dish. I just really like the flavor of thyme. I think we already got time for that. And then I'm using this Herbe de Provence, which is basically some more thyme, rosemary, marjoram, savory, oregano, and lavender. Margarine? No, no, not margarine. Marjoram. Oh. Ma Marjoram? I know I'm mixing that up. So, just a teaspoon of that. And I love the smell of French herbs. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay. Oops. And then last but not least, we picked this up at, uh, Sprouts. It's just called Authentic New Mexico Hatch Chili, the ground green one. And it's just the ingredients. It's dry New Mexico Hatch Chili ground chilies with less than 2% of uh, phosphate anti-caking agent. That's it. That's all that's in here. So I was like, well, that's really pretty clean. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, Shauna said her little Ninja XL has a food, a sous vide option, too. Oh, wow. So, on this hatch chili, I just want to do a half a teaspoon of it because I don't want it to overpower the lamb. Okay. And he's just grinding that up. Browning. Browning it up. He's really good at that. I, I, I feel like I kind of suck at browning meat. He gets the meat, like, really small and like when he breaks it up he breaks up the meat just like perfect me it's like when I do it I always end up with these huge chunks anybody else like that when you're browning meat it's like I can't get them real small so I always call in the expert Heath to do that for me well I found the trick 
No. Is this fish spatula? Because look at the little edges on that. It fits in there perfectly. And you get all the little nooks and crannies and the little curvature of the skillet. Yeah. So that's why how I'm able to get it so right. I use this anytime I cook anything, honestly. I need a spatula. I use this for it all. Yeah, that is our favorite spatula. We have two of them. Yeah, that's how much we like that spatula. We bought another one. So we're like, when it's in the dishwasher, we're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Um, and it's flexible too, so it's easy to work with. Oh, but Trey said, oh, that Serrano ham. La 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 La, you can make several heads. The one with the beef sticks and the one with ham. I will oh, find right? the cake and share it tomorrow. Yes. <sighs> Shauna's saying, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the evening. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, Shauna said, Randall flirt, flirt miss. That was me. Uh, Matrena said. I ain't said, mad about it, I'll tell you that. I would tell you not to worry about being demonetized, but my crochet channel is still down due to too many reports on my F washcloth. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, my thing is, if, if you don't like that, then just don't watch the channel. Like, there's 5 million channels on YouTube. So, what he just did, I know it's not in the camera, but he ground the beef. So, when he finished cleaning up over there, he'll show you what it looks like. We just put it in the skillet, and we've got our oven on 350. Hold on, I'm just going to move the camera, so show him. Oh, uh, Shauna said, and he never left. I know. I asked him to stay to watch my animals. I'm and still watching them. Day. So yeah, that's what the skill looks like. And now, now back to beauty. Aww. Um, Matreya said, I don't need donations. If they don't restore it, I'll eventually just make a new one and repost it. Right? Uh... But I'm gonna put Shana, these spices up, get clear off the table a little bit. Thank you. Shauna said you gotta watch who you let pets sit. I, I know, right? Well, oh, she's still never... watching me. I know. Uh, Renee said Shelly has shackles on his ankles, so he can't run off. <laughs> Shelly is Heath's biggest fan. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Well, what it is is I was. My theory in life was I was going to date, 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 and then die. Yeah. I was never going to be married. That was my... Ambition? Uh, yeah. Because all I heard was horror stories. Because, I mean, my mom has been married twice. My dad's been Aww. married twice. Shana my said it was a My grandmother was married story. three times. Thank you. But now I just tell people that I'm fully domesticated now. She fixed me. Rhonda said, what? Not my gorgeous red? No. I know. Like, not me. I would never flirt. Jerry said, I can eat so hungry. Five more minutes to cook and then half an hour to reduce. Oh. Isn't that the worst when you cook something really long time? It's like the last half hour just seems to drag because you're like, I'm so hungry. Just be well, done. But what are we going to use these for? This is diced jalapeno. What are we going to put in there? Oh, you were going to add it in with the okay. lamb. Do you want it cooked or you want it all in there raw? I don't care. I guess you can add it in now. Okay. Well, uh, you didn't tell me, so that's why I was wondering. Oh, Shauna said she's never seen Silence of the Lambs. Well, now you all have homework. Oh, and Brianna said it puts the lotion on the skin, right? Now I know. I'm like, oh, goodness. But you know what? The movie's okay for me. Because the dog... Doesn't if, die. Yeah. If that dog... If she had... Sorry, y'all. Spoilers. I know. I did that in a real bad camera shot. I'm sorry. If, if something had happened to that dog, I would have been like right there with him. Like, she died. She is dead. <laughs> you know? Girl, that, gone. That was... Yeah. If she actually pulled off with that dog, I would have been like right there. No. That mm, needs to die. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that she was stuck in a well. Yeah, I don't care at that point. Uh, Renee said, oh, use a big meat injector and inject matzo balls wrapped in meat of choice for a bloody center surprise. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at you. So creative. See, I uh, told you when she gets there, we're going to put her to work. Right? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Shauna said, oh, cheese on my eyes. Matre said, oh, that's a great idea, Renee. Renee said, I just started Squid Games. Looking good. Oh, girl. Oh, wow. 
Shauna said, mm, I love Criminal Minds, but I had to DVR it and watch Middle of the Day. Uh-huh. Yeah, some of those episodes, it was just like intense, right? Uh, Jerry said, I was hoping for a deal on the Braville 3 in 1 combo microwave air fryer convection oven in one. Still only seeing the list price at $449. Oh, wow. Want it for $100 <laughs> less. We don't have a microwave, right? For that oh. kind of price, it needs to come with a chef, too. I'm saying. We're done with these, right? Yes. Shana said, Renee, what is it that keeps seeing Squid Games, this and that? Apparently, it's an amazing show. What what what, what uh, platform is that Netflix, on? Netflix, I believe. Right. Rihanna Cause... said, I want to binge the new season of You this weekend. Uh, Renee already did. What, what platform is that one on? Uh, I don't know. Lynette said, I want to dress up as Squid Games for Halloween. I bet you're not alone, Lynette. I think a lot of people do. Does it have anything to do with squid or games? It definitely has things to do with games. Brianna said, I'm going to be Charlie Brown for Halloween. Aw. I white sheet, and I'm going to put black circles all over it. Then I'm going to carry around a bag of rocks. Oh, my gosh. That is too much. I was going to dress as Porky Pig, but the girls told me no. Shauna said, sad, I ate all my ice cream, but it was just so good. How could you stop? Uh, Brianna said, I made chocolate peanut butter for tomorrow night. I've been craving chocolate ice cream lately. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm going to move this over here so that then we can move this right over here. I'm going to put this behind us. Oh, okay. I'm going to right there. Uh, let's see. It has graphic blood scenes. I, but I wouldn't say that scenes are any more graphic than what you see on Criminal Minds. Right? Can I you do this, No. I didn't find it as graphic as I would on a Criminal Minds show. So, it, it didn't really bother me. Um, Ketone Power Geek said, Now I want a Topo Chico. I add Mio Green Thunder to mine to make it taste like Mountain Dew. Oh, there you go. Oh, but then Renee said Mio's give her uh, migraines. Oh, no. Oh, Brianna said she's off to bed. Good night, Brianna. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. I haven't actually tried the Mio before. Me either. But, um, okay, so I'm just going to kind of mix... These jalapenos in. So what I did for our lamb dish, right? We've got the lamb in the skillet. I've got the oven preheated. So I'm going to try to do... Be careful, though. It's oh. so hot, isn't it? Oh, I'm sure that is. So I'm going to try to do the mask, y'all. So let's see how this turns out. Um, okay, I'm trying to remember... So I'm going to try to stretch this out. Don't you have to roll it first and then put it on? Well, you can't really roll it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This seems a little more... Because it, it, it leaves it open for the eyes, remember? Right. And then it has the mouthpiece. So let me stretch this out. Whew. I don't know. This might not do right. Mm-hmm. We're going to try. Here. I'm going to leave this open here for the for the mouth part, right? Because that's what I was envisioning. Is we're going to roll it all out, cut oh. that area out, and then lay it over top of it. Well, right, it's so okay. sticky. You can't okay. really roll. Hmm. All right. Fine. Okay. Okay. Didn't it kind of go like that? Yeah. And then you put the... So I'm going to move this one jalapeno. Oh, it had a little bit more on the nose part. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah, probably. I'm going to try to build up the nose a little more. Let's see. And then... Oh, thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Not better? Yeah. Okay. Try to do this nose a little bit more. Look, see, the, that's the only thing with this, like, uh, fat head dough. 
Is it sticky? Are you okay? Yes, yeah, so that one hot thing bit me. Oh. It's like, you know, every once in a while you get one's hotter than the others. Oh, right. <laughs> what the heck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, y'all. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. You would think. Okay, let me see if this is a little bit better. Okay. And then, if you do the strips from the mouth, how's that looking? Oh, pretty good. Oh, that's what you need then. Yeah, I messed up. a jalapeno. Yeah, I messed up. I've already put, because we can just use these that are already sliced. Uh, cut. Yeah. All right, and I need to wash my hands, y'all. I'll be right back. Uh, while she's doing that, I'm going to start slicing. Shauna said, I have one of those Pampered Chef Mixed Chops. Oh, right? I used to have one. I don't even know where this stuff goes, right? We, well, we have the one for the Vitamix. I mean, the, oh. um, the mixer. Yeah. We have that one that uh, it does that. Okay, just wash my hands because they're a mess. I'm setting this back up so I can start slicing jalapenos. But I'm kind of a weakling. I, uh, anytime I'm doing this, I always have to wear a glove because I inadvertently always either touch my eye or my face somewhere. Right? So I always buy the twin pack of gloves at Costco. The only problem I have with them right now is that they only had the medium in stock, and I really like the large. And I honestly haven't even checked to see if they have them online, if I can order them. And then you should do one more slice for the other okay. eye. And I'm just going to fix this over here a little bit. And then we'll show you what it what it looks like, and you tell us tell us what you think. Trying to hide uh, some of these. Does that one work or are you going to cut another one? No, cut another one. There you go. That's a thick one. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. Uh, let's see. Okay, I read that. Renee said, I use a little ground beef tool for Pampered Chef. Gets it super fine. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Randy said, had the mint chocolate keto chow ice cream for dessert. It was really good. Yeah, that's one of Heath's favorite is the mint chocolate. Yeah. My oh, favorite ice cream was Bluebell's mint chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Lynette said, love that little ground beef tool. That sounds heavenly, Randy. Right? Brian said, uh, I do that for Karen as well. I'll crumble it down. She thinks I'm just being helpful. I actually do it to keep her from... Taste testing large, mostly raw chunks of burger as she tested. Look. <laughs> well, oh, here we go. This one looks great. Look at that, y'all. See how thin it is? So I said, to me, that's Julianne. Am I doing that wrong? No, no, no. That, I think that's right. That's good. I'm saying that's like even the perfect length. I just, this is the one you started slicing the rings off of it, and I'm just taking the rest of it. Let's see. And then this knife won't cut all the way through for some reason. All right. Oh, this is doing. This good. one's too thick, though. Yeah. But now all of a sudden I can blow my nose. You think just doing three like that? How's that look? Well, pull up the picture. Well, the picture is still going to be a little different, but I'm saying, how does that look? One more. Oh yeah. Yeah. I feel like one more, it'll be off. Well, put it on there and see what it looks like. And then if you don't like it, then pull it back off. And then, let me do this one then. Because I, I don't know. you got to do odds. Right? So maybe I do this one here. Okay, y'all. But I got the oven at 350. And I'm just going to do it for probably, like, maybe 10 minutes. You want to spin the camera around? Or just show well, them? I was going to spin this around. Well, what I'm saying is, they don't need to see an oven. They know what an oven is. Do you? You might not. Okay, let me just see how that's looking. What do y'all think? Does that look like a good face? It kind of looks like ch child's art, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's only the last two weeks, too, but when after it cooked, they turned out amazing. Ooh, gotta get around. It's like an obstacle course. 
Oh, but you know what? You need to take your picture, uh, your phone, and take a picture, though. Well, yeah, when we pull it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this in here. Okay. And then I'll set the timer. Ten minutes for heat. And then you got to come back over here and tap on your comment. I know, we're still going to get caught up. All right. So y'all like this? I got this at Target, these uh, sweatpants. I know who told you about that. Sweat outfit. Actually, uh, Renee told me, sent me a picture. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get that. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks. Okay, let's see. Randy said, Billy was also a crazy part of the movie. Right? right. It was. So, here we go. Uh, Shauna said, my new motto, why buy something for $7 when you can make it with $97 of craft materials? Right? right? I used to, so growing up, my mom always did homemade crafts. Um, like, she was technically a floral designer, so she would use dried flowers and fake flowers and make arrangements. And she really undersold herself. Like, she would just do double. So, if it cost her $5 to make something, she would just ask for 10 What? No. I know. Not factoring in time or anything, right? I always did material times three. And so, she would get people, though. So, there's not much wiggle room. But you would be surprised how many people would come up at a craft show and they would say... 10 would you take five and she's like why would i take a loss like you know the booth already cost me money and but they would be like oh well i could make it for less than that and it's like okay well go right ahead then why are why are, why are you here why are you trying to get me to reduce my numbers to where there's no profit just so you can tell me oh because i can make it for cheaper i, I just never understood that uh, Charlotte said, nope, no thanks. I don't need nightmares. No homework. Oh, oh, People are odd. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. Right. Oh, <clears throat> oh, oh. oh. Uh-oh. These are bigger sheets. <laughs> we have a lot of, like, ooh, zip tight. We have a lot of mixer match paper towels because we got some from the hotel. You know, we were at for several months. We got some from Keto Chow. We got some Keto Chow from um, Keto Omaha, and then we have our own. And so, Keto Palooza too. They gave us some. Huh? Oh yeah. I think. So we always have all these extra paper towels, and we're stocked. <laughs> Plus, um, we have two packages from Amazon still in the other room too. Let's see here. Um, Shauna said, oh my god, I watched 4.8 minutes of John Wick. Got so mad I turned it off. Oh, but it gets so much better, Shauna. It does. I know the first five minutes is hard, but it's down. You feel the rage, you know? So you're like with him through it. And you're like, yeah, let's get those people. So it's a good reward for it. Um, oh, Shauna said she's been collecting craft supplies for 25 years. Oh, wow. Wow. Keto Power Geek said, look up the song Lotion on YouTube by the Green, yeah, Greenskeepers. It's a song about the movie Silence of the Lambs. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Jamie said, in the series Clarice, Catherine keeps precious as her own after she escapes. They kind of alluded to that, right? Um, we have that downloaded oh. and needing to watch it. We just haven't yet. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Renee said it's going to be a bag of bones. Uh huh. Ciao, CEO's here. Hey, hey welcome hey. back. That's your cooker. In. Kit on sale at Costco in their next ad starting October 27th. What is it? A sous vide at Costco. Where did we order that one from? Just online? Amazon? On Amazon. <laughs> well, Amazon, you can return it. Ah, we've got it. But I bet that that's got to be nice. If you're thinking about it and got a Costco, check it out there. I love uh, Costco's return policy. Right? Shawna said, I watched several episodes of Clarice. Sometimes I can see that stuff... Other times, it really affects my brain. 
Yeah, sometimes those shows, like the true crime ones. Yeah. Like, the, who else following the whole thing with uh, the Laundries? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Brian Laundry and his girlfriend That's and all the of that. Dog the Bounty Hunter searching it all out. He there. was, and he gave up. Or he had to quit for medical things. Has anybody else been following that whole story? Like, I started following it way back when they were like, he showed up without his girlfriend. I was like, uh-oh. You know, this isn't going to be good. Um, Let's see. Shauna said, it eats the jalapenos and likes it. That's right. Renee Matreya said, what was wrong with John Wick? Uh, to fix MJ said, great love story. Aw, thank you. That, Renee said, Shelly playing in the brains. Right. Finger food. That's right. Uh, I hate how it just jumps on me. Let's see. There we go. Jamie said, I've read all the lecture series and watched all the movies and series. It's one of my fandoms. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Jamie. Which one in the whole series and movies and everything, all, all of it together, what was your absolute favorite? Um, let's see. Shauna said, I met Keanu. Oh, my God. He's so sweet. Oh, my God, Shauna. You met Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Like, how are you, like... That would be one that I was like, okay, I'm going to dog sit and I'm never leaving you. <laughs> right? Like, That's oh why my I'm here. gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. But, anyways, I've only heard like amazing things about him. He just seems like an amazing individual. Uh, so, that would, that's awesome. Did you get his signature at least? Did you get a hug? Huh. Uh, she said, he was up here in Napa when they were filming A Walk in the Clouds. I was working for one of the producer's wives. She had a preemie infant twins. Wow. She's a casting director. That was a fun job. I bet. Think of all the people you probably got to meet because of that. Which was your favorite person you ever met? Uh, Rhonda mm -hmm. said, does anyone know why the canister... Produces a peak in the middle after the keto chow's frozen. Sometimes it's too high. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Ketone Power Geek says, First time I cut up a bunch of jalapenos to make hot carrots. My hands burned for several days. Like, unbearably that's burned. What, that's what the gloves for. Now I'm not affected by it at all. Oh, gosh. That sounds scary. I guess maybe they were extra oily and got into your skin. To Fix MJ said, yes, I watched Criminal Minds and loved it, but it was too dark, so had to stop. Oh, wow. That's what Mandy, uh, how do you say his last name? Mandy Pataki. That's yes. why he left the show. Because he said he would, he liked the show's concept and thought it was really good, but he felt like they were pushing too much for gore. And he was like, you could tell an excellent story without having to get overly gory about it. So that's... Um, I watched an interview and he said that's why he he left. Also, side note, if you're on TikTok, so is Mandy. You've got to follow him. Him and his wife, they just do funny stuff sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. See the things I find on TikTok. Uh, Jamie said, things increase in volume when frozen. Maybe feel a little less before freezing. Oh, for Karen. Uh, Renee said, my favorite ice cream many moons ago was Ben & Jerry's pumpkin cheesecake with a cheesecake core, bits of bread cracker. Don't know, know why I was overweight. Right? Well, I think part of my problem, too, is my grandpa used to, he get off, he would have a, a bowl of ice cream after dinner. And in the middle of the night, he'd go polish off, level off the back. <laughs> the gallon of ice cream. Mmm. And I learned that from him. And mm -hmm. I was doing it for a while. Uh, Shai said, what a great idea to use peppers. That's the mask mouth, right? Uh, everybody said, wow, excellent, awesome. I love it. It looks great. Looks awesome. Loving it. Those peppers from the mouth are great. Thank you. You got less than a minute. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's you. Oh, Keto yes, Power dear. Geek said, I actually didn't know what they were cooking till just now. Oh, I'm sorry. I um, thought we had told... Uh, uh, gonna, well, well, he may have tuned in late, though. Yeah. So, you want to tell him again? Go ahead, Bob. Go get it. Oh, Shawnee said Keto's got Shelly looking like skin and bones. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Uh, Jamie said, my favorite B&J was wavy... Or Ben and Jerry's was wavy gravy before they discontinued it. I don't even remember that one. 
I don't even know what. I, I always was just, I'm a traditionalist. I know that's kind of boring, but like I always enjoyed just plain, just chocolate chip mint. That was I it. I also like. Or mint chocolate chip. The. What's the one in Texas? Third. Oh, yeah, the ATB Texas? No, 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 the other brand. Oh, the Listeria brand? Yeah. But before we found out about that, I liked their Dutch Blue chocolate. Bell. Their Dutch their chocolate. Dutch chocolate. Um, yeah. But, uh, okay, so, anyways, what we're making is uh, for Silence of the Lambs, we ground some lamb, browned it up, and then, let's see, did that cook right? I or is think it so. still. Be careful. Slide it back up to the front again. Well, you got the glove. Sorry, I was trying to work the camera. Is it slide it up to the front so I can burn myself? You got to turn it so they can see. Or zoom in like that. Yeah, but you got to turn it so they can see okay. the face. Okay, okay, hang on. Slow down, Turbo. Oh, I think that might be. I'll do this. Oh, here, here, here. There. What do y'all think? How does it look? Um, I mean, it looks pretty cool, but I just don't know. In my mind, I was envisioning the whole thing draped over the thing. Oh, but his whole mask isn't a full facial That's mask. That's true. Yes, true. Um, do you want to put it on broiler for a minute? Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to do it just to kind of crisp up the bread, bread part a little bit more. Yeah. Lift it up, though, before you, like, yeah, lift it. There. How's that looking, guys? Okay, Randy said, here's looking at you, Hungry Heath. Um, oh, and Shauna said, people have no idea what handmade crafts are worth, which is why I won't do my hobby as a business. That's true. Right. Shauna, that's very true. They don't. Um, yeah, Ketone Power Geek said, people can roll their own cigarettes for less, but choose to buy them already made. Exactly. You want to set a timer or you just going to let me know? Uh, maybe set it for two minutes, yeah. Um, let's see. Oop, there it jumped again. Sorry, you guys. Let's see. That looks amazing. Looks tasty. It's also reminiscent of Leatherface. Ah, that's true. Yes. Oh, I see Maria's here. Hey, Marie. Welcome back. Uh, Shauna said, because I make stuff from my heart, not for monetary gains. Well, and you know, that's... To me, when it comes to handmade stuff, I know y'all can't really see me. When it comes to handmade stuff, that's the best thing, is when you make something from your heart. For the last several years, we've been giving out just our handmade gifts at Christmas to people. Because, it, to me, it, it just seems like it's um, more valuable and people appreciate it more. Like, one year we made jerky for everybody in the family, and they, like, loved it. I even gave it to them in resealable uh, food <laughs> saver bags. Right. And it, it, it was a waste of time and money on my end, though, because they ate it instantly. I could have just put it in regular uh, Ziplocs. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm staying off camera because the timer's fixing to go off. So I'm fixing to reach in here and grab this out of the bro out of the brother. I know, Shada. Shada said she couldn't because of what happened to the dog. I understand. I was really upset, so that's why the ending just made you feel so much better. Oh wow, Shada got a hug tied between Keanu and Luke Perry. Wow, Shada, lucky. The late Luke Perry now, right? Here. Oh, okay. Wow. Do I need to zoom in on nice. a little more? Or, you know, you're going to lift it up so we can see. Yeah. But slide the, uh, I was going to say slide the whole thing. That looks a lot better. Is that here, good? Here, here. Can you reach now, though? Is that good? No, I, I got you too far. Right there to me looks good. Okay. You tell, they tell me if they're good or not. Uh... Marie said, driving, so I can't reply to everyone, but listening, and you can pretend I'm waving. Aw, thanks, Marie. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Shauna said, I had a hard time seeing Mandy Patinka without hearing, hello, my name is Aniko Matoya. Right? You killed my father. Prepare to die. 
right? I love him in that. Jamie said, I like the books the best. Hannibal Rising tells his story and how he came to understand that we're all just me. Oh, wow. Okay, so is that good, y'all? So we'll just... Oh, uh, spin it around and take pictures of it. Yeah. Well, do you want uh, to fix the camera then? Okay. Uh, oh, that's interesting how we're all... Because he was supposed to be a very, very smart person. Uh, and I did like the ending because I found that one guy uh, as just a the one side. Okay. This is my thing, too. And sorry. Oh, wow, Jerry. That looks good. Sorry if this upsets anyone. But first starting that movie, I was like, okay, this is definitely not aged well because it was just so overtly sexist. Sexist, right? It like, um, that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bring you your plate. Oh, I was just going to eat all this. Oh, okay then. It was just so overtly sexist. Like, oh, you're a woman? How are you going to shoot a gun? And and then the way the one psychiatrist or psychologist taught to her and everything, I was like, oh my gosh. You Kill know, in, in today's movies, like she would have just like punched him right in the face as soon as he said something, right? Like I was like, oh my gosh, you could tell this is an older movie because I don't think that would fly in a movie nowadays. I, don't know. I was just like, okay. I'm ready to... That guy needs to be eat first. <laughs> I did not like that psychologist. But I guess that was the point, right? Yeah. That you don't like the, the psychologist guy, oh, so it makes boy. the ending so much better. I messed up. Uh-oh, why? I snacked way too much, now I'm full. What? <laughs> um, but that was see. good. You took Mar pictures, right? Yes. Thank you. Marie said, at a stoplight on the creamy pints, the outside freezer first, so by the time... The center is freezing. The only way it can expand is up. Ah. So you don't need this? I don't know. I thought to serve it. Well, go ahead and serve it then. Well, you're there. And then you get to show it on camera and everything. Here, I'm going to give you part of his nose then. All right. I like these boogers. Ah. Uh, the crunchy bits. Okay. Put your plate a little closer. Oh, yeah. Well, that works out really good. That's what I'm saying. Give me a half pound of head, please. Oh, man. With a nice Chianti. Yeah. There. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. And you wow. said you're just going to eat yours out of the pan. Well, maybe I'll just put it on this plate then. Okay. Uh, okay, so Renee doesn't like anything mint. Oh. And uh, Marie says, as long as you at, had the creamy pint level when it was freezing, the little mound in the center won't affect the blade. Oh, okay. Renee said that's freaking awesome. Oh, I saw Renee. I mean, uh, Randy went to bed. Good night, Randy. Good night. Uh, oh, Jamie said, oh, it's meant to be his mask. Karen said, looks great. Renee said, he always gets his weird visions. Right? Shada said, that works so cool. Um... Uh, Matreya said, looks tasty. Lisa said, that looks amazing. Brian said, it's also reminiscent of Leatherface. Okay. Two Fix of Jason. Sorry, fall to sleep. Night, night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Uh, Shauna sent me the pie face meme. Thank you. She said to show them. Oh, yeah. Oh, Julie's here. Hey, Julie. Hey. She goes, hi, everyone. I've been watching all night. Just been making a fat head dough for pizza. That's awesome. Look, all of us making this fat head dough tonight, right? Um, okay. Let's see. Let me find the picture. Did you send it to you or did you have it? Just go find oh, it? yeah, Renee, we haven't actually done a video yet on our story. We just have typed one up. Yeah. But we never actually posted it as a YouTube video. But thank you for looking for us. Uh, okay, so here's the meme with the the face, the little faces. Shaw said, Headless Warden. Matreya said, I took the recommendation to follow Mandy uh, Pat I don't know why I Pataki. Pataki. 
One of these things is not like the other. Do I need right? to move that closer to the camera? No, there. I think that kind of showed up. Okay. Um, right. And, you know, the show, after a while, I was like, okay, it's just getting a little bit too much. Redundant. Yeah, it was. Oh, and then Jerry made some cauliflower rice. That looks really good, too, Jerry. So, his Indonesian beef. That's it in the sauce. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Um, <laughs> Brian said, just the camera. I just spent way too long trying to scroll up. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Lisa said, I love homemade gifts. Yeah. Right? Um, oh, Jamie said, we lost Shelly's lovely face. Sorry. They said, headless skin and bones. Um... Lynette said, all right, everyone. Thanks for the fun. I'm heading out. Have a great weekend. All you right, too, you Lynette. Too. Thanks for Thanks. tuning in. Yeah. Julie said, I watched a movie last night that really affected me. Django. Oh, I remember I that. I that movie. That was, but it is. It's very, like, that was a very deep. Gripping. Yeah. I find that when it comes to uh, Quentin Tarantino movies. Yeah. Ooh, his movies do they make you think, right? But you gotta love dialogue movies for him. Yes. Cause like I'm not a fan of movies or shows that have no dialogue. Hello, Breaking Bad. Um, because I'm like, come on, people, just talk. Just talk. But uh I know he loves a lot of di dialogue movies too, uh -huh. but you, he loved Breaking Bad. If it hadn't been for Heath, I wouldn't have watched Breaking Bad, honestly. I watched it for him. I, just, yeah, I gotta give her her culture somewhere. I've certainly broadened your horizons. Thank you, dear. That's right. With all my sci-fi stuff. Yeah. I think that's my thing. To me, when I watch TV and shows, I'm more into either historical type things... Or really sci-fi or sci-fantasy. Those are my favorite types of shows. And it's just what I've always enjoyed watching. I guess to me, like if I, I don't want to, if I'm watching TV or a movie, I want to escape to somewhere that I know is not real. And things like Breaking Bad and um, those type of shows or even like, uh, Sons of Anarchy and all that. I feel like that's too close to reality. Huh, okay. Like I, I, like that could be somebody I know. You know what I mean? That's how I felt about yeah. it. Like, okay, that could have been a teacher I had in high school that went through that stuff. Probably did it too. <laughs> right, right. And it's just kind of like, oh, I just want to know. Go somewhere where there's dragons and people are traveling through time and. Statues will take your life away from you. Those kind of things that, you know, right. probably aren't going to exist. Although, I'm not going to walk through a cemetery where there's lots of statues without watching those statues. Right? That's or, dangerous. Or at least don't blink. Um, uh, Shana said, creepy dinner. Um... Betsy said, I had to take a phone call. Are you really still going? We are, Betsy. It's amazing. <laughs> it's all because you're with us. We're hanging out with you. Yeah. Well, we just... Somebody I started watching recently, when they go live, they have four to five hours. Like, none of them were less than four hours. Yeah. Most of them were five-hour lives. Well, that's what we're starting to get. Yeah, but she, all of hers are Ask Me Anything ones. Oh, wow. So that's why it For goes. For five hours? Yeah. How much do you need to know? I, well, not just, you know, her personally, but, you know, like, uh, she was teaching stuff, and oh, so okay. people oh, okay. would so ask. It's... Kind of like how 2KK, a lot of people ask them questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So the same sort of thing, but more like hers is actually... She does a, basically, she does a lecture. <laughs> yeah. And where people just, okay, you know, tune in and you know, we're gonna uh, ask me anything that you want to know about math for the next you know, four or five hours. So, let me ask you this. Uh-oh. Are we gonna give a preview for next week? Or, mm -hmm. are we gonna let them get, keep guessing and do a mystery again like we did these last few weeks? Because I'm really excited about what we're doing next week. 
Yeah, what do y'all, do you want to know what's happening next Friday? Or do you want to keep it a surprise? Uh, Julie said, Quentin Tarantino is a very, very strange person. Yes. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, Shawnee could probably talk about a little more. Don't you find that most people who are in um, Hollywood and stuff, aren't they all just a little strange? Yeah. At least a little. If not all the way, right? They have right. to be a certain breed to go on stage and act a fool. <laughs> without caring about anything. Right? Betsy says, balls, balls, balls. Yep. Right? Oh, uh, Randy said, good night, the horde. Have an awesome weekend. Good night. You too, Thanks Randy. For in. Yeah. Uh, Renee said, how am I supposed, to, how, how am I going to shoot a gun? Probably more accurate than someone who says that nonsense to a female. That See what I mean? Betsy says she loves Criminal Minds. Yeah, that yeah, was good. That it was, was good really series. good. Shauna said, cut the face. Huh. Betsy said, I love the nerd. Who was that? The nerd. Hmm. Oh, um, know. the boy, the kid. What was his name? With the weird oh. hair. Oh. You mean in Silence of the Lambs? No, I was oh. talking about it in Criminal Minds. Oh, yes. And you know what? There's a whole TikTok genre dedicated to him. Um, Reese. Yes. Did that's me? Yeah. Where they do all kinds, because supposedly he's he's pretty cool in person. Okay. But they have a whole TikTok of like these women that are like in love with him. Thirst drops, or what they call them? Oh, yeah. Where they're like, oh, look at him. And I'm like, geez, I always thought he was just like a nerdy, scrawny guy. But hey, he looks oh, really? good. All right. Got your eye candy, huh? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, he's, yeah. I, they didn't show that part in the show. Um, and Shada said, face off. Uh-huh. Renee said, in your face. And Renee said, Shana said, messenger. I think I saw it, right? Uh, Renee said, am I the only one who hasn't made or had fat head dough? You might be. Wow. Mm. My favorite is the ham roll-up things. Yes. What did you think of this? It's really good, but I'm really full. Uh, okay, let's try it with a little bit of the fat head dough here. And a jalapeno. And that, well, yeah. Okay. Hey, keep it down. People are trying to sleep. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. I like the flavor you put on it, too. Yeah. That it is should go good. real good in breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> I love leftovers. Yes, you do. Thank goodness. Uh, Shauna says, it says, see if the church asked me to make pies again. Right? <laughs> right? Marie said, I believe she was also still a trainee at the FBI in the first movie, so probably would have been less likely to act out against sexism in the era took play. That's very true. That's true. Because she was a trainee, which I was just kind of like, they're pretty generous with their trainees, you right? know? Like, oh yeah, just go talk to the serial killer all by yourself. Right. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of like, oh my good, like I was just ready. That that psychologist, like, I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Kill him first. I know. Lock so, him in a hole. The ending made me really happy. Uh, Renee said, Shelly, y'all had a video where he talked ex extensively about it. Crazy. Well, then it must have been in one of the MS Journeys. Maybe the first yeah. MS Journey. Well, we were talking one. about we were going to release a video of just our how we found Keto. Yeah. And the whole thing with her in New Zealand and all that stuff. I think it was the MS Journey Part 1 and 2. Yeah. Um, but I think, like, it, we were doing the whole thing, so uh, we want to do just specifically, you know, our journey. I was thinking, I don't know, we should do it all together, or, okay, here's Shelly's story, and then here's Heath's part story. Part one or part two. What do y'all think? Chapter would one, it, chapter two. Yeah, would it be better that we separate, and I do my story, and then he does his, or should we just do it all together? I think it would be separated, because then we get more okay. views. Uh, uh, Renee said, my spirit twins. Aw. Tune in next week for the second song. <laughs> she said, it's been quite a while back. I wonder if it was one of the MS updates. 
Uh, Sean said, Echo. that's what I did to see Breaking Bad. Oh, I love that show. He did not miss much, Shauna. Uh, Elise said, or I'm sorry. Yeah, Lisa said, I've never seen Breaking Bad. And Better Call Saul is also awesome. Yeah, I actually like Better Call Saul better. When they said I couldn't it get into Breaking Bad, it was like some was interesting, then some bored me. That's how I was. Like, I was just like, okay. The... <laughs> Is this really how people exist? I just don't understand that. Because Some people do. I tell him everything. Like, I don't keep secrets. Even honestly, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. If you tell me, don't tell he. I'm going to tell he. Um, that's might, just... Might be a week from now, but she'll tell me. No, I, I, no, I'll never tell you a week later. I basically tell you right then. I'm like, oh, some sort of said I should tell you, but. <laughs> You're going to want to sit down for this one. I know, right? But I, I, I tell him, and I think you do the same. Yeah. You know, and it's like, even if he gets some strange text, you know, because there's always, you know, those spam people who will text men and be like, oh, hey, baby, you want to see this? And be like, look what I just got. And then, of course, I have fun because then I start replying to him. I'm like, oh, really? Well, I think I should charge you and you right. know, things like that. But so when I saw Breaking Bad, I'm like, do people really just not talk to their partner? Like, this is not just somebody you just met. Like, they had a child together and everything. And I'm like, and you just, you have a major illness and you don't tell your partner anything about it? All right. I, I don't know. That just and then she doesn't even notice anything about like, oh, why are you suddenly really, really thin and emancipated looking, you know? Like and I I people are gonna hate me. I did not like Skylar. I just could not stand her character at all. At all. Like any time she came on, we started like, watching a new Ugh. show that same actress was on there, she's like, Oh god, I already hate her. <laughs> I know. I was like, Oh, her again. But yeah, character PTSD. I know. When I every time she'd come in on Breaking Bad, I was like, "Oh, it's her." Oh, so uh, no, I just. Mm -mm. Anyways, Melissa said I loved Criminal Minds. Me uh -huh. too. It was such a good show, and I love Penelope. She yes. was my absolute favorite character on there. Yes, she was pretty cool. Shauna said, mm, "Well, or or my stepdad and his biker friends." Right, Shauna? Like, how could you... Like, Sons of Anarchy, you're like, oh, look, uh, I, I need some proceeds from this show. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, where's my royalties? I did not sign off on this. Renee said, I like the Purge movies, too. Stuff that gets me on the edge of my seat or things that I could totally happen. The Purge, see, that kind of messes with me. When I watch those movies... First of all, some of these characters, I think I'm just really critical, where I'm like, that's just stupid. Really? You know it's Purge night, and you decide to drive downtown for dinner? No. If Purge was real, right, and they were like, okay, Purge is tomorrow, Saturday, I would not even be going anywhere tonight. Like, I'd be spending my night buckling down all of the windows, the doors, everything, and I would be like, okay, y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live all day long. Like, I would not be leaving the house for right. any reason. And that's why when people do that, I'm like, why? Why would you do that? It's one day a year. Well, it's like in the horror movies where everybody runs, trips, and falls. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That disturbs me, too. I'm like, really? Really? Cliche. I know. Well, I like that. What was it in the Scream movie where the girl's like, here, oh, do I need to trip and fall? Remember? And she's like, oh, maybe I should break my leg too. Ah! And remember, he's like, um, okay. <laughs> remember? Right. I thought it was, I oh, love. Man, I'm so full. <laughs> I love um, horror movies that have a sense of humor yeah. to them. That to me is like the best horror movie when they, you know, either make fun of themselves or if it's just very sarcastic, witty humor throughout the whole thing. Right. Then I enjoy it a lot more. Um, oh, who's texting you? I don't know. I'm busy tonight. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jamie said, I need dialogue too. I actually fell asleep during Avengers movies because it was all action. No character dialogue. 
Yeah, sometimes it does. It's like, okay, right. can we just fast forward through this part? Uh-huh. Renee said, well, 2KK is going to beat y'all with the 11 on 11, right? Right. Uh, Melissa said, Clarice delves a bit into the social issues at the time within the FBI. Also, the skepticism about profiling since it was so new. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, I, I get it. When I was watching it, I was like, I know that not only is the movie you know, older, where the the thinking wasn't as, I would say, as advanced as it is now, right? But I know it was further along than when the movie was supposed to be originally based. Right. And I know that they were making a potential point of it, right? They were, that's why they were being so overt, but I was just like, oh, I just still, like, I, I guess because it's just been so long since I've seen a movie that was just so in your face about it that I was just kind of angry. I was like, oh, I, I want to kill him right now. <sighs> um, oh, Defense Wiz is here. Hey, hey Paul. Hey. Said, bah, ha, ha. How much do you need to know? I just fell out of my chair laughing. Uh-oh. <clears throat> From what? Hit us? Probably. Brian said, isn't there a law in Texas that you can't bury anyone living within five miles of a cemetery at that cemetery? Oh, I don't know. It's because they're that. still alive. Oh, boy. Because living. Yeah. Living. And like, you told me how to eat these, like, oh, I, I gotta Google that. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Okay, Lisa says, James said to keep it a surprise. Okay. Brian says, inquiring minds want to know, but then he just gave the dad joke. So that kind of cancels out, Brian. Uh, Paul said, hey, new name, Renee. <laughs> I, I, I want to tell him because I'm so excited. Uh, Shada said, well, it just depends. On the person, some of them are very down to earth and nothing like what you would think. Oh, which is the one that surprised you the most, Shauna? Uh, Renee said, what's my name? What's my name? Oh, God. Sebastian, say my name. Oh, my what movie God. was that? You really don't know? I'm asking you. It's like one of the best movies of all time. Never Indeed Story. Thank you. I so You're wanted... allowed to live. Really? You're a keeper. Let your dog in. She's disturbing the neighbors. Yeah. That's fine. No, it isn't. Marie it's... said, surprise. Jerry said, I've never had fat head dough. Wow. What are you waiting for? Uh oh, Shauna said have it tomorrow with eggs for breakfast, right? Delilah. Oh, Paul's never had fat head dough either. And Renee said, hmm, I wonder what next Friday could possibly be. Just watch your mouth, little lady. <laughs> she said, See, Shelly, I'm not alone. My spirit fam is with me on the fat head dough. That's very true. Julie said, fat ho dough is the only thing that keeps me keto. Gotta have my pizza. Word. Right? Yeah, me too. I'm full. All that pork belly. You think I'll fit? The... Welcome. Yeah. yeah. All the pork belly and... Uh, cheese. Cheese and then the ham uh, eyeballs. And then... Oh, here you go. And plus eating it, like, over this whole, like, couple of hours, I think that's what did it. And plus, y'all, I'm telling you, one thing, uh, if y'all are new here, I do have a coach, uh, Samantha, um, Samantha Souza, if you're interested. Give her the link. Well, yeah, maybe Renee could share the link. But anyway, she's my coach, right? And she's awesome. So if you're thinking that maybe you want a coach or you've been thinking about it, definitely hit her up. Let her know I sent you. But uh, she's she's not going to be a coach where she's like, you better be doing this. She's kind of like, hey, we're all real, right? We're all real people. I'm not here to mother you or tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing. It's all up to you on what you want to do. Um, if anybody follows AD Keto, his mother, Mary Ellen, it's actually her coach. That's how I found out about her. And hers is a lifetime program. That's why I'm, she's still my coach. So you know how some programs, they'll be like, oh, for 12 weeks. Well, you all know Keto's a long haul game. It's not 12 weeks and you're done. Well, so, you just got to push it in there. That's what she said. And so, uh, so anyways, 
we were, well, I don't even know where I was going with this now. But, so she's amazing, y'all. And I enjoy her as a coach. And like we were talking tonight, because um, we have a Friday live chat every Friday night. And she was saying, you know, that a lot of our attitudes and how we do things is you have to kind of like manifest it, right? You have to have that not I'm going to start keto or I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to start eating better or I'm going to stop doing this. None of this future tense. Instead, you've got to make affirmations for now. So instead of saying you're going to, say things like, I am losing weight. I am eating better. I am eating healthy. I am doing keto. Today I'm doing keto. Uh, you know, tomorrow I'm doing keto. You know, like every day you wake up and kind of get yourself in that mental headspace of, Hey, I am losing weight. Hey, I am getting healthy. I'm good hey. enough. I'm smart enough. And by golly, people like me. And see, it works. See how he is? But I honestly, y'all, I started um, that a couple weeks ago because I was just kind of in a negative headspace. I, I don't know what. I think just stress and job, you know, it gets to you, right? And so I've kind of had a negative headspace for a few weeks. And I wasn't really oh. happy with my results as far as the scale. Like, the scale was just not moving. It would kind of go up, but then it would sort of go down, but not back to where it was. And then it would go back up, and then it would sort of go down. But my inches, I wasn't really gaining, I wasn't gaining inches. Like, the inches would stay the same, or I might lose a half an inch in a week. But I was still kind of in this negative kind of headspace because of that. So I started doing those like affirmations where I was like, you know what? I am losing weight. I am getting healthy. I am going to do right today. I'm going to, you know, hit my macros today. I'm hitting my macros today. I am hitting my goals for the day. I will make those goals. You know, like these positive now statements and two weeks in a row, I've lost almost two pounds each week, which isn't a whole lot, but that's on average. And then, but also I'm having the inch loss as well. And I noticed the more I've been doing that, like every day I do that. And any time I would have a negative thought enter my mind where I was like, you know, just negative thinking, I would say no. And I would just repeat my affirmations whenever I'd get the negative thoughts. I have noticed that I have felt happier and I feel a more positive mindset throughout the day. Awesome. And That's I think cool. it and it shows because it's like I'm, you know, reinforcing that all the time. I am doing this. I am. You sound am. more chipper, especially at night. Oh yeah? Yeah. But um, I, I just thought that was such a, a good thing, and she was really talking about it tonight. And I was like, "Yeah, look, that's what I started doing a couple weeks ago, and I'm really, I'm seeing it. Not only am I believing those things, because if you repeat something enough, you're it's going to become fact, that right? So it's like I've repeated enough, I'm believing it enough, like internally, I'm believing it, and I'm seeing that." Right, that's awesome. Yeah. So, what are you eating? Well, this I just finished off. Shelly had made these for me. They're uh, just little keto bricks. She melted down and poured these little uh, molds. Uh, I probably see it better like that. But which flavor? I don't remember. It's the maple pecan keto brick, y'all. The seasonal flavor. When it got uh. And who is this? That's a. One of the um, is that a stormtrooper? Storm yeah, these are really good too. It's the same flavor. Yeah, but it, I just so love... I ordered a week of the maple pecan because I love this flavor. How detailed they are! And so I melted mm -hmm. a couple of the bricks down to make these, and it's just like an easy like grab thing to have. I have a meal. very bad, I guess, habit of every time I open a fridge, I gotta grab one. I like well, the I like the other one better because they're smaller. Yeah, because you're only supposed to eat them with your meal. Right, silly. 
But the maple pecan is absolutely delicious. Mm, cool. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Marie said, Dr. Reed. Uh-huh. Oh, what uh, Marie Reed? Reed, My yes. Back. Okay, and then Renee said, I always see fat head and my brain go says, fuzzed, no. Okay. Uh, Renee said, I do the meat uh -huh. Jamie said, yes, love that indie. I'm having an old friend for dinner. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I, I guess in the other movie, does he show having the old friend? Or is that just we have to visualize that part? Uh, Matre said part one and part two. Thank you for our videos. Okay. Uh, Paul said, I still have pizza, Julie. I just always like chicken crust, so I never went to Fathead. Plus, I just couldn't wrap my head around that much cheese. That's true. It is a lot of cheese That's at once. That's beautiful. Behold that the power of cheese. <laughs> um, Renee said, yes, separate better and more reviews. Thank you. Betsy said, I need to go, but this is great. Thanks. Well, thank you, Betsy, for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Julie says, I love cheese, but I know I eat too much. I know. Yeah, he doesn't feel like he ever does. Oh. Um, but I feel like um, fathead dough, we did use a lot of it in the beginning, uh -huh. but I, I do feel like, um, like well, me almost... personally, I do cut back on the cheese a little bit. But he doesn't have a problem, so he's fine with eating it yep. as much as possible. Yep. I basically eat cheese with every meal. Well, and my thing is, like, because I have macros, I have to meet. So if I factor in things like fathead dough, I really can't eat, like, all of that. So a lot of times, like, if we're going to have pizza, I've been enjoying just doing pizza guts lately because it's basically just the meat and a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a full-on pizza with the fat head dough and then all the toppings and then more cheese. It's just like the toppings. It's um, so messing with me, the, the size of this. I'm used to the other one where it's half. Well, I'm not going to tear it off the roll. Sean, I said, I have 10 minutes that I need to go trade cards with my mom before her 7.30 old lady bedtime. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Shauna. You can always come back. Yeah. We'll still be here. Maybe. Huh. We'll see you uh, next week. Renee said, yeah, it's uh, so cool getting two fur besties. Right? Aw. Ronnie said, good to know, Shelly. Thank you. Melissa said, I make hot dogs wrapped with fathead dough and empanadas and a couple other things, but I prefer the chicken crust for pizza, too. We've been thinking about doing empanadas with the fathead dough. Remember, we thought about that. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Julie said, I guess my pizza is more like cheese bread because I don't use pizza sauce. Oh. I'm with you. I've never I'm going to eat all these if you don't pizza. help me. Put them away. I, you can't, I am putting them away right here. Stop eating them never, to last all week. I have a whole box of them in there. Uh, but those are mine. You said you didn't care about the maple pecan, so I ordered it for me. I you, didn't know it was going to be that good. You've got like a whole huge collection because of TC's life. So Thank later. you. Um, okay, and then uh, Jerry said Skylar was a real bitch. Wow. I agree. Shauna said, well, it's because people don't want to see the bad stuff. It's too risky as bad as it is, right? Paul said fat head hot dogs were the very first thing I saw seven years ago when someone posted it long before I ever saw the pizza crust. I almost made those. Yeah, we used to make the... Uh, kolaches. Kolaches. Mm-hmm. Shari said, y'all, I've lived more than you know. I bet. Oh, yeah. Jerry said, I left the show Person of Interest. Yeah, that was a good one, too. With Jim um, Cavasel and yeah. Michael Emerson. Yeah. yeah, that was a good show. That really was. Uh, Matreya said, that was part of the heartbreak of the story. Their strained marriage, etc. But yeah, no one in my home is safe from my blabbermouth. I can't. It's too much work to keep secrets. <laughs> How right. many times do both of us get annoyed with each other? We're watching a show. We have to pause it so we can hear the show versus hearing each other. Because mm -hmm. we just talk. 
Mm-hmm. Like... Or we have to rewind it because we were talking. Mm-hmm. Or she'll get mad. I'll pause the show and she'll get mad at me. I'm like, no, I want to hear you instead of the show. I can Because also because I'm deaf, I want to tune that out so I can make sure I hear her. Well, my thing is, this is what I do. When we're watching shows, I talk either... I, I, I don't do this in public. Just at home. Just so you know, I, I know not to do that in public. But we're She's watching a show... not socially retarded. When we're watching a show... Or a series. I can't help myself. I'm like, really? Did that just happen? Like, why would they do that? Like, I, I voice my opinion. And sometimes it gets on his nerves. Because I'm like, okay, no. That's just dumb. I'm like, like do you even like this show? Why are we still watching it? She goes, no, keep playing it. I'm like, no, I like it. But, I mean, come on. I Is anybody, tell me. There's got to be somebody else that does the same thing. That watches the show and you have to, like... Critique the show and be like, why did they do that? Well, that person's dumb. Well, why don't they ever talk? Well, why did she go and do that? Well, why would she even, you know, like all those things. I'm Relax. Like, I can't because my mind's going really now. But, you know, I don't do it as much on my sci-fi shows because that's entertainment. Um, Renee said, I still know what you did last summer. Oh, wow. Paul said, the Purge TV show was actually pretty good. Better than the last five installments of the film franchise, right? I haven't seen the TV show. I didn't even know about it. Paul said, Freaky, best humorous horror movie. I got a newfound respect for Vince Vaughn. Oh, wow. Oh, two seasons, Renee. First season was better than the second. Uh, Paul said, Shelly, you were talking about the woman do, doing the five-hour live, and he said, how much do you need to know? <laughs> right? Marisi, the parody of Scream was called Scary Movie. Yes, thank you. Yes, Scary Movie. I thought that was so good. Uh, Rhonda said, I've never made fat head dough either. Nice. Sounds like all of y'all got homework. <laughs> it's life changing, I promise. Um, That's what kept me keto. Matreya Matre said, not all. I can't stay awake. See you on the KC Live tomorrow. Good night, Matreya. Oh, and then see that. you on Sunday. Um, Whoops. Why does it do that? Okay. Shauna said, okay, ear hustling for the rest. Got to go switch cars. Drive safe, Shauna. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Renee gave the link to my coach. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rhonda said, that's the kind of thing my coach told me. To say when I quit smoking. Every day I had to say something bad or negative about smoking. Worked for me. Hubby didn't do it and he's still smoking. Right? And that's what my coach was also pointing out today. Because we're supposed to write each other. Uh, whenever we start the program. Part of it is writing yourself a 90 day letter. Which I did when I first got her. And I haven't done <laughs> I didn't do it before this, this cut. Oops. But you, and in the 90-day letter, it's a 90-day letter to your future self. So you're supposed to be telling yourself, You already do, this like, is what to yourself, I did. So problem. This is what I, um, hey, you know, this is, uh, to my future self, this is what I accomplished in 90 days, you know, basically. And then um, she said that she knows the, the destroyers, it's diet destroyers, that do that tend to end up having much better results. And those that don't do the letter, when she asks them, she's like, okay, you're having a hard time. You're not meeting your macros and so forth. You're not checking in. You're not coming to the talks. She's like, uh, so how about, what did you set as your goals in your 90-day letter? And she says, almost every single time, they'll say, oh, I didn't write it. And she's like, look, I'm not asking for homework. You, you don't even have to show it to me. This is for yourself. You're paying for the program. So you put in what you want and you'll get out what you put into it. She's like, nothing is going to be free. Like, you can't expect to say, well, I'm going to run this race, but I'm not going to do anything for it. You know? I mean, I don't understand, though, because you paid her. Because obviously you think she has something insightful to tell you. Then why are you not doing what she's telling you to do then? I mean, it doesn't matter to her. She got your money anyways. Right. But why not get your value out of it? I don't, I don't get... Like I said, people are weird. I, I think what she was trying to say is... Because uh, she kind of 
pointed out on the second thing. She was like, you know, uh, this is up to you. You, you're not required to check in. You're not required to listen to the chats on Friday nights or attend them. You're not required to do any of this. She goes, but how can I help you if you don't check in and tell me what's going on? Because I'm your coach. I'm here to help you through that. Right. And she was saying that, that some people, what it is, is they they get it all in their head. They're like, I can't put, I can't make myself vulnerable to the group of people. Because if I become vulnerable, then I'm putting myself out there. And what if I get rejected by these people? Because it's a group. It's like a Facebook group, kind of like 2KK. You know, we're all family there. But sometimes if you're not from that environment and you go into something like that, it could be like, oh, I, I don't know if I want to say, because what if somebody says something or but, reads this? But then you'll have like a little interview segment. When you first reached out to her the very first time. Yeah. And so she explained all that to you. Yeah. And you know what you're walking into. But I mean, like I said, though, you spent the money. You do what you want with it. But I just think it's silly. Well, she was just saying that some people, it kind of becomes overwhelming. That they're like, oh gosh, now I'm in here and I wasn't expecting it to be like this much of a close-knit family and now I, I just got a retreat or oh I see everybody else that's making their macros every week and I'm not you know I'm just not making my macros any day so I don't want to put it out there because I don't want people to uh, shame me or something even though we don't even do that but she said it's like this you're scared to put yourself out there and then you're scared to, you know, like say, well, I'm really struggling here, but, um, I would just rather keep it private. All right. Good luck. Yeah. And so that's what she was telling people is look, that's what I'm here for. If you're, if you're struggling and all, that's what, that's why you hired me as a coach so I can help you through that. Oh yeah. We got to do that. Hold on. I'm going to put some of this off. It's starting to bother me. Okay. Yeah. We got, make sure it's not the, the address one. We got mail today, y'all. Oh, spin it around then, because I thought the other side was. I know, I don't want to show the address. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was the other one, though. It I didn't is. know it was on both sides. It's not. Um, so we literally got mail today, y'all. Like, we were, uh, all of a sudden, somebody knocked at the door before the live, and I was like, what's this? So we're going to open this. I'm super excited, y'all. I'm, like, so happy. Some uh, weirdo sent us some stuff. Oh, wow. Lisa said she's going to go to save a lot tomorrow. They got a whole pork loin for $1.88 a pound. Wow. Um, wow. Renee said, I did a pizza with evil ooze as the sauce. Ooh, Ooh that sounds amazing. Oh, Charlotte said reach. she's going to try to come back. Can you hand me the other stuff? I can put it back away. Yeah. Uh, like Keto Power Geek said... I have some fat head type hot pockets with chorizo, eggs, bacon, and cheese. And dipped them in salsa. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds really, really good. good. Said he posted on my Insta. Wow, that sounds delicious. That'd be a great breakfast thing. Uh, Paul said, I'm more pesto pizza sauce. Always loved garlic based anything than throw basil in it, and I'm happy. Oh, me too. I love a good pesto. Uh, Jerry said, dang, I just placed my order for Hotline Pepper Bikes and just got a shipment notification already. Wow. Did you lose my code? Um, Did you use the code? Yeah. Okay. Or at least tell him. Uh, Renee said, he, whatever happened with the hearing aid bit? I uh, kind of put it on the back burner because 40 years now, and I haven't really felt the need for it. And Aww. it seemed like a really bad sales pitch to me, honestly, because the girl I uh, sat down and talked to and everything was all telling me about how I can apply for this special credit card to get it. And I was like, that's what we need, more debt. Oh, My uh, insurance doesn't cover it, so I don't need it. Brian said, y'all have a fantastic week weekend. Helping neighbors move cattle in the morning, so oh, Karen huh? and I need some shut-eye. Another right. night of smiling and... Edutainment. Oh, thanks, Brian. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Jerry says he has no microwave now. It broke. Waiting on Black Friday for a sale. Right. Aw. 
Okay. Watch so, oh, we got mail, y'all. And I, this is a shout out. We opened it already because, I, I mean, if a package comes, I got to open it right there. And we didn't know wait. we needed to hold it. Nobody told us. I, know, I can't Because it just uh, arrived. It just arrived, y'all. This is from Renee. Our and number one groupie. Yes. And look at this, y'all. I'm so excited. Are we try yeah, we'll try one. Which one? This is for a carnivore crisp. This is the dog one. You want to give it one? No, we'll, we're, we're gonna wait and do a, okay. a, a, like an actual review video, okay? Because y'all so, know us, we don't really do a bunch, a bunch of products. We got chicken, the chicken skins, the leg of lamb, huh. and this is like that's awesome ones. that it landed today. <laughs> and uh, here, put that over there. And we got beef ribeye. Oh my gosh. I think because today we should do the lamb. Okay. And then we're going to do a full review. So thank you so much, Renee. This is so awesome. You want scissors? You're good. No. Hmm. Need no scissors. Uh, but thank you so much. This is like amazing. Carnivore crisp. So I know everybody's heard of everybody else that's done reviews on these. And we'll definitely do a whole video. Oh. What is it again? Lake of Lamb. Oh. Oh, wow. It actually is crispy. It's like wafer thin. I like this. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more like jerky, but it's like a chip. And it's not even more like, I was thinking it was like, uh, I couldn't tell if I was going to be like a uh, jerky or biltong. It's neither. Mm -mm. This is awesome. It's oh, actual wow. chips. It's not just a. It's a crisp. It's mm -hmm. not a clever name. It's really what it is. Wow. How good. Wow. That is. That's awesome. And that's just real easy. Grass-fed lamb, water, and redmonds. That's awesome. Thank you so much, yeah, Renee. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. That's an amazing, thoughtful gift. Thank you so much for that. Take it away. I'm going to eat the whole bag. Uh-oh. No, good? we got to save it for our review video. And we got to share it with Renee. Oh, okay. That's rude if we don't. I know. We will. Make sure I get the air out. Thank you so much. Well, I was going to oh, leave wait. one of them up here. Does it have to be refrigerated? That's what no. I want to look at. No, it shouldn't. Thank you again. That's so awesome. I'm so excited about these. I didn't know. Yeah, for best results, refrigerate after opening. Okay. I, I was just double checking because sometimes we'll they leave still... it up so everybody can see it during the video. There, and it sounds good. And the chicken one sounds really good. Yeah, it the does. chicken skins. Mm. So we'll definitely be doing that video. Probably release it next week. You know what right? I want to make now? Uh huh. The keto chow pimento cheese. And I eat it with that. These are like actual chips. I think that'd be really good. That would be good with it. Him or and hey his yo. cheese, y'all. Him and or his hey cheese. Yo. Uh, okay. Let's see. Renee said, I guess if I'm going to weigh that much fat and calories, I'd rather it be meat. Right? Um, but why am I worried about the calories? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Marie said, commentary on the character's actions. Yeah, I get that. I do it sometimes, too. See? I'm not alone. Um, oh, why does it do that? Da, da, da. Is there, I wonder if there's an option you can click on it where it keeps you from doing it. I don't know. Renee said, not that I don't love cheese, though. <laughs> right? Um, let's see here. Oh, Paul said, but me, I will stop a funeral procession to have, right? <laughs> That's awesome. So, Renee says she does meat drive-bys. What was the final verdict? Are we not giving a surprise for next week? No, everybody said surprise. Okay, okay, let's pull it. Ronnie uh, said, got my carnivore, Chris. It's good, but crazy good, at least based on the two flavors I've tried. I have four more left to try before my final verdict. Ribeye, brisket, pork loin, and chicken breast. Wow. Oh, wow. Which one was your favorite so far? What's wrong? None. Oh. I'm just trying to stay away. <laughs> oh, no, y'all. It's I'm starting. Lisa said, well, guys, I'm head to bed. I still have my headache. Oh, no. Oh, well, and I'm just feeling better. exhausted. But we do need to tell y'all about next week, though. Don't forget about your uh, questions. Yeah. We're doing an Ask have Me Anything. Have your questions ready. 
Well, good night, Lisa. Yeah, good night. I hope you feel better. Thanks for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, let's see. Marie said, emotions can overwhelm your reason, and emotions are not rational or logical a lot of the time, so I get that feeling vulnerable and not wanting to share every detail is Ethel with groups of people. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what it is, especially if you feel like you're... You're not doing well compared to others. Like, at the beginning, when I first started her with her as a coach, when we have our check-ins on Thursday, I would read everybody's check-in. Oh, what are they saying? And how are they doing? And all that. And talk to each of them. And say, oh, that's great. Now I'm scout victory. Or, oh, way to go this week. But throughout time, and I, I don't know, maybe this is kind of bad, but I just stopped reading because... I, you, I would find myself comparing, oh, well, look, that person lost five pounds in a week. Man, I only lost a pound, you know? And even though I, I'm like, but they're a different journey. You know, they're, they're, they might have, uh, they have a totally different history than I do. And so it's not right of me to compare how I'm doing with how they're doing and so now I generally, I don't read their results. I read like their non-scale victory because that's a fun part. Uh, but I don't get into the weeds of, you know, oh, well, how much did they lose? How many inches did they lose? I just, you know, everybody's on their own journey. And it doesn't really benefit me to know how they're doing in that prospect. Other than, you know, how are they doing like emotionally through right. it all. Um. So, yeah, That's a but, good way of looking at it. right, but I could see how people in the beginning, and especially because I know like um, a couple people haven't, been, like they're like, oh, I'm, I can't check in again because I just haven't done anything this week. I've been totally off plan. So I could see if you are struggling and you're not meeting your macros every day and you're eating potatoes and all this other stuff and you're like oh but look at all these people are doing fine i'm not gonna get on there and voice how i didn't make it one day this week you know right. so it could be overwhelming and thinking well what am i gonna tell everybody no i didn't do it because i had a week one time where i was like look nothing's going well there was no non-scale victory. Like, I was very negative. That was a bad yeah, day. Yeah, she got on to it too, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She was like, okay, Shelly, hey, stop your little temper tantrum. And there's got to be something. And I said, well, I don't know. And she's like, nothing positive happened in the past week. I was like, well, I guess this happened. She's like, yeah, that's a non-scale victory. I was like, oh, well, I didn't look at it that way. She's like, yeah, exactly. It's there. You just have to look. And I'm like, well, I was just mad because I went up four pounds and I didn't lose any inches at all. And she's like, but you didn't gain any inches. So you know that weight's just water. I was like, I know, but still. And so it's just like sometimes you get, get yourself in that kind of negative headspace and you know it's not good. So you just have to kind of put things in perspective to get yourself out of that kind of slump, right? Right. Um, oh, yeah. So, Renee said it was probably some kind of car care credit for oh. your ears. Yeah, I guess. Because, you know, she had to do that with Jolly. Uh, Ronnie said, oh, my God, I was just talking about that. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Renee said, chicken skins are actually my fave, but they are now gone to seasonal. Aw. Renee said, just sharing the meats. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah, That's thanks. an awesome share. Uh, she goes, I love them. Store in the fridge what's open, though. Okay, yeah, there you go. that's what it says on the package. That's why I was reading it. Paul said, the thing is, Rhonda, I'm cheap as all heck. So, I haven't tried about 90% of the products out there going back seven years ago. I've tried Keto Chow, Keto Bar, Fat Snacks, and Quest, and that's about it. Uh -huh. Right? Like, that's how... Sometimes I'm kind of like that, where I'm like, ugh. Like, the whole Keto Crate and the Keto Box, we right. did it for literally two months, and I was like, okay, this isn't worth it to us. No, it's not. And I stopped it. I was like, ugh. Forty dollars, because I think that's what it was. Like thirty, forty bucks. I was like, "There's money better spent than getting this stuff." Uh, where I'd rather have bacon. Yeah, because I would find myself half the box. I didn't even care for this stuff, 
And I'm like, how is it really a good deal for me when I'm spending $40? It makes me feel like we're buying stuff like off a of wish or whatever. <laughs> right. And I'm like. There's a cheap bag of crap. And I'm like, okay. So there's one product I like. And I'm like, okay. So I spent $40 to find one thing I like. That just seemed kind of high. Where I was like, well, most of the keto stuff. If it's actually good, you'll hear people doing reviews on it, yeah. and then it'll be like most of the keto stuff you can get for forty dollars or less. Yeah. So you get a whole case of it. Right. Or there's like certain sites like Nutrition where you could go on and just order one or two of an item, and I was like, so I can make my own keto crate through them because uh -huh. I did that for my mom for her birthday. Remember, I got her a whole bunch of just one or two different keto products that I knew of and sent it to her so she could just see what she liked. Right. And that's why I'm like, well, why would I want to pay that on the crate where you don't know? You might get a whole box of stuff that you're like, this is all disgusting. Uh, oh, Carrie's here. Older Pennsylvania says, howdy, hey. Lord. I love Cordovar Crisp, but not the chicken skin ones. They tasted like soap. Oh. oh wow. Uh-oh. Maybe it was a bad batch. Uh, Renee said, I also got beef heart and ugly livers. I'm sorry, Renee. Uh, Shauna said she's hustling again. Hustle, awesome. hustle. Uh, and Renee said, no need to share goobers. And she said, yes, yeah, so the label, it says to yeah. refrigerate. That's why I was reading it as soon as we... Carrie Sense says, I like the top sirloin brisket ribeye, but not getting liver. Me neither. When I first saw the liver, I was like, ooh, I hope Renee knows we're not really liver people. Uh -huh. But then I saw it said dog, and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Because <laughs> Delilah will eat liver. Because uh -huh. that's, <laughs> that challenge was at July. I think. Where a 2KK had different meat each day. And one of them was liver. The no like, joke challenge? Yeah. Yeah. And we did the liver where we tried to air fry it. Look. So we had a whole container of liver. So we just gave it to Delilah with oh, her she, food for several days. And she, she loved, loved it. it. That was a treat. I know. I was like, because no, I just, I just can't, y'all. I just can't do the liver. It does not taste good. Um, I can't. That's what I was telling Joe Ray. Because she said, you know, right now, because of COVID, she can't taste or smell. And I was like, well, here's the perfect time to eat liver. Right? That's true. I didn't I, think about that. I was like, uh, I mean, maybe if that was the circumstance, I might try liver again. Because I couldn't taste or smell. What's the point then? Because then it's supposed to be so nutritious for you. Yeah, right. And Well, I mean, it technically is. So if it was and you're sick, I'm like, well, that probably would be a good way to get a, a heavy uh, dose of nutrition. Yeah, that's true. And especially if you can't taste or smell, mine as well. Uh, uh, she said, I laugh when it says a bag is two servings. For me, it's breakfast, right? Yeah, like this is supposed to be two servings. Wow. I don't know how. Yeah, because Well, you're... what do they say about the um, the pork and good? How many of those? On yeah, bag? those are supposed to be like two and a half. No, that's and, one. And then also on jerky bags, oftentimes it'll say like two or three servings on a bag of jerky. I'm I'll like, who has meal. ever opened up a bag of jerky and said, you know, this little sliver's enough for today, right? right? Like, if I open a bag of jerky, I'm eating the bag of jerky. Um, I see. Renee said, I can't wait to see Delilah's review debut, right? She says, I haven't even ordered the hounds any. What? Bad mama, no. I'm saying. Well, we can just give it uh, all three of them then. But I shared my people, Chris, with them. Oh, you that's know what? sweet. They're going to be here. Yeah. We can do the, hey, they can be on the review. Well, we need to do the review this weekend and get it out next week. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying we could do the review video with the dogs, all three of them. Well, yeah, but I was thinking this would be good for Monday. Yeah, okay. Maybe Monday. I can do that. But, yeah, we could do that. I'm sure Delilah will still have some left by the time right. y'all right. get here. Yeah, And I've got a special treat, remember? No. Oh. See, this is the great thing about Heath. You can literally tell him a secret... And you know it's safe because he will never remember. Remember what? 
Exactly. See? Uh, Renee said, yeah, I bought the big bag of chicken skins, liver and brisket, and small bags of other stuff. Definitely not the accurate serving on the bag. <laughs> Carrie said, I got the hamburgers and sliders for my dogs, but it's not really in the budget for either of us moving forward. Right. Oh. Um, I actually haven't looked to see what the pricing is on it. Uh-oh. Uh, Paul said, I have a lot of Amazon credits, so one of these days I ordered there if they have the crisp on there. That's where I get Keto Chow from. It's pricey there, but I have enough Amazon codes to cover it. Oh, oh wow. Man. That's something. That's nice, Paul. Uh, Renee said, the brisket's yummy. Crispy thin with fatty, buttery goodness. Ooh. That's probably why it has to be refrigerated. Oh, because of the fat. And then Renee said, of course, you used the two crazy ketos link for 10% off. That's oh, right. Yeah. Ronnie said, don't know which is best yet since I've had several flavors left. I know it's not the liver, even though I like liver. Oh, wow. Mm. You like liver and you don't like that liver. Oh, gosh. That's good. She has beef top sirloin is good. It seems like so far I've heard most people say the brisket <laughs> and then the ribeye. Right? Right. At, at least on the reviews I've seen. Um, Renee said, I just keep them in the fridge to also keep them out of sight so I don't eat the whole dang thing counter serving. Right? And she goes, the ugly livers are good as a dipper. Oh, you keep on dipping. Uh... Paul said, counter surfing is his Olympic sport. I get gold in that each year. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, uh -huh. it says down here, Add, added uses. Add cheese to any of the crisps to make your own keto nachos. Oh, yeah. Choose your favorite carnivore crisps and cheese. Microwave for 30 to 45 seconds and make and enjoy. Oh, and make enjoy. That's what it says. Yeah, it says make enjoy. Not and make enjoy. Right. There's no comma there. No, and make enjoy. No, no, no. There's no comma between make and enjoy. I know. So it says and make enjoy. Right. Make enjoy. Oh, it's cool. They're all awesome. Uh, like handwritten uh, used by dates, too. I know. And look, that's a year. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's out of Las Vegas. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Wow, I wonder if they were at the little Las Vegas thing. My coach oh, who lives in Las Vegas didn't even know about the keto convention in Las Vegas. Wow. Yeah, when I brought it up, I was like, That's oh, good marketing. Did you go to the Las Vegas keto? And she was like, uh, no, I didn't hear any fanfare about it. And I was like, well, I don't know if there's going to be a take two next year. Um, all right, where were we at? Um... Da, da, da. Okay. Renee said, I did two months of the Keto Crate. Month three as a subscriber was told, sorry, we ran out. But all these YouTubers got their extra box for review. Piss poor planning, as my dad would say. Yep. Right? That's true. Like, okay, you ran out, but everybody got their extra box to give away. To do your free. But I'm free. a subscriber, so... To me, if you already know how many subscribers you have, so say you have 200 subscribers, plus you know you're going to give away to these uh, influencers. influencers, shouldn't you have already factored that in? Yeah. Right? I don't know. Uh, Renee said the chicken skids were fatty goodness to me. Oh, that sounds good. Ronnie said, I make my own chicken skins in the air fryer. Five minutes and they're seasoned to my liking. Wow. Hot and spicy. We want to, um, we just got to get the chicken skins to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Shauna said, packing my stuff in mom's car is so not the same as my SUV. Right? It's hard to go from an SUV to a car. Right? And you're like, oh. Uh, Renee said, I've done that too, Rhonda. I just want a bag of them. I'd have to buy tons of chicken to get my portion. Uh -huh. Right? But uh, even even in the bag, right? That the chicken skin bags they sound really good. But I'm looking at that bag. I'm going. I guess that's a one sitting option. Yeah, she's like, all right, he's what are you gonna eat? I know. I'm like, I have to share with him. 
Um, so now I get when Rhonda's like, I mean, not Rhonda, when uh, Rachel was like, oh, no, I already finished the bag, remember? And Joe got all mad. I, I'm like, I can get it. I can get why she finished the bag. If this is what you're going to have to do then when you order them. You have to order two. That his and hers. Oh, that's true. Paul said, liver for dogs is cheaper than the crappy dog food out there. My dog likes it, too. I get her chicken liver from time to time. That's nice. That's idea, too. Start buying liver and giving it to her. Well, yeah, we can. On top. So, our uh, food dealer for our dog food, apparently, they just went out of business. They don't respond to emails, texts, or phone calls. Because, actually, they reached out to you, remember? And then they, they I had to call them. Because they were late getting a delivery to us. And then they said that they had, what was it, a lawsuit or some crap. And then they had to pull out of uh, Houston. But they're still going to be working in Austin. Austin and San Antonio. So she contacted still... her, her Houston rep. And she's like, oh, no, that dude don't know what he's talking about. And now they won't return her call. Yeah. Or her right. emails. Because I didn't know. Normally, I just order off the website, and then it gets delivered. And I hadn't heard from them in a few days. I'm like, hey, when is it going to be delivered? And the guy wouldn't respond to my text or email. So I called the number on the website, and that guy's the Austin guy. And he was like, oh, no, I heard Houston went out. And I'm like, what? I Why just, am I just now hearing this? I just paid you all money. You know, I'm going to need to get my money back then. And he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. That you know, they, they got some kind of cease and desist. I was like, what? So finally, I uh, text or emailed the guy in Houston, supposedly. And I was like, look, if you're not going to deliver this food, you need to let me know and you need to refund my money. And then all of a sudden, he's like, oh, well, a house fell in my yard. Sorry, I've been busy dealing with that. But I'll bring your food tomorrow. And then he was like, a day late on that, too. Right. And so then he bought the food finally. I was really thinking, we're never going to get this. And then this time, I was going to order again. But I was like, well, I'm not going to just pay for it first. So I contacted the guy, text several times over several days, never got a reply. I emailed him, said, hey, you said that that wasn't true, that you're still in business. No reply at all. So I'm like, I finally sent a text. I said, oh, I guess y'all did go out of business then. And still no reply on that either. No, like none. I'm like, oh, okay. Straight radio silence. I know. Like, been ghosted by a company. It's bizarre. Um, let's see. Renee said, the liver ones don't really taste much at all and make a great carrier. Because uh, trust me, I'm not eating liver. I don't know, Renee. I'm just going to let you have all the liver ones. Right. Uh, yeah, Rhonda said, porking uh, good is one serving for me. Uh-huh. Um, and then Renee said, being married to Heath has got to be like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Or fifty first dates. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Uh, sometimes I'm like, really. Uh, Renee said the car for Chris pricing is really no different than buying an expensive bag of commercial jerky with crap ingredients. Oh, okay. So it's along that line. All right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Renee said, I might do that next week. Nacho meat bowl with liver and heart dipper. <sighs> Enjoy. Until the end there, Renee, you had me. Uh, Paul said, alrighty, horn folk. Gotta head out for the evening. Glad I was able to catch y'all for a little while. Have an awesome weekend. Right, you, you too, too Paul. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, Ronnie said, I make a mix of bacon chips before they became famous. And the chicken skins, I sometimes break up the salted butter porking goods and add that. Great snack. Oh, that oh. sounds good, Rhonda. It does. Don't you like it when you like, like, oh, I've been making bacon chips for years and somebody else does it and it's all like, what? Bacon chips? Somebody else did that. They somewhat, Some other influence came out with the thing. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, did you see what they're making? And, and, and there was somebody I read, and they were like, yeah, I've been, like, I started doing that last year. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, gosh, I didn't know it was that big of a hit, right? Mm -hmm. 
He's got a better marketing, I guess. Well, I mean, he's got one million plus subscribers, so yeah. Um, okay. Oh, even Renee, she says, yeah, I was kind of laughing at this recent bacon chip craze. Like, really? It's overcooking bacon a new thing? Huh. <laughs> right? Uh, Shada said, oh, not liver. Nope. Uh... Oh, yeah. And then Rhonda says she takes that to the movies with her. Oh, yeah. That's her, like, popcorn. Now, that sounds like some popcorn I can get into. It's like I used to love Gardetto's. Remember that little snack mix? It's so, like yeah. this is a carnivore, a keto carnivore uh, version. Well, it basically is a carnivore version. Yeah. Because you're using the pork and good and yeah. bacon and some cheese. That'd be yeah. awesome. And throwing some whisk in there, too. Right. Jamie said, "Oh, that's a shame about Delilah's food. I made up dog food out of pork neck bones and country-style bone in the ribs today. Ooh, that sounds good. And we were making our own food. We've got a video on it where we were doing it. And she loved it for a while, and all of a sudden she just started turning her nose up to it. Well, and that, it was like when we were going to the hotel. Uh -huh. So I don't know if that did it to her. And it just became too cumbersome going to and from the hotel and trying to make her food and everything. And this was just so much easier. It, was all, it came frozen, and we gave it to her frozen. Yeah. But I had to take, I put it on a, a towel right here, and I had it on those meat mallets, you know, for tenderizing. Yeah. One of them is uh, smooth, and I would just take and smack on it a little bit and break it up into smaller pieces so I could measure out the weight for it. And it, yeah. was, it was handy, and we keep it in the freezer, so it was, it was, it was easy to store. Well, and I bet the company can't, like, it might be meat prices why he stopped because he was only charging, like, three fifty a pound, which is very cheap. Like, but it had a lot of filler in it, too. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, filler have, it had vegetables, but. Yeah, it had fruits and vegetables mixed in. It with was all natural food. ingredients. So. Yeah, it was all whole foods. Yeah. So, I went, there's another lady here that does dog food, but hers is mostly rice. Like, it's rice with some chicken or rice with beef. And I was like, well... I don't want to give her a whole bunch of rice. Right. So, I'm on the hunt now trying to find reasonable priced dog food that's like all natural. And I don't know. I guess we could go back and start making it again. Well, I don't no, know. We're always we... so busy. <laughs> I know. Um, and then like mix it in with uh, maybe other... add some fruits and vegetables to hers to no. make it. I don't know. Because then also when we were making the food, we were taking and using our leftover uh, uh, eggshells. Yeah. And that was so a pain sometimes calcium. too to, to yeah. uh, grind that up. Because if it were bigger chunks, she didn't eat it. Yeah. It had to be like like almost like confetti for her to yeah. eat it. Or right. even like salt size. In. But, um, I don't know. I'm so disappointed because I really liked... That dog food, just because it was so easy and it was so reasonably priced. Like, the price point was just, um, I just, it was perfect. Because a lot of the other, like, big known dog foods, it's like $9 a pound. Yeah. And that's just, that's just way too much. But she really likes that canned food, too. But that's just too much also. It is, it does. It's too much. It's just kind of crappy food. Okay. You know, because they put a lot of fillers in that. Yeah. That's why they can sell it like that. So, I don't know. We'll research. We'll figure it out. Um, mm. <laughs> okay. And then Shauna said, uh, I guess it's all about the processed bacon chips. Mm. I burn bacon all the time. Yeah, it's like you have to stir it constantly. <laughs> well, like the way Dr. Barry did it when he had it in a deep dish uh, pan he was cooking it in. Where he said that make, kept the uh, splatter down. Right. A big but, Dutch oven is what it was. Renee said, well, you should make a YouTube video too, Shauna. Right? Shauna said, um, crisp. I mean crisp. <laughs> Jamie said, I could not get bacon chips to work. It either burned and ended up unleavenly cooked or uh, fell apart into bits. Well, uh, we didn't make it into bits then, I guess. <laughs> well, that's what I wondered too. I was like, ooh, I... I wonder how it's not going to just crumble to right. pieces. But maybe that's the thing is just stir it and then let it sit for a minute and then go back and stir it again. That's the way Dr. Barry said to do it. Right. Um, 
Shauna said, Renee, laugh out loud. One, kept bacon. Two, throw in my air fryer. Three, pop in my eye. Four, put on a paper towel. Five, eat and repeat. All right. Uh, Rhonda said, I know, Shelly. I can't believe it. Bacon chips have been around since before purse bacon. Right? right. <laughs> Marie said, uh, BBB com uh, complaint and dispute the charge with whatever payment you used. Oh, yeah. Well, I did eventually get the food. I was just... Still left a bad taste in our mouths. Well, and then the fact he's not even responding now. It's like, so he lied to us? Because we flat out asked him. He was like, okay, so we need to know, are you still in business or not? I'm going to have to keep feeding my dog. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, of course we're still in business. And it's like, oh, okay. So, but now you don't. And I can't drive all the way to Austin to get uh, more. I that's, just, that's not worth could, it. But... Uh, yeah, but it's a three, four hour drive. That's just not I worth know. it. Or we have to buy like a month at a time. That's just more money there too. I know. And we only have so much room. I know. Ugh. Charlie said, Renee, besides the videos of my craft fire drinks are as far as I can do. Well, uh -huh. those are always nice too. Rhonda said, now that's a good idea chicken skins bacon porky good pieces cheese and wisp snack bag i got them all it's on now oh nice that sounds good that's gonna be real good when you drive down here huh and renee said that's a snap bag dream perfect movie munches right, right? yeah when you drive to come visit us all or right. when we come to come visit you you can have like a big bowl of it <laughs> all right a welcome gift i know um, oh, I've been watching y'all. Uh, I know uh, several of the people in here are like Halloween lovers like me. I've been watching a couple people who do like the whole Salem uh, Halloween things. Like everybody who's been in Salem like this past week. And they keep putting out like uh, tours of Salem oh, and wow. tours of the different, you know, so, like, activities going on in Salem. So, I'm guessing this is their peak season right now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Because, you remember, we went, like, at the beginning of October, and they were like, oh, thank goodness you're here now, because if you wait another week, it would be crazy. Oh, yeah, that's right. And, right, and then, because we didn't have to wait that long. Like, there was the one, the big place, yeah. we did have to kind of have a little bit of a line, but right. everywhere else, we didn't. But, um... Because people are so I, cliche. Well, yeah. Who has been to Salem, Massachusetts? Uh, I, like, loved Salem. Like, the aesthetic and everything, I yeah. really enjoyed it. It's a seaside town, right? To me, that's like, I love that feel. But I really enjoyed the whole vibe, though, of Salem. But I don't know, after seeing these videos and how many people... Just so many people. I don't know if I would like living there because I would get annoyed with all of the people in the way for like three weeks in October. Right? right? I'd be like, oh, can't get downtown. Um, like, I love New Orleans. Like, New yes. Orleans is an amazing vibe to me. Um, but I would get annoyed because New Orleans has so many festivals and yes. events all the time. I would get annoyed having to do with all the people. Yeah. Like, I hate Houston traffic. Can you imagine tourist traffic? I would just be like, no. Right? Right, that's true. Uh, because every time we've gone to New Orleans has always been, like, off-season. Where there's not any festival going on. Where it's not, like, uh, summer or spring break or time. Mardi Gras. Huh? Or Mardi Gras. Right, or Mardi Gras. Any of that. And so we always go like that time. So to us, it's cool to be in New Orleans because there's no lines and that's, you know, 6th Street isn't even, or not 6th Street, um, thinking awesome. of Austin. Bourbon Street isn't like packed to the gills. Right? It's just like it's a good setting there. Yeah. But uh, it's comfortable. Right. But enjoyable. It, right. But like uh, that. Um, my one friend Stuart, he likes to go to the jazz fest that they hand, handled there. I think that's what jazz or something. And he like gets seats that like they have bleachers and stuff for seating, and he'll get those. And, and he shows pictures, and I'm like, oh, that looks so congested. Uh huh. Like oh, you, man. you put oh. yourself in that situation. Repeat uh, I know. We ain't talked to him in a while either. <laughs> well, 
because he's too busy flying all over the place. Right. Jamie said the best can I found is Old Roy, the old style in the big cans. It has some rice, but that is the only filler starch. The new kinds have wheat in them. Oh, oh okay. That's a shame. Um, Let's look at that then. We did get this one that you get in the refrigerated section. I mean, it's decent. There's a few ingredients I'm not the best of, but at least the first made ingredients are all actual meat. Yeah. And the pricing's like where I want it. Um, well, you know how I love hitting those uh, the little discount meats that are usually yeah. at the Kroger? We can just start buying that and you give it to her. Well, yeah. You but give it to her a hole instead of breaking it up. Well, yeah, but she did kind of like some of it cut up for her. It was too much when you were giving her. No, I'm saying instead of doing instead of going round, we could still cut it up like in a small bite size oh, yeah, pieces. Yeah. Instead of giving doing ground beef and mixing all that other stuff into it. I know, but the give, problem was we weren't always having enough of that to last the whole uh, week. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's right because I, we can't really freeze it and then give it to her. Well, I don't know that what's the way it is from the company. They get frozen. Yeah, but I think it's also like a process they use. Mm. That's what I was saying. That When we tried doing that for a while, like we would do that. Remember, I got different things and we just feed it on her. And it's just, you That's have when to she go. started turning her nose up to no, it. No, no, she liked it. Because you remember, like, I gave her, like, a whole chicken and uh -huh. stuff like that. And she ate it, like, fine. But then it just got... Um, Hard, no, not money. It just got hard to keep. Like, you would have to go to the store like two or three times a week to keep it fresh. Right. Yeah, that's the problem. And because they don't always have meat on sale, or we that's find true. too, a lot of times, like a Kroger, what's marked down has all kinds of seasonings on it. Right, that's true too. Like or, HEB also. Well, yeah, or it's all the chicken or turkey and truly. Try not to give her too much of that because of the inflammation and stuff that it can cause. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Shauna said, uh, he, you weren't supposed to eat it. That's why bad taste in your mouth. What is it? What, what, what? You weren't supposed to eat something. Oh, what did I miss? I don't know. I forget now. I've been going off on tangents. <laughs> Um, Sorry, I just keep looking to see what the clock is. Oh. Oh, Jamie says she's toured Salem and loved it. Yeah, it yes. was nice. I, we liked it. Now, some of the um, presentations and stuff were a little hokey. Yes. <laughs> like, some of them. We went to some pirate museum. And where they were like, oh, oh, the pirate ghost of Salem. And I was like, okay, this is very, very cheesy. I've seen better productions on that, uh, like uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> well, yeah, but I was just like, okay, this is a little too cheesy, y'all. But yeah. I was like, okay, I get why these tickets were discounted. <laughs> we're uh, way off Broadway. <laughs> oh, Sean, I said you had mentioned the dog food thing gave you a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, I got you. Um... Uh, Let's see. Renee said, patients call me physical torturist or drill sergeant when I tell them I'm also a Halloween baby. You should see their eyes bug out. Huh? I bet. I bet, Hitler. <laughs> Karen said, I've lived in Massachusetts my whole life and never been to Salem for Halloween. Wow. Too many people. But, Karen, did you go outside of Halloween to Salem? Which, that's awesome. My uh, grandfather lived in Bangor, Maine for basically, I don't know, 50, 60 years. I have most of my father's side lived in Massachusetts and Maine area. And also, of course, Canada. And uh, so, like, they all lived over there. But then by the time I came along, my parents were tired of traveling from Texas up there. So, I never got to see it as a kid, which I think is a shame. Yeah. But I did get to visit, like, Baker, Maine, and, um, oh, where was it in Massachusetts? Oh, shit, I don't remember. Went to a couple places in Massachusetts. And then, of course, this last trip, we went to Salem, which that was always, like, my, like, dream was to go to Salem. 
Um, I didn't care about going at Halloween because I just don't like crowds of people. Right. So I was like, ooh, if we go to Salem, that'd be awesome. So we actually stayed, I think, like, what, two days? Uh-huh. I was so excited. But I would definitely go back and want to stay longer because I feel like there's still a lot to see that isn't so touristy. Right? We got to win the lotto. Um, <laughs> right? Uh, Renee said, oh, Roy, I think that's the Walmart brand, right? Oh, okay. Ronnie said, the traffic's horrible anyway. However, unless you're in the CBD, Central Business District, it's not an issue. I work in the CBD, so whenever there's an event, I'm fussing all the way home. That's See? Right. That's what I would be like. Oh, these people. Go was, home. It was like us when we went to D.C. We went off oh. peak hours. And it was off peak season, I mean, and, and still. Oh, yeah. I couldn't horrible. imagine going to D.C. on peak season because we went when it was technically supposed to be the lowest time of the whole year. Well, that's probably why everything was under construction because they were gearing up for peak season. I guess, but it was supposed to be the, the like, abs- like, when they say, when is the absolute best time? To go to Washington, D.C., where there's, like, the least amount of tourists and, and stuff. And we went at that time. It was horrible. Horrible. Like, I, Houston has awful traffic. Yeah. Washington, D.C. was horrible. This We've is a Houstonian everywhere. telling you that the traffic and the people and everything were horrible. Horrible. What was that? That's the our little vacuum cleaner. Oh, We're okay. horrible in Washington. I never, ever want to go back to Washington, D.C. If some president offered me a job, I would say, I'm working from Houston. I am not going to D.C. If I had to travel again, I would travel four hours out of my way to not go to D.C. Like, I just did not like, like that city... Did not vibe with me at all. I did not like it at all. None of it. I was like, get me out of here. I'm tired of being here. I don't ever want to go. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if I can convey how much I dislike Washington, D.C. Um, okay, let's see here. I got off of my tangent. Um... Okay, Renee said, I've been told that, yes, some of those cheaper brands have lots of meats listed, but the actual quality of meats are bottom of the barrel. I mean, that's probably true. I'm sure it's not the best, but, I mean, $9 a pound, I just, that's more than I pay for my food. Uh, Renee said, ah, yes, been called lots over 20 years of doing this, but Hitler was a new one this year. She also hugged me when she went home. Well, of course, because doesn't that make you, when they, like, give you those uh, mean nicknames, you're like, yeah, you're going to think I'm mean, but I promise you're going to like me when you leave. Right? All right. Um, oh, uh, another Texas earthquake. Renee said, I, oh, I read that. Uh, Melissa said, I like Salem. The witch exhibit was corny. Yes? Yeah. I did like an evening walking tour showing the haunted and notable locations there. Yeah, I would like to do that, too. Um, oh, Rhonda said you look sleepy. Who, me? Just wait, y'all. When we turn this off, he's going to be like, I'm so... <laughs> Is that, no, there's eight, usually there's two ways it goes. Either I do like she says, or I'm a wide awake. Renee said, banger? I hardly know her. All right. Um... But, yes, that the witch exhibit was very corny. Um, but as far, like, we didn't get to do a walking tour, which that would have been fun. We're being cheap. But down here near us, there's an old town called Old Town Spring, right? They called it Old Town, Old Town Spring. Like, how inventive is that? And uh, so it's from the 1800s. Supposedly there's ghosts. I mean, I've lived here my whole life. I didn't know there was. But... They do ghost tours, and I thought about doing that. I thought that would be kind of fun. I mean, it's my own backyard. I didn't know there was all this history in this old town spring. I thought, well, that would be kind of fun to do a ghost tour there. It's like 20 bucks. And I, I thought, well, that would be something fun to do some night. Yeah. It's like at 9 p.m. or something. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that's, that's, 
That's the other problem. I'm such an old man. <laughs> like we're we're at that point where we're like, oh, that sounds like fun. What time? And and somebody tells, oh, nine. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna come. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, Julie said, go to Gettysburg. That's a cool trip. Lots of oh. ghosts. The battlefields are full of history. Yes. That would be cool. Remember, we were thinking about it, but yeah. we stayed in Washington, D.C. Oh. Instead. And somebody well, had told time. you on the trip, they were like, oh, you should have went to Gettysburg. And we were like, yeah, we opted for D.C. see, that's what also kind of irritated me is when we went to go see the Constitution and the uh, Declaration of Independence and stuff. There was no photographs allowed. No video allowed. I was like, ugh, my, my channel. Right? I know. We, that was disappointing. Yeah, I think Gettysburg would be a fun trip. Book it. Let's go. Um, you start a job in less oh, yeah. than a month, sir. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, Davey said, got to turn in soon. Getting up early for the farmer's market before our meetup in Lufkin. Awesome, oh, Jamie. Yeah. What you getting at the farmer's market? What are you getting me? Where? Don't be like that. Where, which farmer's market do you go to? And what time do they close? Uh, Roger said, D.C. is where my brother is going back home next week. He loves it. I'll be mm -hmm. visiting him in December. Rhonda, have you have ever fun. been to D.C.? I know some people love it. Like, we had a tour guide. He was really exceptional. Yeah. They really were. Yeah, he was amazing, and he loved D.C. Like, he grew up there and everything. I was just like, I, I just, it's just not for me. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. I didn't like the whole vibe. It's so weird. Like, I go to somewhere like Salem and New Orleans, and I just instantly love the city. Yeah. And even Charleston. I yes, love Charleston, cool. too. That was a fun city as well. But D.C. Mm -mm. Seattle. We really loved Seattle. Yeah, also. we did love Seattle. And I love Manhattan. Yes. Manhattan. Now, Buffalo, New York. No, 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 no. Didn't care for that place. I didn't care for the Dakotas. No. But I did like Deadwood. It was okay. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't an awful, but... But that's like, just kind of oh like God, a go one, one stop sign town, you yeah. know? Uh, but, yeah, just... I just could and like, also, it. we're over Vegas, too. Yeah, we're over, Well, I was never into Vegas. Yeah. Well, that I mean, was, I'll... That was I'll your already, thing. Well, I know, but I, even going to the shows, I'm kind of over that, too. Now, there's nobody there I want to go see. Yeah. And L.A., I wasn't impressed with L.A. Uh, either. Like, yeah. I don't care about... It's in front of me in Houston. With right? the traffic and everything. Well, but San Francisco. I love San yeah. Francisco. I always have fun. And I've been there, I think, three times now. And I've always enjoyed San Francisco. It's like, you know, some cities I just go to and I'm like, okay, this is a cool city. Right. Other cities, like, I don't know. I guess just none impacted me as much as Washington, D.C. Maybe it's because I was driving through uh -huh. it and everything. I just did, just did not like it. I don't know. I'm weird. Too much hustle. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, because how often do we actually drive into Houston? Julie said, D.C. is a swamp. Yeah. Oh, is it on swamp? I think so. Oh, but Houston is too. Well, now, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not a huge fan of Houston either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How often do we actually go into Houston proper, though? Right. Well, and if, you know, honestly, if we won the lottery, I would be booking it out of Houston. Like, yeah. I don't feel like I need to be in Houston. That's State like, Park. Oh, for sure. That's, like, still my favorite. Depending on how much we win, I would yeah. either say Estes or Manhattan. Because yeah. if I could afford Manhattan... Yeah, that's I, true. Yeah. Because I I just love the whole feel of it. Like, because they had so many nice parks there. So if yeah. you wanted to park, you could definitely get away to that where it's a little quieter. But then just the ease of getting around to everything, just walking around. I don't know. I just really enjoyed yeah. Manhattan. Um. Oh, and Julie said, all the soldiers killed in the battles of Gettysburg. Right. That has a lot of ghosts there. Oh, that'd be right. fun. Um, Renee said, lots of haunted places in um, SA2. Is that San Antonio? This week, Corpus is doing haunted tours in the Lexington. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Rhonda said, yes, not my favorite place, D.C. Well, sorry. 
Uh, Shauna said, California is haunted except all the creepy people are still alive. Well, that's what somebody else said, too, I've heard before about America. Like, he was almost thinking it was, like, you know, built on an uh, ancient Indian burial ground. Well, I'm saying. it. <laughs> Ronnie said, brother lived there for twenty over 25 years. That's his home now. He didn't like being here in New Orleans. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, you know, I love visiting New Orleans, but I don't think I can enjoy living there. I don't know. I think I would. Oh, good night, Jerry and Patty. Good night, Thanks good for night. tuning in. Enjoy your uh, Indonesian curry beef. Right. Um, I don't know. I think. I don't know. I would probably still enjoy New Orleans. It's just that there's always seems like there's fun things there. Well, like I'm saying and, here, though, we, we, don't, we live in Houston, but we, we don't yeah. go to Houston. Yeah, right? We say we're in Houston, but yeah. we're, we're not. Um, but then, uh, it, to me, I think the thing is with Houston, it's so industrial. Yes. And I'm Ugly. just... Yeah, well, I'm just not... There's some pretty parts, but I'm just not a fan of the industrial. Like, I like... Um, I think, like, Estes Park is my favorite because it's out between the mountains. It's yeah. in a valley. It's just beautiful. It's peaceful. And there's lots of room there. And it just seems, you know, like you're far away from everything. Right. And I think I would enjoy that. We had such a good time there. Yeah, but I definitely need to win lots of money because Colorado, y'all, it's expensive. Right? It's really expensive. Um, oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Deadwood, that's no bueno. Huh. You know from this show, right, Renee? Deadwood. Uh, so we went to the actual city yeah. that the show's based on. And it was really cool. The only thing is, like, it it's just a street. It's yeah. basically a street. That's it. And that, so, uh, that uh, little mock show they had was kind of corny, too. What was that show? That was, no, that was the uh, OK Corral thing. Wasn't oh, that you're thinking of Tombstone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah, we went through Tombstone, which I did enjoy Arizona, which I was surprised yeah. with because I'm not a desert person. But I really enjoyed... Um, we weren't that impressed with Roswell, though, either, though. No, Roswell was not. That was New Mexico. Yeah, Roswell I was just saying was all those fun. fancy, you know, uh, tourist traps. Who was that? Oh, Renee said she wasn't talking about the city. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, Deadwood. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, oh again? Why did that oh. go out? Oh! The extension cord. Because your little, your little thing. It's hung up. Oh. oh, shit. What was that? The crisps. Oh. She bought this robot thing. My little robot. It got hung up in the extension cord. Because what I've been doing is plugging the uh, halo in, in the uh, living room. Is this on? Yeah. And in the living room, and then the so, huh? Oh, you gotta fix it. Oh, okay. They pushed off. No, not that part. The whole stand, babe. Look at the stand. No, you gotta push it against the the wall. There you go. So yeah, I ran the extension cord into the living room, so we're not tripping over it, running back and forth, cooking and everything. And then I forgot she turned her little robot uh, floor sweeper on, and it got hung up on the cord and pulled it out of the wall. I didn't turn it on. It's on automatic. So it just automatically happens. And then I jumped up a minute ago because it likes to go and disconnect my computer from the Can wall. I water? And then uh, it also disconnects my uh, USB cord. Or my, uh, uh, yeah, the USB. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Jamie said it's just her local farmer's market in Winsboro. Excuse me. I got some good stuff like pastured eggs, Oakley duck, Angus beef, and goat milk soap. Oh, oh that that's nice. Good. That sounds really good. Uh, Julie said, you look like San Fran now. Homeless pop pooping on the sidewalk. Oh. I always thought they did that then. I thought they'd uh, do that in, uh, in Austin, too. Oh, that was one thing that was weird about Seattle, though. Oh, yeah, the tent cities. Yeah. Um, I, 
Well, the first time I went to San Francisco uh, with my mom, we were being cheap, so instead of Uber or anything, we took a, a airport bus where they had to put, like, several, like there was, I don't know, 15 or so of us in this bus that takes you from the airport, and then it drops off at different um, locations in San Francisco. And uh, all I remember is just young girls, um, they were probably, I don't know, in their early 20s, right? And they were visiting San Francisco, and they decided, y'all, to stay at a hostel. Like, I've never heard of hostels before this, but they were talking that they're staying at this hostel where where the guy dropped them off. We were seeing people, I was like, oh, that looks scary. Like, there was um, people, like, first of all, I saw a guy with no, basically, pants on. And I thought that was interesting. He just had, Horky like, the, no, he had, like, the leather just going down his legs, but it, the chaps. Oh, wow. Where his butt was hanging out. And, yeah, he did, He just wore the chaps and, like, a vest. I was like, oh, welcome to San Francisco. All right. And then, um... And then they were getting to this hostel, and like the the whole cover and everything, the area where the hostel was, I was like, oh, that looks really scary. And this was before that movie Hostel came out. So when I saw that movie, I didn't see the full movie. I just saw the previews. I was like, oh, yeah, that's where those girls stayed. That was it. Because that looked like, I was like, ooh, that, that's like, nope, no. Like, I don't care that it was $20 a day or whatever it was. I was like, oh, that's scary. That's Survivor the home game. I know. I was like, well, note to self, never stay at a hostel. Right. And, uh, but you definitely saw, I was like, oh, so this is San Francisco. It's everything I've heard, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. But I do enjoy that. Uh, but Monterey is gorgeous. Remember oh, Monterey? Yeah. You loved Monterey. And, like, we were, like, talking to a couple people. They were really like, wow, this is, like, awesome. Like, the weather is so nice. And they're like, yeah, it's this weather year-round. We're like, what? This is your temperature? Your thing? And he was like, yeah, this is it year-round. Just kind of cloudy, overcast, 70s all the time. I was like, yeah, um. You have uh, a look at the cost of living, too. Though. Yeah. We were like, oh, how do we, like, we want to live here. And he was like, well, good luck finding a place. I was like, dang it. This is like, that's like our perfect, perfect, like if you described it, like this is what we're looking for. We want cloudy, overcast, and no more than like 70 degrees every day, and don't get colder than 50. Right. And they were like, yeah, welcome to Monterey. And I was like, oh, man. But you got to be millionaires. Right. Apparently. I feel like you have to be millionaires to live anywhere now. Um... Oh, she said, Julie said, the tour of Alcatraz is cool. Great ghosts living out there also. Oh, we, wow. We thought about doing it, but we turned it down. We decided not to, but that was before we were so, when we were still not really mobile. Yeah, that we weren't keto, of course. Because that was and, one of my biggest uh, uh, NSVs when we went to Manhattan, was being able to walk around Central Park. We walked yeah. the whole thing. But we when we went there... To San Francisco last, we were like, oh, we could do Alcatraz. And then when we looked it up, because this is what we did, because, you know, we were so unhealthy and fat. And we're like, okay, how long is a walk? Like, we would literally Google that before we did certain tours and everything, because we weren't going to be surprised and show up. All right. So we would read. We always stuff. did our research. We always did our research, you know, because that's how we were on it. And they were like, oh, it's a, a, like a mile and a half walk just to get up to the Alcatraz. This is the entrance. Yeah. And then from there, another, you know, mile or whatever. And as soon as we heard that, that it's uphill, mile and a half. Nope, we're not doing that. We'll just see it from the shore. And right. that's what we did. We were like, oh, there's Alcatraz. And we never, so now, I would definitely do it. I don't think we would have any issues touring Alcatraz. As long as, we didn't get, as, long as I didn't get hot. That, well, and it's always cool Okay, there. And then, yeah, then I, I have no, no. Oh, wow, no, Renee no. said her grandfather died at Alcatraz. He was an Irish mafia. What? Who do you, who'd have thunk it, right? Wow, that's crazy, Renee. What now, stories could she not tell us? I know, now, let's see. I mean, that explains so much. Uh, 
Uh, she goes, proud familiar moments. Uh, right? Uh, goodness. Julie said, was he there with the bird man? Right. Oh, what was that? You don't remember the bird man? Uh-uh. You never heard of the story or saw the movie, The Birdman of Alcatraz? Oh, well, we got so much to do tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Melissa said, I love Manhattan. I would have loved living there in my 20s. Now I think I want more space. I lived in L.A. until I was a teenager, so it's home. There is a lot to do, but I mainly go to see family now. Oh. Right? Yeah, I think Manhattan's definitely a great place for young people. I, I just really enjoyed it. And which is weird because I always say, you know, I want to be somewhere peaceful, but sleeps. yeah, yeah, it never sleeps, right? Well, yeah, that's what they, what do they call? It? Is it New York or Vegas? They always say that about though. They never the city never sleeps. I thought it was Manhattan, uh -huh. but um, I, I mean, it's you speak of I Manhattan just, though. Huh? We need to call Donna. We haven't talked yes, to her in a while. Yes, because our friends that lived there, I just loved her apartment. Yes. And I, it just, the whole feel of it, I was like, oh, this is so much fun. But who well, we knows? We're going to call tomorrow when we're heading to Lufkin. Okay. That'll be easy. And, and who knows, though, when you're there, right? If right. you actually live there, it'd probably get kind of like, oh, what a hassle. Right, right, right. Uh, Shauna said, hey, how do you melt down a keto brick? I put it in a measuring cup. If I only had a video. Yeah, that's true. But I do it in 30-second increments. I put it in for 30 seconds, pull it out, stir it up. Even if it's still mostly a block, I still stir it, put it back in, and keep doing 30 seconds, pull out, stir, 30 seconds, and just keep doing that until it's nice and all melted together. Don't do like Shelly does. Oh? And leave it in the wrapper when you go to melt it. Okay. Whatever he It's does. a shocking experience. <laughs> I was trying to get it all out of the wrapper. <laughs> because we hire a couple times they'll show up uh, late or whatever, you know. It depends on how the, the, the day goes. And they're melted in the packaging. Which is fine. They even tell you about that. And then you stick it in the fridge for a little while. It'll harden back up. It won't be the original shape, but it'll at least harden up a little bit. But she was trying to make sure we didn't waste any of it. So she was going to nuke it like, all. I don't want to lose any of this. Right. And yeah, so the new packaging you can't put in the microwave. <laughs> oh, Rhonda says she loves Colorado. Isn't uh -huh. it? I just love it, too. And, and Colorado's another one of those states that they have such diverse topography. Topography? Is that how you say it? Topography. Thank you. I think. Because, uh, like, if you go down to, um, remember we went to, uh, it was like La Vela, Valela. Anyways, the southern east, it's more like, um, I think it got stuck on something. But it's more um, dry, arid type. And then you go over to, um, it's not Diablo. Remember the one city we went to uh, that we yeah. loved before? Diego? Not Diego. What is no. it? No. Uh, not Denver. No. No. Uh, I was just thinking of anything D. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why can't I think of it? But when you go over there where the Silver City is that you go up. Uh, um, and then the Mesa Verde. Oh, I just love that. And then the Denver and north of Denver, I just loved all of that. And now Pablo, I was not a fan of. Uh -huh. Another one of those cities, I was like, oh. But um, it'll come to me. I know that city will come. But I love we'll Mesa happen. Verde. We'll that we'll, was so much fun. We'll log off, tell you all good night. She'll go in there and go take a shower. And also, boom, it'll hit her. I know. I hate that. Uh, Renee said, on my mom's side, her sister married into the Italian Mafia wow. in Illinois. Crazy. That is crazy. Shauna said, oh, I got some goat milk soap today from some friends. Oh, wow. Nice. That's cool. I hope it smells vanilla-y. Uh, Renee said, I bought a strip of tiny molds to melt that brick we got at the meetup. Oh, that's cool. Rhonda said, do I need to add a a sweetener to my keto brick before no. I melt it down. No. I I don't, Rhonda. I find, like, the ones, the maple pecan. That's sweet enough. Really sweet to me. Honestly, my favorite brick was the peanut butter one. 
Yeah, that was. To me, when, especially when we melt it down, it's like eating fudge. That's what it reminded me of. And it breaks my heart that I'm allergic to peanuts now. <laughs> no. Because that stuff was so good. Yeah. Now, I don't, but remember, I air more of, I don't eat a lot. Like, keto chow is the sweetest thing to yeah. me. So, if you... If you add sweetener to keto chow, then you probably might add a little sweetener. So maybe just cut off a little bit of it. Yeah. You know, like a tablespoon's worth and try it before you melt it down and see what you think. Because I'll do that too. I'll either sit there and eat the whole brick, just bite off the piece, or I'll put it on a cutting board and then just take my knife and break it up into pieces. Um, Rashada said, I don't know. I didn't get one at KPL. (laughs) <laughs> and then another thing we like to do also we didn't do it on this batch though is we actually add salt to ours yeah a lot of times uh julie said goat milk soap is awesome i love it too Jill, uh sorry melissa said san francisco is a lot of fun and napa's nice yeah we love napa uh we vacationed up and down the california coast when i was a kid solving the redwoods san diego different beaches lakes and forests yes Nice. We did, remember, we went to Solvang. Yeah. And uh, Santa Barbara, uh-huh. that's like the closest. Where's all that dude that was, he was Russian and he almost killed us? That was San Francisco. Yeah. He got a cut in a, uh, uh, a storm. Yeah. And, and he didn't pay us attention. The first time. He didn't pay attention to the weather and the roads getting closed up. He just went and kept driving anyways. And then his car stalled out. And... Oh, it was a fun trip, let yeah. me tell you. And then we had to use. On my phone to get us back. Because yeah, his he, GPS quit working. Yeah, he didn't know how to get us back to where we were at. So, yeah, that was that was an interesting experience in yeah. San Francisco. <laughs> I tell you, every time we go to San Francisco, it's always something new. A new adventure. <laughs> Julie said the tenderloin is scary. Yeah. yeah, that's where the hostel was. Like, yeah. What? I was like, these girls do not do their research. Let's follow people talking about it, like when we're going cruises and whatnot. Oh, I would never go there. There's crimes. Yada, yada. I'm like, yeah, but I'm from Houston. There's <laughs> parts of this city I don't want to go to. Oh, yeah. We almost <sighs> broke up over that. But seriously. Worst guess, date ever. <laughs> I guess I feel like, because uh, we grew up in Houston, I mean, there's like a part not too far from here that's called Gunpoint. Uh, well, it's actually called Greens Point, I but the locals call it Gunpoint. And it's called that for a reason. And this has been going, I mean, as far as I remember. And as then there's the, the Fifth Ward. Yeah. Remember, that was like supposed to be like the worst place ever is the Fifth Ward of Houston. Yeah. And I remember one time with my mother, she had a car. Of course, there was no air conditioning, which... Anybody's been down here, and you know you gotta have air conditioning. Well, her van didn't have any air conditioning. And of course, it's so easy for me, at least, to get lost in Houston. Yes, like every other town, sh- town Houston, definitely. Yeah, because it's like so. It even with the GPS, sometimes I still doubt my because I'm like, are you really getting me out of the city? Well, also. <laughs> The people that programmed it and put all the stuff in for it didn't know what they were doing, it seems like. I'm saying, because sometimes until I get on that major freeway, I'm like, am I going to make it out of downtown Houston? Um, but it's so easy when you're downtown, you go off here, you turn here, and you're thinking, okay, yeah, I think this is the way to 45. Next thing you know, this is what happened to my mother, she's in the fifth ward. Um, so she's in the fifth ward. It's scary. And this is like the place where they have regular shootouts like all the time. And here she is in her little minivan that has no air conditioning. And she's just like, she sees the sign, you know, Fifth Ward. She's like, oh my gosh. And so she's like rolling up all her windows in the car. And she's like, how do I get out of here? And then she, so she's sweating in the car. Of course, it was the middle of the day. And she's like, I don't know where I'm going. And she she was so scared that time. And I was she like, didn't oh like driving God. anyways. No, yeah, she hated to drive. Was it that time with your uh, Rhonda? She's yeah. like, yeah, we'll take my car. Rhonda comes over and she hands Rhonda the keys. Yeah, she would tell Rhonda, you drive all the time. So her best friend's name is Rhonda. And she said, you drive all the time. I'm going to drive next time. And Rhonda was like, oh, okay, you're going to drive. Awesome. And she's like, yeah, I'll drive next time. So then when Rhonda came over, because they lived across the street, right? 
Rhonda comes over and she's like, okay. And she's like, oh. And she said, oh, yeah, I said I would drive, huh? And she's like, yeah. She's like, okay, here's the keys. And Rhonda's like, why are you handing me the keys? You're going to drive. And she goes, yeah, I'm driving. Here, you got the keys to my car. <laughs> that was what she thought was driving. And she's like, um, that's not how it works. Well, it was like she told her niece. She goes, just because the speed limit says 55 doesn't mean you have to do 55. I know. And I was like, yeah, it does, because you'll actually get a ticket for not doing a speed limit. No, uh, they won't do that to you. I said, yeah, it's called impeding traffic. <laughs> you're actually endangering other drivers. <laughs> no, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, okay. okay. That's why they put a bit of a... But, okay, my mom, though, she didn't even get her license until she was 26. Yeah. And she just always hated to drive. So, like, as soon as I got my license, guess who was driving all the time? All right. Uh, Renee said, my tattoo chick stays at hostels across Europe and trades tattoo work for her stay, and she just hops across Europe. Well, have fun. Uh, that does is. not sound like me. Uh, Renee said, I first learned about hostels from the movie. A little different, but nuts. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just... No. I... Oh, thanks. No. I I mean, that sounds fun to go across no, Europe and no, doing it that. Not. No, it does but... not. No, it does not. <laughs> I'm just not that adventurous. I've seen that movie before. It does not end well. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah. I, no. No. Uh, Renee said, I never tried goat milk soup, but I've seen a regular vendor at our market. So many products, just wasn't sure if worth it. Plus healthcare. I love my antibacterial soaps. Right. I've been in love with goat milk soap. Everything. <laughs> since I was a kid. Cause, so growing up, because my mom, you know, did homemade crafts and sold it and stuff. We did a lot of craft shows. And with that, so I was kind of exposed to a lot of things, and I've always been, like, I guess kind of like a, a spa or bathroom person. Oh, yeah. Like, I just love fancy soaps. I love, like, my bathtub with all of the bath bombs. I just love all of that stuff, and I go a little crazy over it. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> when I was, like, 12 or 13, I remember getting some goat milk soap from a vendor, you know, I bought it and stuff, and um, I was like, oh, I love, it. like, ever since I had tried it that one time when I was a teenager, I've loved it ever since. Like, to me, when I use goat milk compared to, like, the regular store soap, it's like, well, the store soap will dry you out. The goat milk, it just is so lush and lotiony, and it just... Feels good. They usually smell really good. It just feels like you're like bathing in cream. I just love the way. I, and I love tallow soap. I've been um, getting tallow soap recently. And that feels amazing too. You like it too, don't you? Yeah. He just didn't know how bad he had it using his Walmart soap that he got for no. 59 cents. No. Oh? Dollar General. Thanks for clarifying that, dear. Uh, oh, let's see. You jumped on me. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. How many uh, people uh, we got left, though? Oh. Oh, it says 18. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Shauna said, stairs, stairs. There's a great blue and yellow fleet boat tour. Oh, for uh -huh. uh, Alcatraz. Oh. Uh. Yeah, take a bite of it. Oh, Auntie Bites. Renee said, there's a form of Iron Man triathlon off of Alcatraz. Icy cold waters is supposedly really hard. Oh, have you done it? Um, swim is treacherous and deadly. Oh. Right, the swim launches off of a big boat and limited participants allowed. Oh, that does not sound fun. Well, because they don't have a big search party looking, you know, looking for all these people. Shana says, how many molds do I need? Well, I can tell you one brick, the one mold that he showed, I couldn't even, like, the one brick, there wasn't enough in there. So, I, I ended up using one partial mold, like, one in one eighth of a mold for one brick. So my so favorite depends. one, I don't know where it's at, but it looks like a uh, an ice cube tray. Remember? Oh, yeah. It's so many circles and you just pop them and you can pop them out. Yeah, that That's one is That's my nice. favorite one and a, uh, the brick fills that up fine, right? 
Yeah, get two molds just to be careful because yeah. if you get towards the end, you would, I'd hate for you to be in the middle of pouring and then run out of uh, the little holes. Um, what I would do also is if you have a problem pouring it, do it over wax paper. Oh, yeah. That way, if you drip and whatnot, you can just scrape it off with a knife afterwards. You can still eat it then. Yum. It makes the cleanup good. Uh, because I always use one of my little spatulas because I'm going to clean yeah. that measuring cup. I ain't going to yeah. wash that stuff out. Um, Renee said, yes, I started with just running, then tra transitioned to triathlons, register for a full Ironman before if even done my first triathlon. Done several half irons and two fulls. Wow. And if you do cut it up on a cutting board and all the little scraps, the little pieces fall off, save that, sweep it off, and put that in your keto chop. Yeah, that's really good. Or your morning coffee. That too. Uh, Shauna said, oh my God, I just took a bite of the buttery maple pecan. Ama Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is pretty good. That maple pecan is like straight up like a candy bar. Like when I get yeah. that, it reminds me of like, because it's that, I guess it's the maple yeah. where it feels like, remember there used to be a candy that when you would eat it, it felt like it kind of like turned into caramel on your teeth where it oh, kind of coated stuff. the teeth. It was it the, uh, oh shoot. What That's what it reminds me of when I have that maple pecan. The sugar smash, no, not sugar smash. What was it? Um, not cereal. It's like a candy bar. I know, but it was like it was a long one, right? Uh, it was on a stick. I, don't know. I like... just remember the mouth feel and I was like, ooh. And so the, it's like sugar baby or something like that. I don't know, but this maple pecan gives that same texture in my mouth where I'm like, oh, that's so good. Because originally he developed it to be a meal replacement, right? Right. But we melt it down and just use it like you saw, just as a snack or an after dinner mint thing. Julie said, I, I hurt my knee, so I have been trying to figure out how to get it healed. Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. But you're walking a mile and a half? That's amazing. That's probably why it hurts. Renee said, I was a late boomer, bloomer in running and went from, oh, I'll just do 5Ks to crazy. All right. <laughs> That's. Not Renee. What? Go from zero to 90? What? Uh, Julie said, I didn't care for the keto break, but I never had the maple one. Is it new? It's seasonal. Which one have you had? Yeah, what What? Because I think we've try? tried all of them, haven't we? Yeah. At one point? Oh, yeah. And still, the peanut no, butter is my favorite. I was going to say, there was one we didn't try, but actually we did. Um, let's see. Shauna said, I just got the buttery maple pecan, the cookies and cream, and the chocolate peanut butter cup. Oh, that's good. The chocolate peanut butter cup is good, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's probably, I don't know, something. <laughs> I guess it's one of the ghosts. Renee said, I fractured my hip, tore two ligaments into my ankle, and lots more, but still going. Began running with bilateral knee sleeves because it was painful, and being gone from heavy inactive to getting in shape a year. Wow. I was running without sleeves. Wow. I'm awful. Why? I thought she was outside. She's laying yeah. on the couch asleep. Yeah. I thought it was her scratching at the Ooh, door. Uh oh. Now I'm getting sleepy. You know Don't what that means, Uh Shauna said, when I lived down in LA, I got lost in South Central LA in my Fuchsia Ford Escort. Isn't oh, that the one they sing songs funny. about? They rap about? <laughs> yeah, the blues and the reds or something. Yeah. Or bloods and the red. I don't know. Was <laughs> I really know my game. little gang lingo here. Um, yeah, it's like, and you remember your brother lived in yeah. the scary part of L.A.? I like that. What was it? Uh, uh, Ralphie, Ralphie May, he's like, I'm from the, uh, the scary part of L.A. called L.A. Yeah. <sighs> he was so good. Um, Renee said, oh, Julie, I lost over 100 pounds, had deadly heart arrhythmias, and mitral valve prolapse with oh, wow. regurgitation. Now undetectable and no more cardiac meds. That's so awesome. That is. Oh, Joe Ray's here. Hey, oh, Joe hey. Ray. That's Sorry awesome. we kept you up so late. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Shauna said, I did mine back when, um... She said, he, keto brick guy. Ugh, why can't I think of his name? Sykes. Robert, Robert. Sykes did brick, brick by brick last. Oh, that's right. The brick by brick. I forgot oh, yeah. about I got, that. 
Yes. That's why we gotta go visit too. Because I want to see my name. It's probably at the very, very top. Uh, Renee said, now I'll be honest. I didn't lose the weight the right way. I kept it off the right way, though. Went through eating disorders, etc. Joey said, good evening. Just wanted to stop by and say hi. Well, thank you. Hi. Julie said, I lost my uh, first food chunk on Medifast, but uh, I taught me a lot. Oh, wow. I did Medifast in the 80s. I, I actually never tried Medifast. Honestly, I've never done any diet until we did keto. I know. I just, I don't know. I just did He's like, why would I do that? Uh, sad how I truly thought the money fast broccoli soup was actually good. Oh. Well, yeah, it's broccoli. <laughs> why would you think that's good? I was waiting. I was waiting. Uh, tree. Julie said, I've tried it all except surgery. I'm a compulsive overeater. Me too. Yeah, you probably are. Um, I, I tried a lot of stuff. Uh, I tried vegan. No, I never was, was that crazy. <laughs> well, you never tried anything. Exactly. You were like, I don't care. But I did try vegan. I lost pretty well on vegan. Like I, I lost a lot. I um, bet. But I felt horrible. But I, I bet. felt horrible. I know, right? And I was like so convinced this is the healthy diet. And I was like, why don't I feel better? I guess I'm just meant to feel horrible forever. Little did I know. Um, but yeah, I, I've had people tell me to get the surgery. I even had a doctor tell me you should get the surgery. Because he gets kicked back. I'm guessing. And I was like, oh, I, I just don't, I just was just very reluctant to do the surgery. Even though I have lots of people who tell me all the time, get the surgery, get the surgery. And I was just like, God, it just, everybody know that got the surgery me? just Never seemed happy about it. All the people I knew personally. Or so, they had uh, uh, complications. Yeah. So I just was like, I just, no. I I finally just came to terms. I was like, you know what? I'm just happy. I'm going to be fat and happy. Then I'm just going to be fat and happy. And that's what I just determined to be. And then I got with this one. And then we were like, well, we'll be fat and happy together. Right. And then we got healthy together, right? Yeah, we're getting. And I saw a video of like, uh, I don't know why it even popped up on my uh, feed? YouTube feed was the pork and poultry rub. That was from like last January. Oh, wow. And I watched it today and I was like, oh my gosh. That's why you commented. I know, I know. I was, like, I was okay. like, I never commented on this. And I saw it and I was like, you were still wearing an eye patch. Uh huh. And I was like, look at you. Like, you. Have really lost since January. Really? Yes. Okay. Like I looked at that, I was like, "What the heck?" Oh yeah, because I just bought two new pairs of pants. Oh yeah, and, and they smaller. were. I think they're a little big, but he's like, "They're fine." They're comfortable. I got the relaxed fit. I'm relaxed. <laughs> they are. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Where did I get? Oh, Julie said, when I quit drinking, I just dived into food. Isn't that what they say, though? Like, if you have one addiction, you have to trade it for another. So, that's why a lot of smokers gain weight, too. Because they yeah. give up smoking and have food then. Renee said, heck no, I haven't done it. This chick does not do cold. I was wearing my wetsuit in 76 degree waters. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, no... Uh, Jim Ray said, oops, hits it early. Sense of taste and smell to come back. I hope so. Shauna said, he, I have that ice cube tray looking thing, a double of them. Oh, well, they're perfect. Yeah. Um, Shauna said, oh, good idea. Wax paper or parchment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Julie said, me too. I don't know what to do with myself. Now learning to cook has been fun. Right? I do enjoy the process of cooking, yes. especially learning. I've been kind of delving more into trying to understand um, flavor blends yes. more and creating more flavor combinations and herbs and stuff and just trying to 
like broaden my horizons more in that area. And like, oh, okay, how do I incorporate this and this and make it a nice flavor mix? That's why I like saying too, the, the beginning of my videos, when I say I trained under several television chefs, I didn't actually train with them, but I'm just saying I watched a lot of videos of them. TV, I would just, and YouTubes. And honestly, one of the best ones I ever found that, that explained everything was Alton Brown. He go, He's a little nerdy, but that's what's good about him. He explains it all and why the stuff works together. Right. Kind of understanding the whole science behind yeah. it. Cause, and I feel that's really important with keto. Yes. Because if you're going to do basically anything other than meat, it's kind of un good to kind of understand, okay, why does... This. bread and stuff rise and do this and do that okay how can i mimic those right uh process but in something that's not going to have flour and yeast and so forth that's another reason why i think i got the jackpot and uh, i'm just hit the lotto with mary and her she was an amazing baker pre-keto yeah. and that has transitioned over she's using the same mm -hmm. principles yeah and somewhat. applying all that whenever she does make her carnivore bread or whatever yeah she's like well i know how this is supposed to work when i'm using regular flour let's see if it'll work with this i bet you it'll work this way this way this way yeah she's using the, her past like, man, a lot of it honestly i think it's just muscle memory for her too though yeah because i did i found baking was a good stress reliever because Therapeutic almost. yeah because like when you're kneading bread like, if you're doing everything from scratch when it comes to making it, I mean, you can really get out like, oh, yeah, that customer yelled at me tonight. That's what I'm going to do with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how it would kind of feel with all of that. And then it's, I, I, um, I like seeing things being created. Like, I like creating stuff, even though I don't feel like I'm very creative. I think you are, though. Uh, um, I but. I think you did. You just sell yourself short. Probably. But, so that's what I enjoyed about baking, because when you take something, especially like bread, like I just love making like sourdough bread. Oh, yeah. And, uh, which he loved when I did the sourdough bread. Oh, my gosh. And I like seeing it where you're like, oh, wow, that looks good. And then when you, just seeing how it kind of comes to life when you cook it, it was just such an enjoyable thing that it was like, okay, that was worth, you know, eight hours of work today right. for the little loaf. Because she had a special bucket she had specifically for keeping her special, her fancy, bougie flour in and a scoop for it all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. We put it in the, uh, the pantry and she would make homemade bread all the time. Yeah. And then we had a special, special proofing thing setting on our oven she could use. Yeah. But now that we don't eat bread anymore... That same bucket and the scoop works perfect for the pellets for my barbecue pit. <laughs> right? Seriously. Much better use. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. Where was I at? Um, da, 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 da. Shauna said, I'm heading over to see if they have any more of those. Um, the honey sticks things. Butterfingers. Oh, the honey sticks. Maybe. It was just the mouthfeel where it kind of felt like it coated your teeth and yeah. kind of like hardened around That's your teeth. That's why I didn't like the uh, Butterfingers. Oh, Ronnie said she just ordered two maple pecan bricks. And bricks. Fingers crossed. Well, yeah. Rhonda, if you don't like them, I will get them from you. Yes. Sugar babies or sugar yes. daddy. That that's the that's one. what it was. I think the daddy was the one I was talking about on the stick. And it was a little oh. longer, a little thin. Yeah, and then how it just kind of coked the teeth. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, oh, that was that was the one. Thank you. Who said that? Uh, Julie. Yeah, thank you, Julie. Renee said, you're doing awesome, Julie. I have the tat on my arm for this reason. Nothing is impossible. For the word itself says, I'm possible. Mm -hmm. Never give up by Audrey Hepburn. Uh, Renee said, heat the chili. Do y'all have the really... Uh-oh. What does it say about that? It says no data all of a sudden. Oh. Julie said, I tried all the breaks, but my fave is the chocolate peanut butter cup. Oh, now it's back. Oh, this is weird. intermittent. Do they have a pumpkin break? They did. It's uh, another seasonal. Yeah, it's seasonal. I don't know if they'll bring it back. Honestly, I was not a fan of the pumpkin break. I don't remember. That oh, was... no, I wasn't either. It had, it had uh, chunks of, like, uh, 
pumpkin seeds in it. Yeah. And I'm not a big seed fan anyways. They were like, oh, this is all you've ever had. What yeah. does it say error, though? Oh, I don't know. If that's all you ever had, don't don't base keto brick off those two flavors. So not enough, what? I know. We'll just see. Uh, well, so, I mean, it's already been four hours. Oh, that's Marie said sugar babies and sugar daddy. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh-oh. We're dropping. Let's see. Buffering. Renee said, oh, I look, I took the Orlistat prescription. Now sold as a lighter dose of Allie. If you think you're going to fart, run. Uh-oh. Julie said, that's a man for you. Never been on a diet. I'm saying. Like, uh, she is like, yeah. Heavy cream this month, and he just says, "Oh, I think I might want to lose weight," and he drops five pounds. Each so me. So annoying. Uh, bypass. Oh. Wow, I didn't know that. Personally, that had it, always was like, don't do it, Shelly. It's not worth it. Like, one of my good friends had it, and, and, like, she couldn't eat anything. I was like, well, why would I want to do that where I can't even eat? Like, she can't even eat, like, a grilled cheese sandwich. She would have to, like, break it up and eat it for over, like, four or five hours. I was like, wow. oh, that's horrible. Like, a little tiny bit. Where they were doing that stuff? to look good for you know other clients and she would go and order like um the uh, chicken fingers or whatnot or even chicken nuggets and pick all the breading yeah, off of the chicken. because they can't because that's what my friend told me that it blows up in your stomach yeah. if you eat certain things i'm like oh okay never mind i like food too much right i was like well that's fine Oh, uh, Renee said, I have so many people ask me if I had the surgery. All the people I see with that have major medical issues yes. like gastric And it just kept, and, I, and he was like, vain, honey. He's oh. like, I would do it again because I'm just that vain. I was like, oh, I, no. I'm not vain enough to... <laughs> I feel awful and I got all these issues, but at least I'll yeah. look good in the mirror. That's what he literally told me. Wow. That's what he said. He's like, look, I'm a very vainful person. He's like, so that's why I got it done. I wanted to look good. I did not want to look heavy anymore. Wow. I was like, oh, okay. Good luck. Yeah. But then he could never find, you know, anybody. He'd be like, oh, I'm just going to be single forever. Well, that I remember the one that made you the water burger cake. Yeah. Uh, again, if you or had hot, I've got so skinny that the doctor begged her to eat more and tried to have an intervention. Wow. Jonathan like said, I was not mentally other. prepared to have that. Wow. Uh, Renee said, that's it. We need to find another wall mural when I'm there and take another pic of y'all for progress comparison. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Julie said, Shana, did, you, did it mess with your di digestion? She said, no, I was lucky. Oh, wow. Oh, and yeah. Renee said, Julie, in your headspace, too. Change the way you're eating and your thought. That's, honestly, I feel like the biggest hurdle with keto and anything is your mental headspace. Yeah. Because you can do keto perfectly, but if you don't have the mental game to go with it, you're always going to have issues. I was very resistant to do this. <laughs> and I was still eating the keto breads. And until that doctor told me that I was no longer diabetic. That's yeah. what changed it for me. Right. Remember, because right. that's exactly what happened. Yeah. I quit. I mean, I had all that stuff still, but I didn't replace it after I ate it up. Uh, this is a diet to... 
is the proper it's not a um, and that's what did she, it for me. She never had problems with dumping, but a couple of times. Oh. I um, like, uh, also remember that time we went to that barbecue joint and they gave us basically a loaf of bread. Yeah. And I set it off to the side and we were laughing about it. And that other customer was sitting there and he's like, well, don't you, and we had started telling him the story and he's like, don't you miss bread? I said, no, I don't actually, I'm not a diabetic anymore. And that makes it where I don't miss the bread. Right. Exactly. And I don't tell people anymore. I can't eat that. I always say I don't want to eat that. Right. That's what. That's again. It's changing your mindset. Yeah. It, the mindset. Life, but it. How you do with keto is and, your whole mindset. Of and it. I think what helps me, I guess, too, is my mindset already because I already love games and puzzles and stuff. And that's how I approached like poker and everything. It was just a giant puzzle. I started. It's almost been three years mm -hmm. that you're like, you know what? Yeah, I could ketify all this stuff. But when it comes down to it, what's your favorite meal? Steak. Yeah. It's like the tacos. simplest. I still love tacos. Yeah, but the simplest meal, like our favorite thing is just steak. Like I don't miss. It's quick and easy too is what I love about it. Well, yeah, but I like I don't think of like all those other, you know, flour and all that stuff. I don't think of, oh, I miss that because I'm like, but steak, it's so freaking good. Well, like it used to, I've said it before probably, but it used to make me really upset pre-keto when we go to a restaurant and everything was a la carte. I know. And now, I hate restaurants that aren't a la carte. I know. I don't want all your extra crap. Uh -oh. I just want to buy the steak. Oh, listen to this. Shada said, I've been training the 13 still here. Thank y'all. It, it says 9 now, though. Oh, oh, Marie loves Alton Brown. Yeah. Karen said, oh, oh, the timer went off. I know. We got to get caught. Now it says excellent. Dang, it came back on. Oh, no, to the seeds. Huh. Rhonda said, just tasted the Carvor Crisp Brisket. Yep, delicious. Needed salt, though, so I sprinkled some remnants into the bag and gave it a gentle shake. Ooh. When she's ordering more brisket, Rhonda, I ate. Happy in the morning. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Too, Julie. Like... Well, you did buy those bands, and you were using them for a while. Why don't you give up on that? Uh, I need to do it again. I honestly do. And now in the new position I'm in, I kind of have a little more play time. Uh -huh. So I could easily do like a five-minute at-my-desk kind of workout. And hell, you could be doing that while you're on the phone, too. That's Well, sort of. It's hard well, to type. Well, you got to type, too. That's right. My bad. My bad. But... Um, uh, I, yeah, I need to get into it. I keep telling myself that. I she loses. No. So easy to break. <laughs> like, when it's something like that, when they're right. like, oh, it's so hard to break a habit. Oh, no. No, like, well, I can because, break good habits real easy. Well, also, she told me she wanted to start walking the subdivision. I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Well, it's too hot. Oh, it's too cold. Or I don't want to walk because who wants to go walking? I said, but hey, let's buy a, a treadmill. I can set it up right here and I can watch TV while I'm using it. Okay. That worked for about a month or two and, uh, you know, and just sat there. This is not how this story went. I said walk the subdivision because A, I'm cheap. Yeah. And walking the subdivision is free, and it's a mile from our house to the front, so that's a two mile walk. Right. And I was like, we could just do that. And you're like, no, nah, I won't do that. But get me a treadmill, and I'll use it. And I said, are you going to use it? Because that's a lot of money. You promise you're going to use it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did. Like Until five times. doing like my challenge okay i gotta walk i'm not gonna get off until i've walked a mile okay now i'm gonna try to beat my time at walking a mile that kind of stuff but and then it was never use it and you're like oh all these steps you know climbing up down the stairs all these houses and everything i, I think i'm doing my walking no um anyhow um okay i read that 
cooking as much as the eye round. Oh, this would be, then what do we do? Oven? Uh, skillet? What? Skillet, probably. So um, almost kind of kind of like treating it. Oh, like that, so there. she's saying the video's breaking up. It's like after sitting, they're tired. I have a bag in my pantry. Yeah, Karen, on excellent. Said, there again. Uh, Karen said, "All right, I'm out. Thanks for sharing your Friday night. I had a great time chatting with you guys. Have a great weekend, you too, Yay. Karen. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tired Wi-Fi." Yeah. Said, I would have gotten weight loss surgery years ago, but my insurance doesn't cover it in a way. I'm glad about that. Dumping right. syndrome and malnutrition due to absorption issues didn't sound fun. Right? Glad I came across Keto Chow last December and that it had worked so well for me, even though I'm in a stall. That's awesome, right. though, Marie. I mean, when you think about it, even a stall, you're not gaining, number one. And number two, just the fact that you know, you're getting healthier and you're not having to suffer like if you got the surgery. Right. Um, okay, Renee said, so you and he can both take little strengthening workout breaks together. Yeah. <laughs> she said, treadmill. That's right. It is the treadmill. This is making me mad, um, though. They're having connection issues. Yeah. Right? The we best call internet. It, call it a night. I got mine because of training so much and needed to get runs in but didn't want to... Run and rain. Ran lots of the early or late dark out hours. Uh-huh. Is everyone else getting choppy? Yeah. Yes. And everybody's choppy. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I guess the computer really is tired. Because we're supposed uh, to have the best internet they can have available. It just not, should not be scary. happening. That's scary. Um, yeah. Lower than the recommended bit rate. We recommend you use the stream bit rate. Well, then, you know. Do it. All right. Thank you all for joining us. Make sure you tune in next Friday for our surprise guest and our surprise evening. And we might be having a whole Halloween theme next Friday. Yeah. Might even be in costume. Might even. Good night, y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. All righty. I'm going to go turn it off. Thank y'all for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Good night. This is me signing off. Well, you haven't signed off yet. So excited. 